true. You're early here today as well. All right, let's just jump right in. Let's load in. Good gracious. The days in this game go by so quickly. <laughs> Of course, it's RimWorld. Uh, wait, RimWorld has its own uh, 2020 every few minutes. Oh my goodness. Hmm, <laughs> sounds about right. Oh, peace. You have like all this intense music and suddenly. Listen to this nice little loop music. Oh, it's so quiet and calm. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright, so, where we left off is we, we annihilated them. They are now one. We've absorbed them. The Asurai are now part of the Kingdom of Zaldoria. So we've, we've completely absorbed them. So our next target, well and truly, is Batania. Right? Uh, we should go for the Batanians next. Uh, the reason, I mean, granted, we should probably go and try and grab a few more vassals before we do. But... We should go and get Batania next. And the reason for that is they're the smallest out of the three. They don't have a whole bunch of horse archers, and they're not huge in compared to the others. So I feel as though they're the better ones to go for, and also we're already bordering one. Um, we might not stick exclusively with just mass war with just one, because it actually drained a lot of our influence to constantly stay at war, um, as people were constantly asking us for, to, for us to stop it. So we might be going in shorter spurts here going forward. Um, because we actually surprisingly need to build our influence back up, which is kind of crazy. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll go jump on Batania for uh, the first. And then we might actually swap on over. After we get uh, Lagata, we might actually move on over to fighting Valandians, uh, depending on who they're fighting. So it's all going to come down to that. Let's go ahead and upgrade our troops here. We still have some upgrades we can get done. Uh, yeah, we want them on. We want them on horses. We want horses, crossbowmen, because all of our crossbowmen get men get bonuses. So we definitely want them. That's right. All we have all of these prisoners that we can recruit, but we're already maxed out. <laughs> uh, someone did tests uh, for which faction is better overall. The Kuzite came out on top. Even their infantry is actually rather good. Really? So they don't have any like man like major negatives or anything? Well, that's terrifying. So the clans are doing well. I would like to get more vassals. I still think it's good for us to do so. Um, these are doing fine. Politics, we haven't had to change any of this. Armies, no armies are active. And diplomacy. Um, right now, we get like forever 160 dinars from the Asurai, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Even though they they don't exist, just like uh, Sturgia, we're just going to eventually amass a lot of money from them, day after day after day. It's going to be great. Oh my goodness, Snowmech, good morning. You're here early for you. What time is it over there? You're normally not here for like another two hours. Oh my goodness. Uh, but yeah, so we'll go after Batania and try and, like, so at least we're not paying the 4,000, we've got a million, so pff, whatever. But still, I'd rather not just be hemorrhaging money for no reason, right? Right? I feel as we should probably do that. Because that infantry all have shields is actually a big bonus. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Did I say Snowmech to Svexer? <sighs> you both have red-ish text names. <laughs> <laughs> There's no excuse for that. That was that was that was a blunder. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Svexer, how are you doing? Good morning. It's early for you. What are you doing here so early? <laughs> You're disappointed in me? Svexer, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm disappointed in me too on that one. That's a pretty big blunder. You both are here often. Like, I don't know if you're both talking at the same time, but it was a mistake. Hopefully that's not the um precursor to how well this stream's gonna go. Because if that's the case, oh my goodness. Get the buckets. We're burning. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're going to go for these guys first, because even though we're paying them the least out of the bunch, they're the easiest for us to go and crush. So I see no reason for us not to. Uh, one thing I do want to do is look at our clan and look at our parties. And as suspected, we can still get one more party out. Um, so we should go do that. Uh, so we already have her with us. So let's go and track down an additional uh, leader. And then with all of the 
prisoners that want to join us, we'll be able to easily give that person a bunch of our personal troops and then just replace them with the prisoners that are willing to join us. So it'll be quick and easy. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll go find someone over here if we can. You're prepping for work? Nice. Getting ready for a brand new day. Oh my goodness. The robots are coming in like crazy. <laughs> Wait a second. That's not a robot. Hold on. Is that someone impersonating a robot? I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> they don't have anyone here? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I'll have to go to the next one. See if we can find the next one. Shabin Shax is just being a little crazy. Being a little a little mischievous, some would say. At least our cash flow is still positive, which is kind of crazy to think about with the amount of money we owe people. This, wait. It's not our castle, so it doesn't matter. This is just telling us that more people are willing to... We've got some more people we can upgrade. Like, actually, can I talk to you? Okay, can I, like, convince you to, to join us? Oh, no, you're... I can't convince you, can I? I'm talk to him. Where is he? Because I don't think they have any territory anymore. They don't. Where are you? You were last seen in our territory. Well, <laughs> I would hope so. There's nowhere else for you to go. Alright, let's go track this guy down. Uh, if we can get his clan in here, that would be great. Uh, we want, Again, we want to get like two or three more clans into, uh, into our kingdom before we strike. We're a little bit stronger than the Batanians, but not by, like, a massive amount. So I would really like to go and acquire a couple more, just so that we can let them be running around. Oh, hello, you. Come back here. <laughs> you also won't do it. Oh, my God. Look at this clan. It's huge. <laughs> uh, and where where are you at? Where? I just undo. No, he was up here, wasn't he? Oh wait, that's right. I remember. We can't. We we have to wait until he cools down. We can't convince him yet. We failed to convince him somehow. I remember. I remember. I remember now. Okay, so go to the keep. You, you sir. I need you to join us. Be so kind. My goodness, he's actually not the easiest to. Oh, okay. <laughs> Critical success. Yes, we did it. All right, hundred percent, and then the other one should be hundred percent. Easy peasy. Got him. Uh, did that say the Olek of the? Wait, what? Olek of the Kuzas? Are you serious? Uh, who's disbanding uh, the party outside? I think that was from our siege a long, long time ago <laughs> in a land far away. Um, how much money does he want? Oh my goodness, he wants a lot of money. Give him two gifting javelins. I'll take a couple of pennies in return. Nice. Actually, I'd rather take all of his horses first. All your horses. You've got plenty of cash. Oh. The horses are a bit much. Here, you can keep that one. And you can keep that one and that one. There you go. 19 horses. There we go. Bam. Give me that. All right, welcome to the kingdom. Which, I mean, I think we're getting close to an empire. Um, Nadia? Nadia? Nadia's party is retreating back here. It's just going very slowly. Yeah, I think that was from when we sieged, like... I can't be. That would have been way too long ago. I don't know why they're running back this direction. I can't think of anything down here. Died at Barhel Castle. Where? Barrowhall Castle? Where's Barrowhall Castle? Over here? Is that what they said? Nope. Huh, that's really far away. 
Sure, it'd be great if you could hand out thieves, to, uh, like AI do and ban. I would be really nice in like Warband. That'd be that'd be really nice. But uh, nope, not how it works in this one. Because otherwise, I would like if that was the case, I would just hoard every single thief, and then I would hand out one thief to each clan. Each clan would get exactly and exclusively one thief each. And that's how that would get done. Well, also while I was here, I really should, should have taken a look to see, um, is there anyone here for us? The Prince, what? Oh, this roguery is really high. The Blackie too, high roguery. I don't think I need someone with high roguery skill, although she's got some decent scouting. I need someone with uh, with tactics. Someone with some tactical skills. Uh, so we'll have to jump off to the next one then. Um, as soon as the game saves, there it goes. Bam, up and out. Uh, we'll scoot ourselves all the way over here uh, to Shanala, and we'll see if we can find someone there. As soon as we can go and find a person to recruit to the clan, we'll be able to offload a bunch of these prisoners. And uh, move along, preparing ourselves for the fight with Batania. So someone said there could be, like, uprisings? Is that a thing? And what do we have to do to worry about that? Oh. Declaring war on Volandia. Really? I mean, I guess it can go straight for this one, yeah? I guess that would work. We're not gonna... I'm not gonna click on that one quite yet. Let's get over here first. I might actually let them just do what they want. If we go to Volandi, we do. Giams. I might go talk to him. What you got for me? A Frostbeard and a Wainwright. That's no good. <laughs> Frostbeard's like good for fighting skills and whatnot, but really nothing else. Um, food's still fine and everything. Can I go talk to this guy? Can you go recruit troops? Perfect. Let me introduce myself. I'd like to discuss something. I'd like you to change. Ah, oh, it's your brother. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I will just move on to the next. See if we can get it sorted over here. All right. So characters. Who leveled? I did. Charm. Two hundred. Towns get plus twenty security bonus if I'm the governor. Well, that's not helpful. And towns get plus. Or sorry, plus ten. And plus ten loyalty bonus. Um, security is lowercase, but loyalty is uppercase, so clearly, people check this before they, before they okayed it. Um, but that's okay. Where? It'll get fixed eventually, maybe. Hopefully. We'll see if they find it. <laughs> we'll see if the developers find that one. A little Easter egg. Alright, we probably should go vote on this. What do they want? 15 hours? Yes, 100%. Oh my god. Otherwise, I have to spend, like, all of my influence. Wow, do they want to fight Volandia. Apparently, Volandia is quite weak. What happened? Wait a second. What happened to Volandia? They're fighting the Kuzai and Batania. Oh, wolf. Yeah. When when would we not want to go to war with them if they're fighting the only other two factions they could be fighting right now? They're fighting every single faction now. Of co of, of course. All right, let's go ahead and pull ourselves together a, a big old grand mighty army. How big of an army can I pull? I'm not going to be able to sustain one this size. Our influence is too low. I might actually be able to sustain it. This is only half of our total influence. Um, this is, although this is just definitely overkill. Um, all of you can go free. I want to make sure there's like at least one of each clan that's that's not in the fight. Yeah. You go free, and you can go free, just so we don't wipe out any clans by accident. <laughs> Um, do we have anyone else in your clan? No, you're the only one in your clan that's going to be fighting. Okay, yep, you're not allowed. Uh, same with you. Uh, we'll drop you and 
with you because you're large groups that I would like you to just keep patrolling and doing what you're doing. Um, and then just to make things easier on us, let's find other groups. We'll actually have you. Actually, I think he's the last of, right? No, he's not. But he there aren't many left, right? Petir's plan's getting tiny, if I remember correctly. Anyway, he's got 213. I want him to roam. I would like him to be roaming around. We only need like 2,000 troops, so. That should be a fine army. All right, so I'm earning 20 per day. Should be enough to offset loss um, from cohesion loss, but still. Uh, we're gonna need some more from doing deeds. All right. There's no one here. <laughs> There's no one here. Okay, well, darn. So it goes. Uh, trade. We'll probably just grab some more food, yeah? Do we have any garbage equipment? No, no. We only have two gifting javelins left. We're gonna have to go make some more gifting javelins. Oh, what's going on with our movement speed? Do we have any... Your prisoners are slowing us down. Sure, that's fine. Morale is high. That's good. All right, cool. We're good. Uh, let's just head right on over here and go start sieging this castle. I see no reason for us not to immediately jump on it. I see no reason for us not to just jump straight onto uh, Ortizia. Good. They're going and clearing everyone out. So it's actually nice that we can have these guys roam around and do their own thing without having to have every single able-bodied uh, noble following us around to ensure that we can, you know, win a fight. They can actually run around and deal with bandits and the like. This is good. Oh, nice. 700 already troops. Perfect. Uh, besiege the town. Man, we've tried to take this town so many times. Oh, you're building an army too? Don't. Don't. No. Don't, don't you do it. Oh, that's... Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> oh, interesting. I can't... Uh... There we go. Zoom back over to where... My hands are off the keyboard and everything. It just took a second to zoom me back over. That could have been really awkward. Actually, just like last time, we're going to actually besiege them. Let's go ahead and get our trebuchets built first. And then we'll have these built afterwards just in case. They right now only have catapults prepped, but they might have some... Or some ballistas prepped, but they might have some catapults prepped as well for later. Um, Alright. Get to work. Begin the siege. So we'll have over a thousand troops, so I'm not worried about the enemy coming and trying to take us down while we're standing here. I just I need to just really, really remember to pay attention to our cohesion. That's a real issue. <laughs> I need to keep an eye on the cohesion. Please link to your work in progress on the wiki. Oh, that's really cool that you're working on the wiki. Uh, I think that's awesome. Tanny is hitting them up. Nice. Um It's really hard to get all the Lord pictures. I bet. But so far, you've snagged about 25 of them or so. Yeah, throw that link in the um, in the Discord as well. In the, in the channel specifically devoted to Bannerlord. It'll be useful there. That way people can find it. They don't have to go looking through the, uh, the logs on the stream to try and find it, but they'll be able to find it in one place. Um, and while your siege is going to be work, uh, going to be sieging, you'll be working on it. Nice. It's because of people like you putting in that effort that wikis are so great. Because <laughs> people have no idea what's going on can finally get some help. All right, let's speed this thing up. Let's go back to speed three. Okay, so the trebuchet is online. I don't know if I want to keep it up, so we're going to put it to the reserves for now. It's just going to take a lot of damage otherwise. Oh, wow, it actually shot after I took it down. Weird. Right. Oh, here's one person. Uh, Vispin. Or Vipon. Has decided to stand around and hope he can do something. Oh! Catch him! <laughs> Get him! Come on! Shayama, you've got this. Shayama, you've got this. What's his army predominantly comprised of? Eh, not a lot. Or composed of, rather. It's not composed of... It's a, it's a good smattering of troops. Oh! Oh, you better run. Oh, that was... Oh my goodness, that was so close. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, barely got away in time to not get smashed by an army of 1,000 troops. That could have been really bad. Yeah, get in here. Oh my goodness. Ah, see, this is why I wanted Patir to be running around all over the place, not not giving a care in the world. These two troops are in trouble unless they go and join the 1K. Oh, get him. Oh, he got him. Oh, he got him. Oh my goodness. We'll see, we'll see how that goes while we're still waiting on our trebuchets to finish up. How's it going, Kumis? How are you doing today? How is this morning treating you? Oh my goodness, he's demolished! Look at the casualties! Oh my goodness! He lost, like, no troops. Oh, he's gonna get caught. He's got a hundred prisoners. There's no way he's getting away. Uh, he better run faster. Uh, also, I need to deploy all of our trebuchets here. We'll deploy the trebuchets. Oh no, he's actually really fast. Did he just drop a bunch of prisoners? No! What? They're just that slow? Speed of 1-9, speed of 4. Wow, even with 100 prisoners. I guess he's got 200 troops, but still. Crazy. Alright, so they've given up on trying to fight us, which is great. Battering down. Oh, they do have some catapults. I knew it. They had some catapults in reserve. Yeah, I had a feeling. We've got a couple others coming in. Let's go ahead and get our cohesion back up to 100. Alright, so we're holding on strong with this. If it's um, influenced cohesion, if it's a perfect trade of influence to cohesion, then we're doing okay. Uh, we'll be gaining influence while we sit around. Once all of the siege weapons on their side are done, uh, we can then, oh, hang on a second. Uh, we can then decide if we want to wait until the walls are completely breached or not. I'm not sure if we want to. I mean, we're not under any real pressure Oh, or what? Our troop count went down and up. What's going on? Someone's starving? Eat the food I brought. I brought a lot of food. We have six days worth of food if you include all the food I brought. Come on now. Oh, I need to keep building these trebuchets. I gotta stop being distracted. I gotta rebuild these trebuchets. They're actually taking them down. That's obnoxious. <laughs> can, can we actually hit them? That one's down. That one next. Right, please hit the trebuchets, or er, trebuchets hit the ballista. Oh no. Alright, so our, our number's going up. We have 104 wounded. Wow, okay. Well, hopefully we can get turn that around. Jesus, ballistas, come on. Take him down. <laughs> He's going and scaring off. That's amazing. Uh, both of these walls are about 50% health. Actually, they're below. They're now at 40% health. So I might just wait it out, to be honest. Uh, at the rate it's going. Seems like we're fine. I'm not seeing anyone's attacking us. We're getting a whole bunch of influence for sharing our food, which is awesome. I love that we just get a whole bunch of spare influence for sharing food. It means that we're going to be gaining influence while we just sit here, which is great. Hey, Dyson, welcome back. It is time for more Mountain Blade. Oh, baby. Yeah, it is. And we're starting it right off with a siege. This is the first siege of the day. The trebuchet just broke. Build a new trebuchet. So I think we're actually just going to break down the walls. Then we'll break the walls. Once the walls are broken, they won't have anything to target except the ballista that are being built. So the moment there are no ballista currently active, so one wall is down, uh, we'll then go ahead and begin our assault. I love having our troops of, like, decent size. They can actually run down the enemy, although their caravan, he, he better run. Um, it's really nice. We've got all these siege engines. There we go. Bam. Okay. So they have nothing active. We outnumber them more than 4 to 1. Uh, we outnumber them almost 4.5 to 1. I feel like this is a pretty good opportunity to go lead our troops. However, before we do, we still have some upgrades to do because we've been sitting here, which means they get passive experience. Let's go ahead and upgrade these guys. And then again, after the battle, hopefully we lose some troops, question mark. <laughs> Hopefully we lose troops? I don't know, are we supposed to hope we lose troops? Because we have a lot of troops we can recruit here out of all these prisoners. They're like, raring to go. They are raring to go. They're prepped and ready to join us. We've got like, probably 50 troops we can uh, raise immediately. So if that's not the case and we don't lose a lot of troops, then what we'll do is we'll again look for someone who can take over as a clan party. Someone we can join into the clan so we can have them help with the party. Uh, and with that, we'll just be able to take all the prisoners, essentially recruit them all, and immediately make them part of that party. 
I will auto-deploy the troops because we want to get up closer. And auto-deploy seems to be a de doing a decent job. Seems unnecessary for me to do more. We still have four trebuchets that are going to be online and firing. They've got no ballista at all. They're just smoldering and smoking. Look at them go. Uh, I can't go any closer, though. I'm stuck here on this little line. Uh, I think we'll just be in the assault. Let's go. Uh, you're going to walk in uh, like you own the place. Not quite, but it's going to be very easy in comparison to what it would be otherwise. <laughs> Let's go, men. Oh, I love how fast we are. This is great. I love how fast we are. I'm not taking a boulder this time. We're just going straight in, and we're going to start just bopping them on the head. I mean, it's a little palace guard, so let's go. Get in there, boys! Oh my goodness, they're all recruits. Or they're, they're all spearmen. Damn. We'll just swing at him from behind, that's fine. Just chop at him. Do the little uh, spin trick to add more momentum to your character to do more damage by just like pivoting. Hello? Oh, hi, boys. <laughs> We've already taken the wall. We just broke right through. <laughs> no rock this time, not this time. It feels like it's overkill at this point. Like, we're just absolutely gonna demolish them. Don't you run from me. Fight me! Oh, I got my wish. I got a bunch of them actually turning to fight. Oh, they spawned. <laughs> well, that's not what I need. It's a little laggy. But that's okay. We'll just back off here and watch them take care of it. Load up me. Load up me trusty crossbow. Just wait right here. Boop. Oh, that didn't get him? <gasps> Come on now. Wait for them to wait for them to spawn. Bam! <laughs> Look at all the green. Look at all the green text. Always break walls. Yeah, the walls, when you break them, it's so good. Let's keep getting our crossbow experience where we can here. Boop. Ow! All right, you. You want to fight? I'll fight you. Come here. That's right. Yeah, it's just a little laggy with me being down here. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's gonna take my tactic. No, you don't. You, no, you don't. <laughs> he's about to shoot me. Ah, I missed him twice. Real. Is there anyone up here I can grab? Oh! Shield bash in there and a so oh he blocked it you monster all right this guy this guy knows what he's doing he's doing a pretty good job come on now there we go got him all right guys don't you worry I found a rock <laughs> oh I lost my rock <laughs> all right can we oh for gonna wait what I didn't lose my rock. It just sounds like I lost my rock. You guys leave anyone for me? I've got a rock. No? No? No one's left? Don't worry, I'll make sure these bodies don't get back up. Ah. Yeah, stay down. <laughs> it's a duel for the ages, isn't it, right? Yeah, we were spawn camping a bit there. I'm not ashamed. It's a valid tactic. We lost 52 troops all the same now. Did we lose anyone of importance. No, still alive, still alive, still alive. Alive, 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 alive. We lost no named people. Amazing. Nice. Very nice. Let's go grab some more prisoners because we can we can have them. Um, oh, nice. We can actually grab an extra person. Perfect. Perfect, so we can actually acquire a new one here. Is there anyone of like a high caliber we want to grab? Take this guard. 
Then we have a higher tier. We can take an archer. We can take a horseman. Take the horseman. There you go. Done. Nice. Oh my goodness, Spectre's gone ahead and extended the stream. Even though you won't see the end of the stream, you'll extend the stream. You monster. <laughs> the stream has been extended. Uh, on the voting board, uh, remember to give it to uh, one of these four. Ah, perfect, thank you. Uh, who was the newest member that we just added? We just added a new person. Can't remember who it was. Who do we got here? They're all red named. I wonder why. Smith, loud. Alright, the loud. You any good? No. Smith, no. Barrel chest, no. Barrel chest, blood axe. Barrel chest. Barrel chest doesn't give them tactics, and I want tactics. Um. A Menon. Uh, but he'll be last. He'll get last. Ah, because. Oh, that makes sense because he just joined. Yeah, that makes sense. Manage town, focus on training troops, because, wow, good gracious. That negative four for food shortage is really hurting. <laughs> well, I'll turn around, don't worry. I'll turn around, now that we're not sieging it anymore. That'll be fine. But work on uh, building militia, please. All right. Done. Straight to the castle. Straight to the castle. You haven't researched electricity, um, but you have uh, 15 solar panel arrays, seven batteries, and an infinite chem reactor. Wait, what? Two droids, droid factory, a freezer with its own solar panel and battery, and a powered workshop with a wood generator battery. How on earth do you have this in RimWorld without researching electricity yet? And to, what? How? <laughs> How is this, the, oh my goodness. We, oh, we move at speed two. Okay. Well, it's still faster than those other guys. It's kind of crazy. I am the new owner. Okay. Uh, we'll give this to... Oh, no, we can give it to him. So all three of the, uh, three out of the four that you told me we should pass it off to you, so we could. Uh, oh, are we low on food? Oh, we are low on food. And that town's low on food, too. Ooh, that's a good eye. Um, we should probably go sort that out. Huh. We might have to go uh, hit a town, like a, a village or two around here real quick. I mean, honestly, if all three of these and this guy's one of the ones you were saying to go for, we might as well give it to him so we don't spend uh, 100 influence. That works. Don't give it to this guy. Give it to this guy. So you have a larger, um, can I, is it left click? There we go. How large is his family? He's got a tiny family. How large is your family? Your family's pretty large and held together. Adas might be the one I want to go with, just because it's a town, right? Like, it's a town. It's a, it's a big responsibility, and I want to make sure members, like, we're not going to uh, suddenly inherit it like we did with uh, Lek. Because we suddenly inherited Lek. Uh, Lex territory because he died and he was the last of the clan. So I'm I'm leaning towards giving it to Addis. And then we'll give this castle uh, to the other guy. At least that's, that's what I'm thinking. Um, he's got two kids. Age three and age two. Uh, you said to not give it to him and that he should get the one after uh, the others get the feast. Okay, yeah, yeah that's fine. Uh, so let's give it to this guy for. I mean, it's 100 influence. We should probably just go with this guy because the council supports it and just save our influence for the moment. I think you're right. We'll give it to him. I think we'll actually give the castle to him as well if he's got good influence um, on it. I see no reason not to. Uh, that way, again, he can be in charge of a like this whole region here. Uh, and then we can go and start changing him out once we move up here. Alright, uh, has this already been raided? Looks like it has. There's nothing here, right? Yeah. <laughs> he likes us more, though. Funnily enough. Um, we're gonna starve to death. Yeah, I'm sharing my food with everyone right now. So this is gonna be a quick siege. We only have 300 and change troops. We're going to go ahead, we're gonna build... We're just gonna knock it down. And go in the old-fashioned way. We, we don't have, we don't have food. We don't have the food for this. We have a day's worth of food. We're gonna start going unconscious, but we'll push for it. We'll be able to get it done. 
go to the encyclopedia and choose uh, those culture Asurai and see which clans uh, to see how many of them are on our side. I think about half of them are on our side right now. Well, actually, maybe not. A good number are. We have a little bit of food left. The blister are being are built. We're completely out of food. We're losing troops rapidly here. As soon as this is done, we're going to charge. We don't need all of our troops. So those that are starving, we can let sit, sit on the sidelines. We're just going to go straight in. <laughs> Let's go. Check. Ah, we'll check after this. We'll check after this. Let's get in here and get this done because uh, our men are starving. <laughs> Oh uh, man, I'm starving to death. We need to, uh, we need to get in there. All right, get in there, boys. I believe in you. Whoa, look at these pillars. Look at these cool pillars over here. Let me check this thing out. Look at these massive pillars. I'm curious if they just put random dots in the skybox for, um, for stars, or if they actually like, put constellations in there. Kind of interesting. Take a constellation map and just jam it up there. These pillars are really cool. This is like the main walkway up to the up to the castle. You come through these pillars. Look at this guy's fancy schmancy pants. Some fancy striped pants. Look at this guy. It's not just going to war. He's waltzing to war. He's just slow walking in. Opposite daisies. I'm missing some health. Ugh. Bit of a beating. Um, better hope they're having a feast in that castle. Yeah, but they sh Yeah, we're gonna still be struggling on food, aren't we? There we go. I'm up. Ah, right, boys, bring me in close. Well, that wasn't a person. Okay. Give me something to shoot. Give me someone to shoot. Ballista? No. Why is there no one for me to shoot from here? I thought this was going to be a great spot to be hanging out. What? Come on, boys. Get up here. Oh, I'm falling off. <laughs> Have they wheeled me around? Lower, lower the gate? Oh, what? <gasps> get the rock, get the rock, get the rock, get the rock, throw the rock, throw the rock, throw the rock. <laughs> That would have been so good! If I was only a little bit faster. If I was a little bit faster when they were all clumped on the stairs there, that would have been amazing! Oh, that would have been so cool! Ah, oh, darn. Disappointed. That would have been so good. I would, like... I got, like, the biggest smile when I saw that pile of rocks. I was so excited. Don't forget to check. Yeah, we're gonna need to make sure we check, make sure no one dies. Uh, or no one important dies, rather. Um, but we'll be able to easily crush this. This won't be hard. Uh, we're already starting to take the walls because they don't have the strongest troops here. They won't be able to reinforce that quickly either. Uh, even with our slow reinforce rate here coming up one ladder at a time, uh, we should be fine. Should be fine. Hey, Trezek, how's it going? What? What? What is this reference to? Beep boop. Is that my bestie in a testie? I have no idea what that means. What on earth is that from? Beep boop. Robot. <laughs> Get in there, boys. Take him down. Would it roll down the stairs and hit them? Yeah, no, it, it would roll down the stairs and do damage. Because uh, the physics engine is actually pretty good in this game. And when it's not freaking out and launching uh, horses sky high, of course. Otherwise, it's pretty good. That was almost what you wrote? What? Oh, I put an extra T in there, didn't I? It's bestie in a Tessie. I put an extra T in there. Whoops, daisies. Oh, this guy. Get him down. Take him out. So he's actually launching at this? Or no? Yeah. You can actually shoot the... Oh, yeah. We're in. We're in. We got him. Oh, we got him. Oh my goodness. Look at that, we just like envelop them. Complete circle. Oh my goodness. 
Gone. It's a really good castle design, though. I like it. Uh, except for the fact that it's, it, you know, it's... Like, it's a nice castle design. I, I really like it. However, um, I would like more defenses than just it being... You have to get to the castle. The main castle entrance is on a... On a um, on a bridge, which is nice. I like that. It's really defensive. And then you have the town inside as well. But better to have a wall instead of a a really wide bridge. Yeah. Um, how you imagine Zelda when he says a rock? Uh oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what that. I don't know what that YouTube video link is, but I'm nervous. <laughs> it's weird. Whenever a horse flies, they fly like. Uh, at like five FPS, uh, whenever anyone else is at sixty, yeah, that feels about right. Like I don't know, they, they, I think they have to sacrifice their flame, uh, the flames, uh, their frames, to the, uh, to the gods of gravity, to actually be able to shoot up. It's SFW. I mean, I'm still nervous back looking. I don't know. I don't know what kind of. I don't know how you're mocking me on that one. <laughs> oh, it's a SpongeBob meme. Okay. Okay. Is this? Is this the one when he finds the rock out in the middle of nowhere and he's like really, really relieved and happy and almost a little, like he's crying a bit? Is that is that the is that the meme? <laughs> That's the one I'm imagining. It's not just a boulder, it's a rock. Alright, bam! Nailed it. We need to go and get ourselves some food because we are going to starve to death. This is really bad. All right, let's see here. How'd we do? You're alive, you're alive, you're alive, you're alive, 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 alive. Everyone is still alive. <gasps> We're alive and kicking. Everyone but me. Nice. Very good. Don't know why your Twitch is running so badly. RimWorld isn't eating up most of your CPU. Really? Or your memory? Hmm. Someone was complaining about Twitch a bit ago, so I'm not sure. Uh, you're back, what'd you miss? We just took a castle, and all of our men are probably starving to death currently. We have lost zero men ourselves personally, but we are out of food. So this is not good. Uh, we're gonna disband the army. We don't really have a choice. <laughs> we have to disband the army. And everyone's gonna have to go fend for themselves to get food. There's no food in this army anymore. I'm gonna have to go and grab, like... Uh, anything I can find? I think I'm actually going to come back down here. Might be able to bring everyone with us. No. <laughs> Just look at our numbers. It's so bad. Actually, I'm going to take everyone with us. I'm going to leave us as a mob. I'm going to leave us as a mob. I'm worried that we're going to be like caught out while we're all starving running down here. And it's just going to be really bad. So I'll leave us as a massive mob here. I'll keep us all together as one. It's going to be fine. Um, next, Addis. Yes, Addis, you can take this next one. That's perfectly fine. You can take this castle. I'm perfectly okay with that. Start foraging. <laughs> yeah, start foraging, men. But we're but we're on the peninsula to a desert. Men, I don't want to hear that kind of attitude. Every time you look into uh, Zadar playing, his troops are starving. I mean, maybe. <laughs> but it's generally not my fault. This time... Um, I thought I had enough food, but I definitely didn't. Oh my good gracious. 16,000 monies? Don't mind if I do. So, more than half of our troops are currently unconscious due to lack of food. Uh, which is pretty bad. Oh, we have still too many prisoners, really? Okay. Oh, I guess it's because we're out of food. That's why we have too many prisoners. Okay. Hopefully they didn't buy all the food and there's still some food to buy. Ah, of course. Never mind. We now have seven days worth of food. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna be fine. We'll live. Um, let's go to this town. Let's grab whatever food we can. Come on, start distributing the food, monsters. Stop saving it for yourself. Distribute the food. Distribute the food. Bought all the food. So they're buying all the food. So we have food in the in the army, but they're not distributing it for some reason. So we're still going, everyone's still going hungry. Yeah, people are sharing food with my starving troops. There we go. Okay, our numbers are now finally going back up. 
no food here. We're just gonna keep bouncing around here and grabbing whatever food we can. Our number's starting to come back up here. We got seven days worth of food, we're fine. Imagine this game was multiplayer. I would love it if this game was multiplayer. That'd be amazing. Oh my goodness, they're just buying out all the food that's available. Oh, do you have any grain? Yep, that's mine now. <laughs> So we should be fine now. Uh, we'll just be spending influence, unfortunately, to feed our troops until we can actually buy food. Um, as they seem to still be buying all the food that's here. Relax. Well, that's not helpful. You have fish? You have fish. Okay. These guys focus on the exports of fish, so that'll be good. Someone's making a co-op mod? Oh my goodness. Libertarian, that would be so good. I would love to play this multiplayer so much. That'd be just great. Because just think about it, like you go and you grab a friend or friends, depending on how many people it lets you, oh my goodness, there's no food. Uh, depending on how many people the mod lets you have um, in the group. Oh wait, they took this back? All right, back, back we go, everyone. <laughs> While we were off hunting for food, we lost that territory. Um, you can have someone in charge of each um, each group. You can have a, like I could be like a, a, the main commander and also be a, uh, Archer, like I am currently, uh, and then like the co-op people I'm playing with can be like the mounted horse archers and be in charge of that, and be in charge of like all cavalry units while I'm in charge of all infantry units. I mean that would be really cool. That'd be really cool. All right, well he already lost his territory, so let's get back over here and nab it back. Uh, we only have six days of food, so we're not going to be able to do anything fancy here. But they don't have that many troops left either. Should be okay for us to just go and nab it. I would like us to have more food first, though. At least we're able to keep upgrading troops. And we haven't lost any troops still. So we still have a lot of prisoners that we can train. So that's good. Uh, we go off and fight battles. Uh, you'll stay back and run the economy, making weapons and raising troops. I would that, yeah, perfect. That's exactly what we need. We need someone who's like truly, actually paying attention to the wellness of the empire, uh, while I just go warmonger like crazy. They've got massive catapults. It makes me nervous. We'd have to go and prep to knock this down. They have no food, so that's fine. Um, we'll just go straight for the siege equipment first. Should be okay. We have five days of food. If we're gonna be running it real close here. It's probably going to take us like three days to fully prep um, to get in there. So our, our numbers will increase, but if they show up with a really big army, we could be in trouble. Are we already raiding that? Um, once we get in here, unfortunately, there is no food. So we're going to have to go on a food hunt at the moment we're done taking this place. Um, it's kind of sad how slow it takes for their troops to get knocked out, unfortunately. It's a long time for them to go down. Much faster for us. Um, all right, so we can go and attack now, and I kind of want to just go. We have almost ten times their troop count, and I don't want to wait more on food because we only have four days of food left. So we're just gonna go now. Oh, the wall's already broken. I totally missed that. You're right. There is still one wall that's broken. You're right. The right wall was broken. You look grab the rocks. Yes, Dyson. We we need someone who's in charge of the rocks. We do. Auto deploy. Move in. That's right. We have a breach on the right hand side. Let's go. Where's a rock? Oh wait, we don't have any rocks on our side. We're, we're gonna move for this breach. We're gonna move for the breach, and we'll see if we can go find a rock. So even though they've got catapults, looks like they've gone and set up with ballista for some reason. Weird. That's fine. Because we have the breach here, though, this luckily means that we're not gonna be kept out of the castle <laughs> like that last fight. Oh man, you guys remember last week when we were fighting here, uh, fighting a castle, they broke all of our siege equipment and we had to batter down the door with, like, swords to get in there? I mean, we won the fight, but my goodness, the casualties were so high. That's why you should wait until the walls are fixed before the settlement. Oh, that makes sense why they just took over, is because the walls are... Ow. That makes sense that they just took over immediately, because the walls weren't done. Hey, sir. Yes, right. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Can I get above his... No. Anyone coming? Ow. Hey, 
don't. Oh, move! Alright. Anyone coming up here? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like our troops are waiting until uh, the siege equipment hits the wall before they start moving into the crack, which is a little annoying. But that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll be okay. Imagine Zelda stars the troops again, and we have to work hard to keep food supplies going. I know, right? It's gonna happen. It will. It will. It's, and Zelda's down again. Well, I mean, I was trying to hold the door, but I didn't want to help out. Look at this arena. I love the arenas. They're really well done. Oh, look, there's a lighthouse over here. Oh, that's really cool. So I thought this was like directly on the water, but apparently this castle is on the it's on like a bay to the water. It's that some little cove here. See this castle here, this castle is th or this town rather is so well designed. Like it even has a, it has a gate house. Look at this. It's got it's got a gate courtyard. Look at this. For defending the actual castle itself, the castle well, that's right, we can't go through doors. Uh, the castle proper. Like, the, the interior of the castle here has a little courtyard, right? Um, which is where food supplies and stables should really be. Um, the fact that stables aren't in here is a little disappointing. Um, and then it's got an outer one where we should have a small barracks, which we can assume this is for. And then it should have a blacksmith, which isn't here, but that's fine. And a well. And there should be supposedly a well in one of these two. Preferably closer to the blacksmith, but it's also nice to have in the back one as well. Um, and then outside that, they've got the actual town itself with its own walls. So as soon as it ends up being like this, or the fight comes here, you just have your you have your troops retreat to here to the walls here, and then you just start uh, plinking away at everyone in the town to ensure that you you can defend nearby. It's a really cool design. I like it. It's really good. There's a lot of detail in this game. There really is. It's really good. How many people can play in co-op? Uh, if you know two. I I'm assuming two. My guess is it'll be two in co-op. Uh, but they might be able to do more. Might be able to do more. Um, oh my goodness. Spexer extended the stream a second time. <laughs> Just because he called me the worst? Spexer, how dare you? <laughs> You'll be even worse and extend the stream another time. Now that you're leaving for work. Well, have fun at work, Spexer. You monster. <laughs> this is a news headline. Florida man arrested for stealing human skulls from uh, graves of religious shrine. Oh, my. well, I mean, Florida man will do what Florida man does, right? Florida man will do what Florida man does. I think it's kind of funny because if you like, it's only because uh, police reports in Florida are made public after like uh, after the investigation's done um, that like the whole Florida man is a thing. Like, in other states, it would also be pretty bad, too, if you actually saw the rest. Oh, this actually goes all the way around, too, doesn't it? Got a little... Look, there's a little dock here. This is so... This is such a nice area. You don't really get to explore it. Man, imagine, like, an actual open-world Mountain Blade. Like, the next Mountain Blade. I know, right? I'm, you know... In 30 years. <laughs> when there's... When the next Mountain Blade comes out in 30 years... Imagine if it was completely open world, right? Imagine if there's the option to play World of uh, World of Mountain Blade. Yeah, wouldn't that be crazy? I think that would be a ridiculous and b really cool. Um, I mean, honestly, all they really need to do for the next uh, Mountain Blade is just make it where it's VR. They, like, don't have to really innovate much. Um, update graphics a smidgen. Please work on the AI. And then also make it... Um, make it so you can do it with VR. That's it. That's all you gotta do. That's all the upgrades that are required. I need more horses! No, we're not gonna upgrade you. I need more horses. Am I missing any troops? I'm missing one... I lost one troop. Oh, no. Who do I want to have join me? Oh, this cavalry join me. <laughs> oh no, I lost one troop. Darn. Uh, check out how the SRI people are. Um, yeah, I can take a look at that real quick here. 
Uh, first, let me go look at trade. There's no food here, but we can at least go and try and sell off the rest of our junk. And speed ourselves up a smidgen. Okay, give them javelins we'll hold on to. Let's sell the rest. Uh, and we need more horses. We need more war horses. We just don't have any war horses left. Okay, done. Uh, tavern. Oh my goodness, look at all the people in the tavern. Hold on. Hold on. Let's take a look here. Is there anyone here we can have join us? Iron Eye. I need someone to be a leader. Outcast? Wanderer. Here we go. No. Uh, surgeon? Nice. Wanderer with no skills. Wait, do I need a new surgeon? I feel like I do. Uh, yeah, I do. Let's get that surgeon in here. Welcome aboard. What a tragic tale. Get in my party. Perfect. Um, alone. Cow thief. The swift. Nope. Wanderer. Wanderer. Blood axe loud. Smith. Barrel chest. Blood axe. Barrel chest. Barrel chest. Wanderer. For goodness sakes. <laughs> no one here has any tactic skills. You've attacked skills, the outcast. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Bam. We found a good gracious cheese. Be great. Um, Warband had a uh, persistent kingdoms mod, just a multiplayer world without the campaign map. Oh, really? Did it? Oh, that's super cool. Cookies are a particular thing. Wanting cookies and wanting to make cookies. Are very different. True, but don't don't mention cookies, Dalka, because you know now, now that you've mentioned it, muffins is going to come storming into chat out of nowhere, like a like a bull, just asking for cookies. <laughs> You're asking for it now. You're asking for it. How's it going, Exaltic? How are you doing today? Um, really hopeful about the modding community for Bannerlord. I mean, that was the big thing for me. Uh, was when Bannerlord was announced, I was like, all, all Tail Worlds has to do, right? Literally all they have to do is make the the area, like the areas, like what they've done so far, the map is perfect, don't touch the map, leave the map out is. It's not perfect, but it's fine. Leave the map out is. Um, the unit balance is fine. Just don't, don't worry about it, let it be. It's not important, leave, leave it how it is, that's fine. Um, only work on the AI and only work on the modding tools. <laughs> and that's it. Bugs, AI, modding tools, and then be done. Just do that, that's all I gotta do. If the AI is top notch, if they can really um, nail the AI down, right? Uh, and if they can get the uh, bugs sorted out and then just make it really easy for mods, modders will carry the rest of the game. And I know it's not great for us to have modders constantly carry game titles, but Bannerlord isn't technically a AAA title now, is it, right? So I think it's perfectly fine in this case. Things like, you know, Fallout. Yeah, they should they should know better. <laughs> they, they, should, they should know better. But you know. Uh, make it so Imperials really have a choice. I mean, it'd be nice if they did, but like, I don't think it's necessary because we'll just, we'll have modders bring that in. Like if the game is easy to mod and the developers are talking to, like if large modders, if like, if you had like one developer on outreach, right? In which he just goes through the Nexus and other mod communities and the like, and finds modders and reaches out and be like, hey, what feature do you, are you really lacking? What do you need? What do you, what do you need? What is something we can put in this game that you that you desperately need to get done? Uh, how you want to get like the mods done, and then boom, they'll be like, "These are like two things that are really holding me up." And, they'll, and then bam, we just if we go that direction, nailed it. It's gonna be great. Um, but you know they can do what they want. It's up to them. Oh my goodness, we have a lot more troops. Whoa, why can we have so many more troops now? What happened? I don't know. Interesting. I need more horses. <laughs> Just blew through all the horses. Oh, I need to go get these guys equipped. Let's get you up here, because you're the, the surgeon. Um, hold on, I need to get back in here and equip him. Yep. Let's sort of the owner. 
of this. Um, we could have him own both. And you know what? Sure. I'm fine with that. Because, I mean, he owns both the castle and the town here. So he'll be heavily patrolling this territory. Because he owns both. Uh, let's go back to trade. And let's go and get this guy kitted out. Actually, let's get them both kitted out. So the outcast is going to be the one we're going to put in charge of troops. So let's ensure that he's well kitted. Uh, give me things with your best. Oh my goodness, a heavy recurve bow. Requires bo uh, shooting 30. Nice. Where can I go to get a better crossbow? It's got to be a better place. I mean, or I can take a crossbow, yeah? Or I can swap over to bows. Not these. But I can start working on bows. My bow skill. 26. I'm close. Crossbow is almost 100. I'm not too sure what else we really need crossbow skill for. I'm already using a hickory crossbow. There's not much more I can do with that. Okay. Outcast. Let's see what we can get done here. Um, maybe nerf smithing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please fix smithing. Smithing is really broken. That's a real problem. Fix the wall. Yeah, we should probably fix the wall. It's true. Because they probably just waltzed right in, right? Um, next playthrough, you'll just ignore smithing entirely because it's so broken. Yeah, I like I like the idea of building your equipment. I really like that idea, but it's so broken, you're right. So if you're correct on where the vassals uh, are from, the SRI, those guys, Western Empire, are none, Italian South. My goodness. <laughs> Potentially. And yes, you've been keeping track. You've been really keeping track of it. That's insane. That is insane. You've been really keeping track of all the people in our empire. That's amazing. Dramatic reading? Read it. I don't know what it uh what it does though. What? <laughs> Read it! I do not know what it does though. What a dramatic reading. The most dramatic there was. Truly, the earth trembles. But, but oh my goodness, I can't believe you've been keeping track of all that. It's insane. Let's go and give this guy a better spatha. Uh, let's go ahead and give him a shield. I think we can leave him on a horse. That's perfectly fine. The best, <laughs> the best dramatic reading there ever was. Indeed. <laughs> Read it. Read it now. Uh, we'll give him his feather hat. He earned his feather hat. Have this armor, have these pauldrons, take these gloves, wear these gree boots. I thought they were gonna be greaves. These boots. There I go. Bam. Very nice. Uh horse. He's got an old Sumpner horse. Gross. Here, at least take this desert horse. Sell out the Sumpner horse, you don't want it. Uh, we can even get him a better saddle. For his saddle as well. It's not amazing. The saddle's not ridiculously good, but you know. What is he good at? No throwing, no crossbows. He's all bows. Really? Well, in which case, have a bow and... Oh my goodness! Stacked bodkin arrows? A stack of 32? What? I know this is 20... Uh, this is plus 4 damage, but... 32 arrows? Sure. <laughs> Here. Enjoy. All right. Uh, it's only going to cost us uh, 20,000 dinars to fully kit him out, but I think that's good. Uh, let's go over to our surgeon. Um, and we need to make him a archer. What kind of archer stuff can we give him? He's not an art a big archery guy, but we can at least give him a crossbow and bolts. Bolts. Give him a shield. Uh, we can give him a better weapon. Ooh, cataphract mace. Speed is 81. Nah, that thing's faster. I'd rather you have something that's quick. So a quick weapon is pretty good. A light royal mace. Ooh. That's about this. Slower. Larger, uh, longer length. Better at thrusting. Yeah, I think that's actually a pretty good upgrade. We'll have him take that. Um, ah, the golden blade is here. And as well as a tree feller. Look at that. Two things we've made. Oh, wait, it's 200k? Oh, yeah, that's fine, whatever. <laughs> no big deal, Chris Engine. It's not like we need that money or anything. It's no big deal. It's a lot of money, though. It's probably the hat. The helmets are really expensive. 
Uh, you don't get a feather hat, though. They only have one, unfortunately. Uh, ooh, we need to get him some pauldrons. I guess he gets the cape. He gets the really cool, awesome cape. Lady shoes. <laughs> Go into battle wearing your mighty lady shoes. Um, <laughs> give him some greaves. Where is his greaves? There you go. Boots. Okay, perfect. He's all set up. Only 269,000 dinars. Simple. Not too expensive, right? Not too expensive. Uh, we can go ahead and put you in Formation Ranger uh, with her. Perfect. Uh, recruiting troops? I guess we don't need to recruit troops, but we can take a look and see if there are any. Nope, didn't think so. Um, wait, what? I have too many troops. How do I have too many troops? What? Okay, that's fine. Uh, because we'll go and pass off a bunch of troops here. Yeah, so we can leave the city. Whenever it's done saving. There we go. Uh, let's go over to clan. Let's go to parties. We're going to create party. Oh, before we do that, let's just go and take the surgeon and make him a surgeon. We need to pick up a scout too, don't we? Um, we'll go ahead and take Gur, the outcast. All right, Gur. All right, Gur. It's time to impart doom upon our enemies. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Jeez, I've got a lot of cavalry. Holy moly. I just have a lot of cavalry. I've been doing too many cavalry. Too much cavalry. Uh, can't even reload on horseback uh, until you obtain a perk. Uh, you can reload the tiny crossbow. The babby crossbow, I think you can reload, though. Oh, our companions added to. Of course, duh. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. Trizek, what's this? Uh, what does this redeem do? I don't understand it. What is happening? I don't know. I don't know, Trizek. I don't know. What is happening? These are good questions. Um, let's give you all the hard crossbow. We'll give you this guy. We'll hold on to some of the mastered guys. Let's give you these basic infantry units. We'll give you the soldier. And we'll give you the trained troops. We'll give you the... Do I have any... Ah, uh, Militia. There we go. Here's one. Got a Banner Knight. Nice. What are we at? Eight. <laughs> also known as none. I think it's mostly because we need to drop off, like, sergeants. Alright, so we'll give you 20 of those. And where are my... Legionnaires? How am I missing them? There they are. four of those. So it puts you at 50... Oh my goodness, 56. It's still not enough. I need to give you more. Uh, you can have the Memlet Guard. You can take all of the Hired Blades. That's fine. i give you the Trader Troops. Give you those Armed Traders. Um, let's see what, what? 60, 70? And we'll give you a smidgen more. I want to hold on to the Brigand myself. I'll give you the Skirmisher and the Asurai Archers. All right, perfect. Uh, we can then go to our troops. We have no food. Don't don't worry. Hold on. <laughs> we have no food. Hold on. We'll get to that. Uh, we'll take all of the militia. We'll take all the spearmen. Memlet guards. What are we floating at? Still grab more. I think, and you know what? Let's just grab all of them, and we can dump the remainder that we want in that party. Grabbing troops, keep grabbing troops. <laughs> Noble bandits, crossbowmen, hardened crossbowmen, some spearmen, some veteran spearmen. Levy crossbows, okay. All these troops, it's great. Oh, we got some basic recruits here too. All right, so that's all of them. Excellent. So that's too many. We have too many on hand now. Uh, but that's okay, because we're going to go to uh, talk to Gur. Gur. Grr. Get in here. Grr, get in get in my army right now, Gur. 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 Get get in here. <laughs> Let me inspect your troops. Perfect. Okay. 
So now we can go and drop off a bunch of these troops here. So you can have this one and 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 this one. How many troops do we have? Um, two, five, eight, eight, two. I can take ten back. I can take twenty back. That's fine. We'll leave you with this. It's a pretty good troop count. That's fine. <laughs> Grr, get back here. <laughs> All right, so we're not overdoing it anymore, but we need to go get some food. Let's go and knock this person down. They might have some food on them. Let's see what we can take. Help them. Send the troops. I am A, injured too much, and B, two people were knocked unconscious in that fight. One and two. So no one important was knocked out. That's good. Um, grab more. Oh, my God. Wait, what troops did I just get? What? Scolder? Where's Scolder troops? Oh, that's the guy with the bat with the crazy baggy pants. Oh, interesting. Gur looks pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Gur Gur has a permanent frown on his face. He's a frowny boy. Get over to town here and see if there's any food. Of course, they'll buy it all first. Looks like there's no food here. Silver ore. How I know? This number didn't go up. <laughs> Alright, let's grab a bunch here. Done. I know we should wait here until this wall is repaired, but I'm not going to. We need we need food. We move to town. Off we go. Scolder troops are so cool. Oh, really? Hmm. <laughs> Poro. Good gracious. How are you doing today? Uh, you hope they never remove the uh, exaggerated smiles. They are pretty crazy. It's true, they are pretty crazy. Oh my goodness, jeez. That's gonna be one heck of a, uh, one heck of a read. Let's give us a quick moment here. Let me go grab, <laughs> grab food here first. Looks like they didn't grab any food. No, they grabbed food, okay. Is there any food left? That's a lot of reading. You guys are gonna have to buckle up. It's gonna be a lot of reading here. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade what we can first. Let's just go take care of everything here so that I can read while we're walking. Grab a couple here. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, I have a feeling the pronunciation is not going to go well on my end, huh? I feel like I'm doomed on that one. Let's go get their horses. We need more horses. Especially the, uh, the war horse kind, which in Fort... Yeah, this one is. Good. So luckily we have some more horses. Good. Um, real quick here. Is there anything else in the crossbow category we care about? Uh, peasant leader, increase the morale of each tier one and to three troops by 10%. That's cool. Uh, reduces upkeep of ranged troops and govern garrisons. Nice, but we don't use that. And ranged troops gain plus one experience every day. Wow. It's not bad. Uh, your attacks crossbows ignore 10% of the enemy's armor. Wow, okay, that's pretty good. Um, and then troops in your formation using crossbows ignore five percent, and we get plus four to quivers. And troops in your party have their bolt size increased by two. That's good. Is there another one like that down here, or no? <laughs> Snow Mac. <laughs> oh, Snow Mac, why? Okay. Oh my goodness. The. Here we go. Uh, every day your party member with the lowest bow skill gains experience in bow. What does that mean? How much experience? The party member with the lowest... Oh, wait, hold on a second. Your lowest party member. Does that mean, like, companions? Bow equipped troops in the same party gain small amounts of XP every day. Yeah, so it's your companion. Increases the damage by 8%. Tier 3 plus troops get an additional 5% damage. Wow, okay. So I think we'll go in crossbows a smidgen longer. I want to get a little bit higher in here. Here's this throwing speed and troop throwing speed. And it's dismounting them and whatnot. So I want to do... Oh, we're one off. In our next one. Powerful, powerful sprint. Nice. Um, and the one in charm literally doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't do anything for us. Right, so let's get moving to the next, then. Uh, how much food do we have? Like, literally not enough. Um, I don't know what we're going to do about this. I guess we're just going to have to keep hitting up places and hope we can find food. 
Our troops are going to begin, uh, keep regaining health here. Oh, it looks like they're under siege. Oh, let's turn back around. Let me get back down there. They're sieging it. Quickly, run! Run! We'll, we'll do uh, the dramatic readings while we're, while we're, we're preparing or something. Yeah, while we're preparing to take that, <laughs> that territory back. When we fight to go take it back, we'll, we'll do the dramatic readings then. Let's get in there. Come on. Food, hang out, hang on. Is that just holding on strong? No, it's been raided. Oh no, an army of 100 troops. So scary. Oh my goodness, 180 troops? He's gonna track him down. Oh, he's amazing. Is there any food that's been spawned in here? No. I thought I'd check. I thought I'd check. And food is really the issue. I really need to be like showing up with more food than our troop can carry to start with. Go get him. Get him. Because he's still going to win, even without us helping. We're just going to get in here and we're just going to send the troops and we're just going to just resolve it. We lost seven troops. <laughs> we lost seven troops. Hey, how's it going, Libertarian? Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Thanks for hanging out and chat with us. Oh my goodness. What's going on? Did anyone die? Anyone important die? Nope, 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 no death, no death, no death. No de Wait, yeah, no death. Just to level up on his account. Nope, that's a zero, a zero, a zero, and a zero, and a zero. Perfect. Nice. Auto solve is a lot better uh, than warband. Oh my goodness, warband auto resolve is literally the worst thing you could ever do. <laughs> you're, you're setting yourself up for some extreme sadness, auto resolving in warband. It's like, but. But I had more troops and better troops. It's like, well, but you hit auto resolve. What did you expect was gonna happen? It's like I thought I was gonna actually like win the fight. <laughs> you thought you'd win the fight. Hysterical. Top tier dying first. Yep. Alright. Let's get over here and start up our siege, and we'll go through these dramatic readings here. Oh boy. <laughs> Are they long? You want the auto resolve, but at what cost? At what cost? Just a bit of your soul, it's fine. Oh my goodness, their army just broke apart. That's awkward. I would have liked to actually fight their army. Would have been great. Uh, looks like our troops are just going to go and mop them up then. This is why I like having them be running around free. Alright, let's assault. They've got like no one here. Uh, again, we're just gonna get a battering ram and we're gonna get these online. We've got what? 10 days? Okay, we are slowly uh, racking up some actual food. So that's good. So we'll get there eventually. This is great. Nice. Yeah, auto resolve is a legit strategy in this game now. It's kind of nice. Alright, let's see here. Okay. Let me go and get this thing popped open because I'm gonna. It started to disappear on me. Let me go get that list. Where is our redemptions for readings? Alrighty then. Yeah, keep an eye on this, guys. Let me know when it's done. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> and for your information, the list of all your vassals, including alive and dead Addis, Arwa, Corte, Soratus, Sejor Sejaron, uh, Minarvina, Megarta, Ar Aritha, Lek. Oh, poor Lek. Yeah, Lek died. Poor Lek. Savannah, Osvin, Patir, Ira. These aren't in alphabetical order. What's going on? Why aren't these in al what What order did you put these in? I'm curious. I know, poor Lek, right? Poor man. Oh, this is 19 gonna be planning on doing. I don't know what he can do. Um, Ira, Verina, Vasilia. Oh man, this is a tough one. Utropios. Utropios. Nice. Alright, we'll go ahead and begin the siege. Go for it. We're just gonna sit back here while they go and attack. I still wanna get progress going while this is going on. What happens when you kill every noble? I don't... Like, can you actually just make this game where you're the only people left alive? Is that a thing? Can you do that? Uh, Auto-deploy, go for it. Uh, we're just going to go hitch a ride on the back of this thing and then uh, 
just hang out. Um, Senesos is another one. Oh, I remember Senesos. Did Senesos died, right? Didn't Senesos die? I feel like he did. Let's hitch a ride on here. See if we can climb up. Up to daisies. Taking full control. Indeed, we are. <laughs> oh, the siege tower taken. Wait, really? Oh, it's from the. It's probably from the ballistas then. Up to daisies we go. Alright. I'm prepped and ready. We're gonna see if we can run in there and grab the uh, rock as quickly as possible here. We'll see what happens. Um, Turiados. Uh, Justina. Germana. Oh yeah, Germana. She died too. Uh, Tristania. Trist Tristania? Tristania. Sisjani? Sisjanis. Wrapped around. Thar uh, Tharos. Tharos is still alive, I think. My goodness, some of these names are really hard to pronounce. Sylvia. Sylvina, rather. Um, Eupator? Eupator. Adanos. Constantilia. Tilia. Constan. Yeah, Constantilla. No, no, they're already here. Knock them down! Ah, you monster. Rep, come on. Ready? Get me in there. No one else is up. Land this thing so I can grab that rock. Come on, we're going for the rock. Going for an epic rock maneuver. Lower the gate. Let me up. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Rock, 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 rock. Grab the rock. I've got the rock. No, I don't. Grab the rock. Grab the rock. Throw the rock. Yes. Grab the rock. He's still alive. Grab the rock. Okay, we're prepared. Where's my next target? Give me something to throw. Ah! Pew! <laughs> Grab a rock! Quickly! Alright. Where you at? Hi ah! Boom! <laughs> oh, here they come! Prepare yourselves, men! Pew! Oh, it went right over them! No, men, defend me! Get in there, I need to grab another rock. Ow, that was me. You're supposed to defend me. Let me grab a rock. Thank you. Can't believe I shot right over them. It was really disappointing, actually. Completely really whiffed it. Let me get down here and let's get to the front gate. To the front gate! Quickly, we need to show them our rock. Front gate's up and around. Be a bit of a journey for us with this rock, but oh my goodness, prepare yourselves. Wait, is the front gate not this way? Is it this way? Where on earth is the front gate? Oh, it's over there. I know where it is. We're going underneath. Run faster. I went the long way. Who oh, knows? Quickly! Quickly! Oh, it's, we have to get to that little, that little awning right there. That's where they are. Our troops aren't fighting uh, completely there yet. They're still trying to break through. So we still have our opportunity for the massive rock play. Oh no, our troops are already here. Oh no, our troops already killed them all. Oh, come on. I was going to make a re really big play with the rock. Here we go. Prepare yourselves. Get him. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh wait, what? Why don't I have my... Do I not have a weapon? Oh, I don't have a I don't have an I don't have a sword. That's awkward. What happened to my sword? I guess I picked up more arrows? Oh, I guess we're going full crossbow mode. Ah, bam! Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sir! We just killed a recruit. That's what you get for getting in my divine way. Oh, that's our Maybe I should sit out of the fight. <laughs> Maybe I should sit out of the fight. You know what? I'm, I'm going to timeout. I think we're done. We've done enough damage. Um, I thought he was an enemy troop running away. That was... Whoa. Always happens to you, honestly. I... Whoa. That was a... Oh, that was bad. Did you see that? Someone would... Some, some archer was still over here. Shot him right in the butt. 
Mortally wounded. Shot straight in the butt. Can't believe it. What a coward shot him there. Can't believe it. Who would have done such a thing? <laughs> uh, hold on. Let's see. All right. Everyone's still alive. Okay, good. Let's finish this up and start moving and continuing, continuing down this vassal list here. Continue down this vassal list here. I need to get myself some more combat horses, though. We're still all out. Brigands, we have at least basic uh, horses for basic horse upgrades, but we need to get more uh, top-tier horses. Foot soldiers, skirmishers, foot soldiers, please. Um, yeah, we can actually still recruit troops. That's good. Recruiting these. Any troop is a good troop. Oh my goodness, a gallant? A Valandian gallant? You can only be a good troop, right? Uh, you haven't realized how much uh, butter there is in this recipe? Oh, you're ma wait, you are making cookies? Are you actually making cookies right now, Dalka? <gasps> Where's, where is Muffins when you need him? Where's Muffins when you need him? I'd be so excited. All right, how, how much food do we have left? Eight days, okay, good. We'll pass this off to him, hopefully. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll move from here to here. We're just going to... Actually, we should probably grab whatever food we can on the way. Uh, see if they've got anything for us. We've got one person defending the castle. That's fine. We'll get that sorted here in a second. Oh, not cancel. I don't know what I want to do. Bring up the decision. Bring up the decision. We'll give it to you again. He's still winning the winning the argument for it, so we'll give it to him again. That's fine. Uh, let's keep scooting along. Yes! <laughs> Look at how... Look at how much butter's in this uh, in this recipe. King Haralas looks interested. Oh, really? The Butter King? Of course. This is a really good point. He would be interested, wouldn't he? Uh, they grabbed troops. Oh, give me them all. Give me all of those. Actually, speaking of which, we can just kill some horses for food, can't we? Nice. We've got a whole bunch of like low tier like baggage mules and whatnot that we can just go and sacrifice to that. So that's fine. Uh, where were we on this list? Um, Zena. Oh yeah, Zena. I remember her. Um, Oli uh, Olympia, Boranor, Zakanis. Um, oh, there's no comma here. You missed a comma. Zalarian, uh, Zalaria, Conmitasa, Comitasa. Uh, Nonesos. Nonesos! He's the guy I remember. You're gonna raid the village? We're gonna borrow stuff from the village. If the village won't sell to me, we're gonna borrow stuff. Oh, no, they'll sell to me. Perfect. I also need troops, so we're gonna take- Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? What? Yeah, get in here. <laughs> Yeah, get in here. I need you. Wow. Yes. I would love those troops in my army. Those are some top tier troops. This is some top tier troops. They're, they're like second to highest tier troops. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Buy however much food they have so we have some personal food, hopefully, um, and then go from the rest from there. Even though I bought all that food, I only have one day's worth of food. Jeez. We eat food like nothing else. There's Vipon. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy all your food. Thank you, sir. And then we're going to go take your recruits. Uh, basic recruits, but, you know, and, you know, some some decent troops, but recruits. That's fine. We'll live. Okay. Okay. I now have seven days of personal food. We've probably added a couple days to the rest. Let's go moving up here to this castle. Take this castle, and then we'll go this one and this one. And then we'll start going north from there. If we can take all of this territory here prior to going to peace, I'd be happy. I mean, if we can take all of the Vlandian homeland, I'd be very happy. But I don't have my hopes that high. We're going to start struggling at some point here. Um, just because troop count's going to keep getting lower and lower. And we still have a lot of unconscious people because we ran out of food. But still, all the same, we should do this. We should get what we can. Um, but yeah, so we'll go to the villages, grab the food that we can there, go from there on that. Uh, we have a couple more boys we can go ahead and recruit. Get him in here before the battle begins. Ah, uh, some malicious spearmen. Not top tier, but anybody is a good body, right? Uh, what is our troop max again? Wow, because we're still not there. Gracious. Okay. 
We're a long ways from getting to tier uh, six. So we can get 10 more troops in. Or five more troops in, rather. Five more troops. 10 more if we include the unconscious. If we don't include the unconscious ones. We have 400 troops here. Wow, okay. Uh, in which case, um, I still don't know if we can... I think we're still just going to be fighting them the old-fashioned way. I think we're still not going to be going and dealing with them with the trebuchets. I think we'll still do it the old-fashioned way. Wait, Olysia fell again? Are you serious? Can't see it from here. Owner unknown. Faction of Landia. What? It did. <laughs> For goodness sakes. You know what? Him and his army of 400 should be able to deter them from taking the next one. We'll just take this and then we'll go back. We'll take this and we'll go back. He warned you about that, uh, uh, Ortizia's curse? It feels like it. Gracious! Build some catapults and we feel like we should have catapults after. So let's just do this. That's insane! <laughs> You do keep leaving while the walls are still down? True, but I was, like, hoping that our army would, like, deter them from going there. They're just really quickly taking it. That's fine. The main thing is we need to have a big fight with all of their troops. We need to have a big uh, army versus army fight. As soon as we do that, that'll sort everything out for us. All right, what else we got on this list here? Um, Yorig. Svedorn. Nizvan. Tyaska. Valkasa, uh, Valkava, uh, Zervan, uh, Zervana. We're past halfway, everyone. <laughs> Vizdurna, uh, Fi oh, Fafin, poor Fafin, poor Fafin. Oh, that's right, he died. Poor man. Um, Zorica, Kuroslava, Olspec. Usair, Hak Hakan, Zula Zuleyak, Zuliak, Zuliak, Sulhana, Sukanya, Su Sukania, what? Suk Ayana, Sukayana. What a name! Oh, for a second I thought there was three, like seven hundred troops there. Nope. <laughs> we need these guys to like consolidate a big troop so we can actually fight them. All right, as soon as this one's done, we'll probably go and wage. War on. They're out of food. Classic. Um, <laughs> huh. Interesting. I've been in that before. Um, Awad... Uh, wait. Awadhan. Awadhan. Ukhai. Uh, Kahin. Ashi. Uh, Ashi. Isha. Uh, Shimia. I don't know how you pronounce this one. Uh, should we attack? We should probably attack. Rate uselessness for uh, formations. Notification. It has been sieged by the army led by Pithar. Oh, has it? Oh, I missed it. Yes! Patir, get in there. Take it, Patir. Take that land. It won't be yours when you take it, but take it. Take it for us. We we need it to be done so. Uh, how's it going, Awful? How are you doing today? Uh, your second playthrough, you took, wait, you took that town seven times, left 700 troops in there for the sixth, left it for 10 minutes and it was gone. Seriously? What on earth is wrong with that? What on earth is wrong with that? Um, alright, so let's go ahead and, oh, this is a similar build as the last one, so we know what that means. It's time to play with rocks. Let's get over here and hitch a ride. Go, go, go. <laughs> time for us to go play with some boulders. It won't be yours? That's fine, whatever. I mean, I don't want it. Um, I've got all the land I need. I don't need any more land. We're already making enough money. We need to make sure that our vassals are getting it. Climb! Climb, 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 climb. Wow, I'm not even on the ladder in the climbing animation. It's awkward. Climb, 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 climb. Just like phase through and fall down. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't slap the tower. The tower doesn't need any more damage. Oh, this tower has low walls. Interesting. As long as I don't get shot, we'll be fine. I'll just 
set myself up here. Uh, I thought you were saying your vassals won't get it. Oh yeah, no, our vassals will get it. Uh, it's just uh, the vassal who's taking it isn't going to earn it. A different vassal is going to get it, I think, if I'm allowed to pick. Uh, who else do we have in here? Um, Gahin. Oh, wait, I already did Gahin. Um, and Ia... Las? Ialas? Nice. Done. All right, that's one... That's majority group. We only have one third left. Um, Hassan. Jalfar. Zalua. Uh, Yamina. Uh, Zwad. Oh, yeah, Zwad. We were planning on marrying her at one point. She was an option for us to, to go and marry. Hello, you. Goodbye, you. <laughs> Ping. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness, Archangel Shadow. Oh my goodness, Archangel's Shadow. It, I. That was like the perfect time to follow because um, I saw the shadow of you. Okay. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> that ping was you hitting the ground. I know, right? Oh, my goodness. Archangel, how are you doing? <laughs> that, was, that was so bad. What happened? I just fell to, I fell to unconsciousness. Not once, but twice. I know, right? Jeez, Dyson, that was horrific. Uh, it's fine. I wouldn't have gotten to the rocks in time. Oh. Oh, now I'm really unhappy. Are these explosives? Please, someone tell me these are explosives. Please, someone tell me these are explosives. I want to lose... I want us to win this thing, them to take it, me to come back, and me to take these explosives and have a lot of fun with them. I haven't played with throwing explosives yet in this game. That sounds amazing. Oh, my goodness. I want... I want it so badly. So badly, I need it. <laughs> Get in there, boys. I believe in you. This one has a top. What indicates the reason for a siege tower having a top or not? I wonder why. Hmm. I feel like they should always have a top on them. I don't know. They're special rocks, like Uncle says. Ah. It's a special rock. <laughs> Look up clips of multiplayer using rocks and pots if you haven't. Oh, I imagine it's hysterical. Oh, is this, like, um, the combative multiplayer? That'd be really cool. At some point, I would like to play multiplayer, like, the actual multiplayer of this game. Like, the the the, the army versus army thing. The, like, 10v10 game. I would like to do that in this. So I remember playing a good portion of that in uh, Warband. I think they said we good. We still have a lot of dramatic reading, so let me... Let me it's a good point. We'll just let this go in the background here real quick. Bear with me for, like, two more minutes to get through the names here. And then we'll be on the the interesting rock-related uh, dramatic readings. And by the time that's done, this this should be over. Although we should probably get a better vantage point first. Let's go over here so we can see what's going on inside. Yep, scoot back. There we go. I can see what's up. Bam. Uh, who is left on our list? Uh, Garios. Tino. Uh, Tainopos. Uh, Tadios. Nemos, the the Philos. I feel like these all are Empire guys. Nadea, uh, Vendelia, Milos, Siorgios. Oh my God! Look at all the green. We're crushing them. Get them. Get in there, boys. Take them down. Thought you almost forgot to do that. No, 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 no. I'm reading through them. I'm reading through them. It's just slow and steady. What names are we reading? These are all the names of our vassals alive and dead. Um, that old uh, uh, Shivan has put together for us. <laughs> Shivan Sax has, has put this all together. Shivan Sax has been paying attention to this entire run and has paid attention to everyone who's lived and died as vassals. And he's comprised a list uh, and having us dramatically read it. Uh, who's left of the list? Um... Catelia. Uh, Senate. Senate? Senate. <laughs> he should be the Senate, though his name is Senate. Uh, Boathan. Bellathor. Oh, Bellathor. Bellathor's dead, right? I think he's dead. All right, just seven more, I think. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more. Uh, Maren... Marentinos. Ardino... Ar... 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 Ar...
Argyros. Man, I'm, I'm slamming them all together now. Um, Falaria. Yeah, Falaria. Uh, Falarissa, sorry. Uh, Sora. Oh, yeah, we were aiming to marry Sora at one point, but we ended up being a, a vassal instead. Um, Lakissia. Persiana. And finally, Darinia. Nice. Got them all. All right, Snowmack. What, what's, let's look at your dramatic readings now, Snowmack. Oh, very good. Very good. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna turn around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. <laughs> yeah, we said Fafin earlier, and I'm sad he's dead. Uh, let's go with Snowmack. What? What a troll. What a troll. And then, I'll, this is a fun one. Interviewer. So, what are some of your best skills? Zelda's response. I can throw rocks. <laughs> uh, interviewer's like, so, dur during this amazing battle, can you please explain to me what you used to truly get an edge over your enemies? Well, let me tell you, sir. I used the power of chucking rocks while yelling at my companions to get up the ladder faster. Though they did not pay attention, the rocks really did the trick. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Amazing. How's it going, Mad? Welcome back. Hello, sir. Finally can tune in again? Yeah, good to see you again. How's life been treating you? Got some level ups, good. His tactics are going up, we always love that. Anyone important dying? Nope, nope, nope. And what we're looking for when people are dying to see if they're important people is only the first line to see if there's a red one here. If there's not, they're still alive. If there's a yellow, that means they're unconscious. And if there's a, this means that they've uh, killed people and this means they've gained experience and stuff. So we'll normally see the double arrows here. Um, and this is if they ran away, which generally doesn't happen with lords. Um, so no, still alive, still alive, still alive, still alive, still alive, 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 alive. They are all alive. Perfect. I'm not, I'm unconscious. Oh, I got something. What skill did I get? It must be athletics. There's literally nothing else I could have gotten. I didn't hover over it in time, but it it literally has to have been athletics. I didn't, well, it could have been a, could have been a crossbow. I shot one guy in the face, I guess. But it's probably athletics. Um, we'll see if our athletics is 100. If our athletics is 100, that's what it was. I think that's the case. Let's go check that real quick here. Hey, Burbs, how's it going? Um, thinking of getting this game, going to Lurk and Watch? Yeah, if you have any questions, please let us know. We've got a couple of experts in chat and me who's playing the game currently um, that might be able to, like, they can point out stuff if you want me to highlight things and, like, uh, tactics commands from dead. Oh, yeah, you know, gain, gain, <laughs> gaining tactical prowess from being unconscious. It's one of our best things. Zelda falls off ladder twice. Athletics increased. <laughs> yep. It's just like uh, Oblivion, right? Yeah. I had it. Yep. Athletics increased. It wasn't crossbow. Crossbow was 93 last time. Athletics went up because he fell off the ladder twice. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. That's so funny. Can you name characters in this game? I actually don't know. That's a good question. No, it doesn't look like you can. Doesn't look like I can rename them. You can name your uh, your children, though. Um, so you, you can go to your clan, and you can change your children's name, and even your wife's name. Actually, can we change our... No, we can't change our vassal's name, so, or our clan member's name. So the companions, we can't. But we can change all of our family names. So you can change your name whenever you want, right? Uh, your wife, your kids, your brother, and your sister. Like You, any, you can change them all, which is pretty good. So you can definitely do that. Cat-like grace down the ladder? Oh, you know it. <laughs> uh, we only hit our head on two steps going down the ladder this time. Next time, it'll only be one. Uh, when is CK3? CK3 is in two days. Uh, today and tomorrow is Bannerlord. And then Wednesday, Thursday, the days after that, will be uh, CK3. So we're still doing that. We're doing an Africa run. We're on our Africa run. I don't know if you're there for the Africa run. But we're doing a brand new Africa run, and we're, we're crushing it right now. We've already got an empire. Like, we built an empire in two streams. In, like, five and a half hours, or, I guess, ten hours of gameplay-ish. 
We've already gotten an empire. We're doing very well. I'm very happy with it. All right, so that's this. Uh, we need to go and... We need to go help this guy out. I don't know if we're going to get there in time, though. We are pretty slow. Hang in there. We're on the way. Don't you die on me. Oh my goodness, we made it. Nice. I'm just going to send the troops because I'm unconscious. Send them in. Good. The defenders, we've lost a couple of people. I personally lost a legionnaire. It's fine. We'll get more. I just care about if we lose named people because if we lose the named people, they can't. Uh, we lose their army, essentially. We lose their their band of troops. So we want them all to be alive if we can help it. Yeah, everyone's alive. Good. Yeah, we got a happy face. Give me those prisoners. We'll have them join our ranks. You want to join? Not right now. Okay. I gained zero influence from that. Ah, well, it's fine. Let's go ahead and grab all this. Jump on to the next. Uh, you do have a question. Uh, how is learning? How's the learning curve for this game? Uh, it's not the learning curve is. It's not that bad um, if you know a few tricks. Knowing a few tricks will make this game significantly easier. One, smithing is currently broken. If you need money, smith things. Eventually, it won't be broken, but currently, it's it's ridiculously broken. And even when it's not broken, it should still be a decent source of income. So blacksmithing is pretty good. Um, now and in the future, it should still be pretty good. Um, it doesn't make sense for them to not make that a thing. They're gonna go and start siege, yeah, I had a feeling. They're gonna go and start sieging this thing. They have to put a siege camp together first, but we'll be able to intercept before they get that done. Oh, are you stuck here and you can't run away? How unfortunate for you. Would you like to join? No? Well, looks like you're in trouble. <laughs> Send our troops in. Just just end them. Just just end them. Two people died. I'm not even gonna check. Like it's probably I'm not even it's not important. Two people died, they're not gonna be lords. There's no way. If a lord died during that fight, then they don't deserve to be a lord. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, no lords died. Bam done. Alright, who gets the castle? The castle's going to someone. My goodness, Addis? Should we give the Addis too? I mean, I'm fine with giving him to Addis again. Just have him control his whole territory. I'm okay with that. It's good. Uh, you're out of here, Carcinogen? All right, sleep well. Have a good one. Um, but yeah, so um, blacksmithing is really powerful. Um, uh, horseback riding archery is incredibly powerful as well. That's really good, too. Learning curve is not bad, but watch out for someone throwing rocks. Yes, rock throwing is really bad. Um... Let's see. Um, so I, I know you said you don't care about uh, Europe this run, but hear me out on this. Reverse co uh, colonialism for CK3? Hmm. I mean, you might be able to tempt me down the line, but at, uh, at the moment we want to go for Persia. We want to go, we go for Persia. We, we're going to ignore Europe for the moment and go for Persia instead. And I really hope they actually put troops in there to defend it. Let's get down here. I'm going to be disbanding this army soon here. We're going to need to. Horses equal power? Yes. Uh, the more uh, the more troops you have on horseback, the stronger your army is. Like, it's significantly stronger. Um, and... So that's money that's fighting... Uh, and try and like eat. it's gonna be hard, but try and get a try and get a wife quickly. Try and get a wife as quick as you can, and start just churning out kids. Uh, the reason being that then uh, the kids you can use uh, t as governors of your of your towns to make your towns better. So just getting them started early is good, strictly because it takes so long for the kids to grow up. All right, like our kids are like, what what age are these kids? I not click on them? Uh, my clan, my kids, six, five, and three. It takes, what, 16 years for them to become of age, which is four seasons, which is 80 days per season. So, <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's or 80 days per year is 20 days per season. So, you know, you're, you're looking at a lot of days. You can get a wife, uh, you can get a wife by day four? Wow, holy smoly, Linky Man, that's nuts. But yeah, no, that'd be really good. Um, yeah, so it's, it's good to have that. 
Let's go take this back again. And I think we're just gonna we're gonna disband the army once we take this back. Like we 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 are struggling on this whole food nonsense. <laughs> this food nonsense is a serious problem. Oh my goodness, there's like no one here. There's like literally no one here. <laughs> I think like as soon as the battering ram's done, we might just jump in there to be honest. Greetings, how are we doing today? We're doing pretty well, Stormy Snow. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, so what is the main game? Uh, what is the main goal of the game? Uh, you know, there's quests and whatnot, but what else can you do? Uh, can you siege kingdoms and take them over? Yeah, so we started our own kingdom. Um, you Generally, people join a kingdom first, work for that kingdom, get renowned, get their clan to like level four, in which you have, you can actually be running around with like 200 troops, um, like a formidable army. Um... And then, then you take over the world. But the the main the main goal of the game is to uh, unite the entire map under one banner, whether that be your personal banner or one that you go and you pick up. Either or, either or. Uh, but the goal is to is to do that. All right, let's see if we can do this again, but actually properly stay on this time. I'm away, boys. Coming through. Beep beep. I'm up. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, it's true. That's the pretty much the main point of every single banner lore, uh, every single Mountain Blade series, including Banner Lord. All right, ups at daisies. All right. This time, I need to make sure I don't back up too much <laughs> and fall off my post. Where someone I can shoot? Give me something to shoot, boys. Give me something to shoot. Low, I see. Oh, that wasn't enough? Oh, he moved to the side. You rascal. There we go. <laughs> Got him. <gasps> I did it again. Oh, I can't believe I did that again. <laughs> uh, no step hits this time. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> See, athletics increased. Zero rungs hit on the way down. We just skipped them all. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so bad. I can't believe I've done that twice now. I've done that twice. I can't believe it. Jeez. <laughs> Blurbs, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. You're help. You're helping my wounded pride. Oh my goodness. Jeez, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, good gracious. All right. Come on. Let's get oh my goodness. How's this thing even standing up straight? It's like so leaned over. Get yourselves in a good vantage point. Go get him, boys. Did you die and get knocked out again? Got knocked out again. Oh, we are playing on the highest... Uh, actually, I'm curious. So we're playing on the highest difficulty setting there is. Being on a higher difficulty setting, does that mean we take more falling damage? Or do you take the same amount of falling damage whether you're on easy or not? I don't know. I'm actually curious on that one. Because we have the hardest difficulty settings on. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm assuming that is increasing the damage that we're taking, but I'm not sure. Huh. Uh, we should send you to take a course in learning how to use ladders. I think really what I need is I need a safety belt. I need, I just like, I need to get up there with like, um, you know, two carabiners and a, and a length of rope so I can like latch myself to that so I don't fall off. Good gracious. Uh, you're going to head off and hopefully get a few hours of sleep. All right, sleep well. Thanks for the sleep stream and stop falling off siege towers. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try my best. Not what we're meant to uh, not what we meant when we said break a leg. <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe I shouldn't take you guys so seriously when you say break a leg. Right, let's go warp speed this thing. Warp speed! Oh my gosh, we burst through the bottom before we take the top? Really? Okay. They just have constantly less and less troops to truly defend against us coming in here and taking stuff. So it works out pretty well. 
Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that, Badger. A nonning Badger. Welcome. Oof, all right, we did it. Who's alive? Who's it? Oh my goodness, we only lost seven people during that fight? Only seven people died. No way. We absolutely crushed them. Amazing. Oh? Oh, I was really, really hoping it was going to be athletics. <laughs> I was... I was really hoping that was going to be we leveled up in athletics, but no, it was that one shot that we got off at range. Got us a, uh, a crossbow skill. <laughs> a safety belt or for, or for the week? I mean, maybe maybe we just need to like make our heads sturdier. We just need to like make our heads thicker, right? We just, just absorb the damage. Maybe, maybe that's what we need to focus on. Some some falling training, yeah? Yes, men. See, I'm, I'm testing you. I'm making sure that in the event that I... Fall unconscious from uh, the enemy uh, wiggling the ladder a lot. Uh, you'll still be able to fight and win and be victorious on your own. See, it's a, it's a, it's an exercise of of skill. Looks around, hoping someone believes him. I'm one troop over. Dang it. Uh, where's that recruit? Pick that recruit out. Go away, you. I don't want you. All right, bam. Care about that. Um, <laughs> interviewer. Throwing rocks, you say? Uh, anything else? Zaldor. Well, when uh, I guess I'll do. I, okay, so I'll do. I'll do the dramatic voice for the interviewer, and I'll do do me for me. How do you want to do this? How do you, how do you want me to do this, Nomek? Like, what what kind of voice should I do for the two? Because I don't want to do the same dramatic voice for both. I want to make it a conversation since it's two of them. What are you thinking? All right, so we're going to train militia. Looks like the walls are actually done. Let's go ahead and disband the army here because, good gracious, we need to. Food is such a problem. Uh, bam! <laughs> Explode out. Uh, there's no food here, but that's okay. Now that we're on our own, um, we're just going to go ahead to our horses and then just cleave out um, ten of our something our horses, and they'll give us plenty of food for now. Yeah, four days. Uh, trade trade out whatever random garbage we've got at the moment as well. Bam and drop all this, including the axes and bam all of that. And the horses they've got new new horses, but we can grab more soon. Um, hey, how's it going, Mr. Random? How are you doing today? Uh, those ladders are not OSHA compliant. They are most definitely not. <laughs> most definitely not. Uh, Badger, you're out of the uh, out in the countryside and can't watch at uh, 1080 60 frames per second. Too much bandwidth. Falling to see uh, what you're up to when you've got uh, when you're in good internet. Hey, no problem. Uh, all streams are cataloged on Twitch for two months, so you'll be able to watch all of them there. And we've recently we and I recently put together a uh, a YouTube channel. So there's now a YouTube channel that's linked in the about section in a tiny, tiny link. It's a tiny, tiny link there. I'll eventually put a button together. Uh, I'll probably go see if I can borrow one from Rose. Um, Cause I don't want to put one together right now. I don't feel like making one, um, but I'll put, I'll, we'll get a button or something down below next to the discord one. So it's nice and big and flashy, uh, but all archives are going to slowly get put up on there, but they're going to go in order. So right now we're going um, the fallout new Vegas playthrough from two years ago is currently being uploaded. So it's got a, a choppier mic and it was when I was more tired because um, I would, I would get back from work and then immediately stream. So it's, I'm a little, I'm a little less, you know, Oh my goodness. That guy's, getting demolished oh my goodness he's yeah it's not gonna work well for him uh, so i'm a little more tired than those but if you want to go uh watch those, those those will be there we'll be uploading those regularly we i keep saying we why do i keep saying we um i'll keep uploading those regularly um it'll be like three a week or so until we eventually catch up um it's just because i'm doing the entire stream the entire stream is being how do i suddenly have more troops i don't know like five extra troops i don't know how that works let's grab all this food um, so we're going to stockpile a ridiculous quantity of food and then we'll, uh, pull the army together again. Um, but yeah, it just takes a long time to upload because 
they're like this is back when I was doing really long streams, you know, ten hour long streams. Bad news, his army got crushed. Yeah, I saw that. There's a whole bunch of red, which is no good. But that's okay. I, I still think we'll be fine. Um, I'm just let's go back to the heart of our empire here. Go stock up on as much food as we can. Jerome's created an army. He's got like 600 troops. It's not enough because the enemy's ro generally roaming around with yeah, a thousand. <gasps> They're out of food. They're out of food, are they? Oh, he's struggling to try and keep this. I'll give it to him again, but you better hold on to it this time. Good gracious, sir. Lucera is struggling. Perhaps the interviewer um, needs a British accent. I'm pretty bad at holding on to a British accent. I can try. But I'm pretty bad at holding the British accent. Um, can we? You guys want to come and grab this? We've got 300 troops. Depending on how long it takes for them to find food, I might just kill them on my own. 600 unconscious troops. Actually, with these guys, we can almost take them. Well, we're just gonna circle like sharks here real quick. I wanna pay attention to them and make sure they don't like veer off course into attacking me. I think they're gonna try and get here to get food. Oh, or they're gonna go and attack him. Is he gonna help? Okay, so he's gonna help. That puts us at 140 troops. My troops aren't gonna do much. Our tactics will be able to win us the fight, but be gracious. We'll be able to take them. Uh, then just pick something. You're the dramatic reader? Hmm, okay. Let's get our army set up and we'll go from there. Uh, what armor is heavy? Oh, that armor is heavy. Um, is a is a hard climb. Uh, it's hard, yeah, it makes sense. Hard to climb that armor. Uh, hard to climb the ladder in this armor. That makes sense. They should be attacking us. Yeah, they're on their move over. They're on the move over here. Do we have a good hillside or anything for us to play on? This is a decent hillside over here. Let's have everyone follow us real quick. Let's go ahead and get ourselves into a decent position. Prepare ourselves for battle. How many troops do we have in the different groups? Oh my goodness! Look at how much cavalry have. They're screwed. Oh my goodness! This is a beachhead. Quickly, move. Move, 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 move. There's a river. Go, 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 go. We want to get ourselves set up on this side of the river prior to them getting here. They're moving quickly. All right, archers, I want you right here. Infantry, I want you down below. Cavalry, I want you guys to move on to this side of the river. Actually, just right over there. Please go. Go, go, go. Move, boys, move. Cavalry, get in there. Get to the other side of the river as quickly as you can. Quickly as you can. Get to them while they're still in. Oh. Okay, well, that horse is down. Get over there as quickly as you can. All right, so the, their archers are in the river now. Our cavalry's not, it's not ideal here with that. Hello. Let me recruit down. Okay. I need the cavalry to retreat. They can't be in here, they're too slow. So we're gonna have a bunch of, oh. Well, so much for that. <laughs> uh, we're in trouble now. This is actually really bad. This is this is really bad now. Um, at least they're going into a nice square, into a circle, a square and a circle. That's good. I can get behind this. Oh, this is really bad though. Let's fast forward for a minute and see how this is gonna go. Our horses should be able to take them if they get out of the water. There they go. Our horses should make the difference if they can get in here and start. Horses, get in there! Oh my goodness, our horses aren't doing enough. Yeah, our horses aren't doing nearly enough. We need to have, like, we're currently evening out, which is no good. We need to do much better. All right, our horses are starting to really make the time, starting to change this around. But I really need the horses to do better. Is that our cavalry moving in? Oh my goodness, no, cavalry, please. That's bad. Let's see if we can run. We're gonna die here otherwise. We gotta run. We're gonna leave. Good luck, boys! <laughs> Good luck, boys. I believe in you. There, you're on your own. 
We would die otherwise. Please don't go in there and give them food. They're still dying out. So we can still get in here and take them. I don't know if there was, how much food was given to them. We might still be able to take them. Oof, that was bad. Um, you know, the uh, the interviewer's dramatic voice and my voice is regular? Perfect. All right, so we're just dramatic eating. All right. Throwing rocks, you say. Anything else? Well, uh, when I fall off a ladder, I make sure not to hit any rungs on the way down. I see. How many battles have you won? Conscious or unconscious? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it's, no, like, that's a pretty good question. It's a pretty good follow-up question for an interviewer there. It's like, how many, how many battles have you won? Uh, with your with your superior with your superior skill there, Mr. Zeldor. It's like, well, I mean, I've I've won a handful of them. Uh, it's, uh, but the real question is, do you want to know if I was conscious or unconscious for those fights? Um, conscious. Well, in that case, like four. We're generally conscious, but still, man. If I still had all three hundred of my troops, now I would actually go and take them on. We have to wait until you have 20% health, though. So I think they're actually going to make it here in time. But if I buy all the food that's here before they actually get to it, nothing they can do, right? <laughs> Don't worry, lads. We're going to get food in just a moment. Oh. Are you? You can keep the leather, but I'll, t I'll take all that. Thank you. Oh, are you... Are you getting... Is there... Is there food here? Oh, it, no? Oh, that's unfortunate for you. Wait here for some time. Oh, look at that. They have to divert around because there's no food here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's the move that you see like uh, like people like patiently waiting in line to go like, get like the latest iPhone. And someone's like, I'm going to take four. Right? That's why you can only take like one at a time or whatever it is. This poor team. They've got a thousand unconscious men, 308 prisoners. This is going to be amazing. We've got enough health that we can actually fight. Zelda, Zelda win over uh, one million battles conscious for only four of them. Something like that. <laughs> the commander who's fought and successfully won a million battles. Uh, or a hundred thousand, I think, is the number you actually put down. Um, however, only four of those were conscious. Nah, more than that were conscious, but it definitely feels like that. I, I want to say, like, maybe 50% of the battles that we've done, we've won unconscious. Oh, they have to run from us now. They can't be, like, super confident in their abilities anymore. And they're just too slow, so they're just going to starve to death. Do they eventually get to the point where there's zero conscious troops and we just walk onto them? Is that how that works? Does it just get down to the point where there's zero conscious troops and we just go over them and say hi? So the numbers, what do they mean? Uh, so those numbers are the numbers of currently active conscious fighting fit men in their party. So when I uh, when I hover over them here, uh, so you can see there's 150 conscious men. We have 1,212 wounded slash unconscious men. Those are those that are starving. And 244 prisoners. Since their uh, main conscious troop is going down, they can't hold on to as many prisoners. So prisoners are currently escaping. And you'll see, like, as, as this number goes down, this goes up and this goes down. So this is why you need to always make sure you have food on hand. The moment you run out of food, this is this is your fate. Look, this party right here has six active men. And he's going to go join the ranks. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to go try and get some food. We'll fight him. Oh, it looks like his friend isn't... Oh, no, his friend's going to help. Perfect. We caught them all. I want to get that guy in here, too. I want to get as many as we can. So a handful of these guys literally have zero party members available <laughs> to actually fight. We have some health. I just need to be smart about not losing health here. It'll be good to go. Go for it when they're down to 100. Yep. Exactly that. 94 versus our 240. Let's get in there. 
a troop of 89 in the main army and five spares from the other guy. Ooh, we're in the trees. I don't like that. Um, what is our troop composition? Eh. Yeah, I'd rather not be in the trees. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Uh, everyone, everyone go ahead and follow me. Let's see if we can get up on here first. We're the ones that attacked them, so supposedly they're standing their ground. Yeah, they're standing their ground. If you hold Alt, you'll be able to see where they are. If you're standing still and their numbers aren't, uh, the numbers aren't decreasing, which is the amount of meters away, uh, that indicates that they're holding their ground, which is good. This means we don't need to set up and prepare for them to run into us. It means that we know that we'll be able to run into them. Or rather, shoot them to pieces from the high ground here. All right, cavalry. Let's get our cavalry to stand there so they're not going to be obnoxious and get in my way here. Whoa. Right, archers here. Infantry here. Cavalry just literally have at it. Oh, wait, hold on. Why aren't you standing apart and I want you forming the wall? Actually, you know what? It's just charged. <laughs> just get in there. Our cavalry should completely mess their formation up here. And our archers should be able to just pick them out from there. We'll just get our infantry in there to go mop up the rest. That sh this should be a done deal. This shouldn't be hard. Take them down, boys. Take them down. Sometimes the AI uh, decides to span when the army gets below 100. Oh, that makes sense. So you suddenly... Uh, it's a case of roaches running around. Yeah, you have to go and track them all down. That's no fun. I'd rather do a fight. Yeah, we finally have a solid block of cavalry, which is amazing. That's why I've been focusing so hard on getting them. Because we really needed that block of, our, uh, of cavalry here. It's really good for us. Go ahead and pour myself some tea here. We've already gone halfway through the stream. Well, not quite, since the stream's been ex extended. But... We're almost halfway through the stream, and I've, I've yet to pour myself some tea. Let me go get that sorted. Good gracious. While we stand here and watch all the green appear on the right-hand side, showing that our troops are doing what they're supposed to. I turn my back, and I really hope that the sound of the horses is our troops, not an enemy troop. Coming to go and stab me in the back while I'm not paying attention. That'd be bad. Woo! We got him. We lost seven. We lost six troops. It's like. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's just us. That's right. We don't have anyone else with us. Nice. Oh, my. How much money did we just plunder? It was like 27k? Is that right? Did we just did we just got like 27,585? That was nuts. You may go free. You may go free. I'm letting these guys go free because they both give us more charm, but they also, I'm looking at how much this guy's like us. This guy's at a negative 33. Uh, if we have them like us, right? He's now at negative 25. Um, it'll be easier to recruit her. Um, right? We're just, we're just gonna do it to all of them that dislike us, and everyone in Volandia should dislike us because we joined their faction originally and then left. Oh, this is the uh, yeah. There you go. You can go free. That's fine. Look at all the crowns. The crowns are great. They look really good. And these crowned helms. Oh, a caster of the Empress. Yes, I, I need you to like me more. I want. I want you to work for me. Uh, you already like me a bit, but we'll have you like me more. That's fine. I don't need the money from um, selling them off, so we'll just we'll just go ahead and have that happen. So there's 223 troops here um, that they had captured. So, um, hmm. <laughs> Let's go upgrade all of our troops, and I think we're just gonna trade our low quality troops for high quality troops. And honestly, we're just gonna just drop drop all those groups. I don't need them. All right, what kind of what kind of troops do we have here? Do, 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 do. Uh, mercenary cavalry, militia, archers. Let's find the top top tier. Okay, we'll take you, hired blade, hired crossbowmen, uh, sergeant crossbowmen are top tier. Line breakers are great. Elites, uh, infantry, cataphracts. I'll take the cavalry. Um, veterans is fine. How many troops do I still? How many more can I put in here? So put a few, not many. 
Uh, I need to pick here. Get you guys in here. Oh, I want all that. Uh, let's get the Legionnaires. That's going to be over a cap, huh? All right. Um, okay. So we just dump some more troops. Do we have any other low tier troops? Got a mercenary horseman. We can drop him. Um, standard militia spearmen. Drop those guys. Militia spearmen. Drop him. And these are all ones we just grabbed? Yeah? No. Uh, footman can go. Basic archer can go. Levy Crossman can go, because those are lower tier guys. So grab this guy, grab this guy, this guy, Mercenary Cavalry. We actually just dropped Mercenary Cavalry, but that's fine, we'll take him back. Uh, regulars, Heavy Cav. Um, hmm, okay. Now we're over cap again. Gosh darn it. Uh, Okay, let's drop you off. How many specifically do we need to drop? Um, six one one seven seven one one six six twenty. So uh, we have one thirty. We have three hundred and thirty-seven. So we're two over. Let's see. Let's guards. We'll just, do, oh, this, we'll just drop all of those militia archers. I don't want them. Uh, and so we'll get the palace guards. Let's see here. That should be max, and that should be one over. Perfect. Uh, we'll get rid of the Memelik guard to replace for the palace guard, who is a higher level tier of that. We're good to go. Master Rai, Master Archers. Did I miss those? 15! Good gracious! <laughs> Jeez. Um, Imperial Arms at seven of these, and we can do seven of those. Uh, Mercenary Swordsman, we can drop one of those. I'm taking the Palace Guard. Because um, those are really good. We'll drop these four. We don't need the Mercenary Cavalry, so we'll drop four Mercenary Cavalry, uh, and we'll take four of these guards. We'll drop two Footmen. Grab the guard and an archer, one skirmisher, three tribesmen. One says five, so we take five. Um, drop these two crosswomen, so we can take these two masters. Um, what's another one that we want to be replacing for? So we'll go for this uh, for the veteran infantry next. Go for these guys. Uh, what can we drop? Cards are really good. Uh, Axemen, they're not as... Oh, here we go. So two and two makes four. So we can go ahead and get four. One, two, three, four of those. Weird. <laughs> um, Imperial Crosswomen. Do we have Veteran Crosswomen anywhere? Militia Archers. Do I still have Militia Archers? I do. Four. Our four militia archers. Take those four. Because we do need more infantry in our party right now. Um, at the bottom? There's more at the bottom? Or is it the bottom of that section? Could be the bottom of the section. We have um, eight tier twos. So we can drop all of these eight tier twos. Um, and we can take those three. So this is essentially we're just freely upgrading these troops is what this means, is that it costs zero buccarinos to level them up, which is nice. Um, can we also drop all tier twos? Do I have any other tier twos on hand? I think I dropped them all now. I think I dropped them all. You just remember those are tier fives. Okay, here's a tier six. Yeah, it looks like I've dropped them all. Uh, I've got some tier threes left. Should we be dropping tier threes for tier fours? I mean, I'd probably, right? How's it going, Durkis? Good morning. How are you doing today? So go one, two of those, and we'll take these two crossbowmen. Um, we'll keep these guys because they're named people, so I'm assuming they're special. 
in some way. Are there any other tier threes? If not, I think we're good. I don't need to go and replace everything perfectly. Um, drop the lone hired blade. Nah, it's fine. I mean, we could drop him, but he's a tier five. Unless there's a tier six I could find. I'd leave him. Because there are cheaper, right? Oh, no, it's bandits are cheaper, isn't it? Is the thing we have. All right, we can drop this guy and pick up another veteran. Good. Also, ask for why infantry are the are worse than footmen's. Uh, it's because they don't like. Well, no, they've got a big shield. They're fine. I'm okay with having them here. I, I think it's okay. We just need like higher level infantry because the other infantry we had were like tier one. They're all bad. We'll do that. We're not going to take the prisoners because we're already pretty full on them. We'll take this gear, which is going to make us a secondary millionaire off of this run. Dropping this off is going to be ridiculous. That's why it's taking so long for the game to render what's going on. It's like, wait a second, I don't know what to do. It's like, I know, I know. All right, let's go on back here. Do we still have our territory? We do, thank goodness. We're going to go hit that up next. Uh, once we get more food. I still don't like how little food we have. I'd like us to buy more. Okay, buy more food. We're going to buy all these hogs, too. I think we're just going to murder the hogs. Because we bought all the cows in the like too, just to make sure that they couldn't. But um, I think we're actually gonna hold on to them and just slaughter them. Bounce bolt, bent throwing things, and I doubt they have enough money. Oh, they do have enough money. I stand corrected. Okay, so actually that's everything there. We don't need to check anything else. Uh, we can leave. Um, let's head on over here and just buy all the food that we've got over here. Let's do a little bit more on the food runs. Let's actually jump over here and jump over there. I'll turn around. Uh, here, sir, take all my garbage for every horse to ever live. Exactly right. Buy every horse ever born. I mean, we might as well at this point, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, that army's huge! Holy smokes! Duron, what are you doing with 1,400 troops right now? What? Holy smokes, it's huge! Okay. Salt, cotton, butter, cows, those cows. We have so much money, it doesn't matter. What matters most is making sure we have enough food. We need to get more offensive cav. That Billman is willing to join us, good. So we'll take advantage of that down the line. Uh, as as we lose troops, we'll just start hiring troops back in, which is always good. Uh, give me all of your grain, because you should have a bunch. Perfect. What are we at now? 39 days. That's not going to last long with a large army, though. He's farming leadership skill? I mean, that doesn't hurt. It's good to have him have a lot of leadership skill, for sure. No problems with him having that. What's the food situation here? Should be plenty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me all that food. 1,000 for that. Perfect. 80 days of food. So we're getting there. We're getting there now. Um, troops. Hold them up. Oh, I forgot horses. Hold on a second. You're a millionaire. Buy horses. Yeah, I forgot to do the horses. 80... 80 mules are going to get us into uh, being slow because it's going to be it's going to, we're going to have a herd negative, aren't we? No, we don't. What? Okay, <laughs> sure. Why not? All right. Uh, we've got all of like we've so much livestock to murder as we go, so I think we're good to go here. I think it's time for us to prepare for the next phase of a plan. Get more horses. <laughs> okay. Horses shouldn't count as a negative. Uh, the mules will. Uh, if you have enough of them, it counts as a... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not hiring. I just want all of your food. Not all your horses. Uh, it'll count as a herd at some point. There's literally no downside to horses. Uh, eventually it will. Buy all food and horses. Yeah, all the horses will turn into food as well. So we definitely want to buy all food and all horses. Luckily, this is a horse territory. Like this this like plain here has a lot of... It's grain and horses. Which is good. 
really good for us. Nope, I keep doing troops, not troops. Sheep and whatnot as well. Perfect. Um, that was a few patches ago. Yeah. So like, you just have to be careful not to take too many because you will get a, uh, a debuff at some point. Seems like we're okay so far, though. Oh, for gracious sakes, get back there! <laughs> get in there! Scare them off at the very least, please. Come on, do your job. Do your job, scare them off. <sighs> For goodness sakes. <laughs> For goodness sakes. What's the point of this massive army if you don't do anything? You're just roaming around with just a thousand and change troops doing nothing. Oh? Hang on, I take that back. Someone has found the large army. Let me get in here. I mean, there's not much left, but I'll still join. Well, do the horses do it now? Or is it mules? Uh, horses and mules, yeah. Um, it's, it, I don't remember exactly what it is. We're gonna back up over here. I don't know if they're, are they attacking us? Repositioning, if nothing else, but it doesn't look like they're moving fast enough for an attack. Um, it's, I think it's like if we have more horses of one type than the number of troops, then, uh, that we carry, then it counts as a, a, a herd. Does it have anything else? British drumroll begin. <laughs> Prepare. They're definitely moving in then. Yeah, they're def they're definitely moving in. Alright, so let's get our archers here. Move! Our cavalry here. And get our infantry here. Forward! Reposition all, all the troops. Are they coming in? Holding the line? They're holding the line, okay. These guys are doing some Hail Mary shots here. Soldiers! Hold fire! Let's have them hold their shots. Uh, we'll scoot up a little bit more here. Cavalry! Actually, you know what? This is nice open terrain. We'll have our cavalry go and see if they can break up their formation and get them to start running at us. Uh, but we're still going to want to move our troops forward. Look at that thunder. You hear that? Oh, that's just majestic. Horse 60 horse archers. Charge! We have 60 horse archers. Jeez. I mean, our horses could probably win this fight. Oh, yeah. We need to make sure our horse archers are actually allowed to shoot. <laughs> Would be useful. Ow. Poked me. Who wants some, huh? You? Missed. Ooh, one, one damage. <laughs> Scooting around. Oh man, I need throwing javelins for this. Oh, for goodness sake, sir. Ow. For goodness sake, sir. Running in front of me. I'm doing my business. Come on now. You know better than that. Alright, let's get in here. Oh my goodness. The spear is huge. Reach is longer than mine too. Okay, well, pfft. he's lost. In, he's lost in our horde. That billman out. Let's get up here. We got some of these archers. Billman, no, you don't. It's down. Oh. Come on. 
Come on now. <laughs> Got walloped by that horse. Ah, get in there! Oh my goodness, he ducked to uh, to fire his crossbow, to load his crossbow again. And that duck saved his life from my swing. Amazing. Anyone left? Oh, they're spawning in! Take him down! Alright, so it's a little choppy. I think we're gonna have to decrease the number of troops that we're playing with back to 400. Uh, we moved it up from 400, but now it's, it's whenever I'm like actually moving around and fighting, it's a little choppy. I'd like to get that cleaned up and a little smoother. So we'll go and change that. Can't quite do 450. We can do 400 troops though. It's only 50 less. We'll let them go find the rest of the stragglers. We'll just stand here and admire them all. Just look how fast they run. That's the time when you and your enemy uh, have the same color uniform. I know, that's not going to cause problems at all, right? There'll be zero friendly fire with that going on. <laughs> oh, no. Get in there, boys! Take them down! Pew! Okay, I half expected that to kill a friendly, I'll be honest. Um, I, was, I was waiting for the... I was waiting for the little... Friendly fire damage thing to pop up. We lost 13 troops. Excellent. I'm confident we didn't lose anyone important. Nice. Gain a smidgen of cash. Just in time. Oh, you know it. Uh, you? I should like me more. Oh, you're the only one. Prisoners? 67. Can I actually support that many? Oh, I can. Get in here. Perfect. I've lost, like, no troops, though. <laughs> Still, like, losing zero troops. Um, definitely makes it hard for us to recruit the prisoners, but it's good to have on hand. Um, just tone down shadows. Maybe, yeah, we could just try and tone down shadows. I don't know, I like having the visuals as beautiful as possible. Let's take a look at the graphics real quick here. See what we can change uh, to make it a little bit smoother, because I know it's a little choppy, and I'd like to get that sorted so it's nice and smooth. It was smooth before. Uh, options... Graph, graph, video, video, graphics, no, performance, yeah, oh no, we're already, yeah, we're playing with that, because everything else is already, at, like, absolute tip-top, highest, maximum, whatnots, right, because uh, I know if we bring this down to 400 here, oh, for goodness sakes, why can't there be, like, a snap to numbers, because humans like solid numbers, I like solid numbers, 500, can I get 400? 402 it is. <laughs> we'll see if that fixes it. Actually, the other thing we can, uh, if we really want to, if we really want to make it easy uh, on us, all we have to do is number of corpses medium, and then we can probably go back to... Uh, one more. There we go. Let's go back up. If we knock the corpse number down, that's probably fine. Do you want to join me? Or can they not join me once I start besieging? They can't. Interesting. Well, I'll let them go do whatever the heck they're gonna do. I'll go siege this thing on my own. I've got enough food to last here forever. Actually, cancel these. I've got enough food to last here forever. So I'll do this. <laughs> it's a troop of three. I don't know what his plan is. Uh, but we'll sit here and we'll just start suiting them down the old-fashioned way. Uh, shadow quality very high, uh, set to medium, and you won't uh, you won't spot a difference. Really? It doesn't actually add that much. Are you serious? Okay. Well, we'll try. Uh, we'll do another battle um, with the reduction in body count, and then we'll change it over. I don't think like honestly having the bodies on the ground doesn't really add that much. Uh, let's go ahead and let's add some people to our army. There should be like some people in here. What if we add everyone who's who's free? How big can we get? Really big. All right. So we'll grab you. Um, you and you and you. They're in the other army. Really? You're in the other army too. Good gracious. Okay. I thought I could count on them. Guess not. All right. So we'll grab all of you guys 
here, and that should be fine. We don't need that many troops. We'll grab some. Just to bolster our uh, our troops here by a bit. And this way we can still have a bunch that are roaming around. There you go. Join me! And this way we can also ensure we have plenty of food. So we're not going to starve out anytime soon. So since they have catapults, we're going to have to go and put these things into reserve immediately and wait until all the catapults are built. And then we can attack them. Once all the catapults are built. They're slowly repairing this wall. I don't really want to break the wall to get in there, but... We'll probably break the wall to get in there. <laughs> we'll probably do it because it's the easiest way to go forward, right? Uh, Shadow Draw is um, incredible at 100 and, uh, at 15 frames per second on average. Wait, what? Sorry, it's responsible for 15 frames? Are you serious? All right, yeah, we'll go ahead and move Shadow Draw then. We'll, we'll bring it on down. If that's the case, then yeah. If I'm not going to notice, then I see no reason why not to. Hey, Big Max Pad, welcome. Thanks for the follow. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a dandy day. Well, oh, Trebuchet. Hey, Durkius, thanks for the follow as well. I appreciate that. Also, thanks for letting me know what's going on. Um, yeah, no dream. So we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll change that out. Uh, I mean, I, I could probably just do that right now. Let's just do that right now. <laughs> Why not, right? Uh, performance. In which case, can we play at 500? Let's back up. Shadow to medium? Was it? Were you saying? Shadow quality. Uh, oh, this one. Shadow quality to medium. As opposed to shadow. Wait, what? Shadow shader. Can't read sometimes. All right, that makes sense. Okay, so bring this down to medium. Let's see if we can play at 500 people. If not, then, you know, we'll we'll change it again. <laughs> you love this game, except you only played Warband? Warband was an amazing game. Warband was great. Oh, 300 and change troops. This is exactly why we added a couple of boys in here, just in case. I want to make sure we don't get outnumbered. Uh, who is that? Can I get you in here? Join the team, please. Get them to turn around and dive on in. Bam. <laughs> They're already over here protecting us. We might as well do it. Ooh, that's no good. That caravan's getting wrecked. Okay, fire up the trebuchets. Let's see what we can get done. Uh, depends on GPU, but yeah. Shadows is another unit. Um... Shadow is another unit, but uh, holy back uh, the GPU though. Not shaders, shadow quality. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we <laughs> I accidentally did shaders first, but we're good. We swap those out. Right, perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade some troops while we're still here. They're at 500. They're actually at about 600 now. Uh, troops in count, but I'm still not worried about them. Have yeah, more than that to really worry me. Oh, now, <laughs> take out these catapults, please. Oh, that worries me. Okay, that's that's where I get worried. That's a lot of troops. Um, is anyone nearby? You're two days out. Your hours out. Day is out. Anyone nearby? I'm just gonna go and request everyone else to show up. So, can we fight someone who has double our numbers? Might not win if they've got double our numbers. I mean, we could just charge in now and hide inside. I think we'll do that. Let's see if we can take out a few more of these first before they get too close. But I think we'll just charge inside before they get to us. Alright. We'll do the assault. <laughs> Run inside before they get us. So it means walls aren't down, but we have our trebuchets, but they have catapults, so they could still take out all of our um, siege equipment. Which would be really unfortunate. Alright, get in there, boys. I will not climb this this time, because that's that's bad. <laughs> I 
strictly bad. Not a bad shot. Rearm it. Rearm? Yeah, pull it back. Come on now. I'm gonna try my luck. Let's see if I can get a good shot in here. Move faster, you. We gotta get this shot off. Oh my goodness. The pathing. The pathing. Oh wait, he's aiming. Oh, so that's the aiming side. So get out of there. It's my side. It's my side. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a shot here. We'll go back up there. Uh, if you can hit a group of defending uh, the check uh, the choke point. Um, so like where the, um, the choke point? You mean like where the siege towers are? Is that what you're, you're trying to point me to? Grab a rock, sir. 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 Can I rearm this on my own? Yeah, low ammo. Yeah, it's gonna be way faster with literally with just me doing it instead of me relying on them. Alright, let's dial this up a bit. Let's try right here. Feeling pretty good about this shot. Going straight for that catapult. Ooh, a little, a little far back. Oh no, wait! I did, I did a hundred and a uh, thousand one hundred and seventy-three damage to an object. I think I, I might have taken out that catapult. Oh my goodness, I might have done it. I think I might have done it. Yeah, load, load her up, load her up, boy. Load her up, come on. I'm firing the same position again to see if that worked. Get in here. <laughs> Drop the rock. Come on, you. Fire! Boom! We're not going to change anything. See if that actually worked. No? Well, I did some damage. So I'll take it. I'll let them go sort out the rest. That's pretty good. Broken, might have broken a piece off the front of the wall. It looked like it hit behind the wall. Um, but maybe. It's really hard to tell where you hit, though. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's get up here. Up, boys, up. Up, boys, up. Go, go, go. Up to daisies. Up to daisies. Up to daisies. Let's go. The fire onagers are much easier. I should probably just build one of those so that I could play with it. You can see where it hit. Uh, I hit, like, the top of that tower right there, that close tower. Uh, it's definitely a little bit better, but it's not its not as good as I'd like it. Makes it a lot easier to fight, good gracious. Oh, hitting walls. Come on now. Sit down, you! Sit down, you! Bam! Um, but yeah, so my shot went and hit um, the backside of this right here, somewhere over there right in there. So I'm not too sure exactly what the damage went out and did. Let me go clear this tower over here. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> Who are you? Where you come from? Oh, he's down now. Okay. Let's go clear out this tower. Make sure there's no one in here. Doing nefarious things like shooting my men. Probably aren't. Yeah. Can I chuck these? Oh, I shouldn't have thrown it there. <laughs> I 
Oh my goodness, it's amazing. I know what we're doing next time they've got, uh, oh, game. Uh, next time they've got a, a, a catapult up here. We're just gonna, we're just gonna run up here, clear these guys out, and as they come to defend, we'll just be like, ah, And just blow them right up on them. It's gonna be nice. And if you break the walls down, uh, you can set your mana. Tell them to hold uh, and start. Them to, oh, and then just learn to fire the longer. True. <laughs> you can just use them as cannon fodder. Very true. All right. Good. Still alive. Are we all alive? I believe I'm down. Those are fine. Looks like we're good. Gained a little bit one handed. Very nice. Very nice. All right, so we're going to drop the uh, number of troops that we can play with back down to 451 uh, and see if with the shade being, with the shader, or the shadows being sorted, if that's going to fix the issue. Grab all the loot. Do you need more horses still, <laughs> funnily enough? Um, all right. Different options, performance. Battles. I love that you can have a thousand. Good gracious, it's insane. Or at least you can try and have a thousand troops fight. You, it's a good luck. You can try. But I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's move on to the next castle. We've done enough here. Um, we've held down the fort. We'll see what we can do. Oh, that's right. There's a bunch of people here and we were going to hide in the fort. I remember now. Oh, this is awkward. We better get back in there before they actually fight us! <laughs> Whoops. You do a thousand troops on your laptop? That's crazy. Well. That happened. I completely forgot that we were supposed to be hiding in there. Oops. Oopsie daisies. Um, our cavalry is not ideal, but it's going to be enough for the fight. That's fine. We've got a decent position here, so we'll be okay. They'll be coming to us as well, so we'll be fine. Uh, honestly, do you think the power graph would be different? Um, we can do a power graph. Not quite sure. Oh, look at our cavalry. Look at this gorgeous cavalry. They're literally in perfect position for a charge. I love it. Footman! I want you all right here. Move! I want you all right Forward! here. Mounted archer! Horseman! I want my horsemen right Move! there. We're just going to create an overlapping setup, uh, just a, ni a nice layer here. Just going to do a nice layer here. A layering of troops. Alright, prepare yourselves, man. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> We're going to go and charge into that. Uh, so the cavalry's job is to go in there and break their formation. The archers are then going to try and pick them off the best they can. And then our infantry is going to be used as the main line of offense and defense at the same time. Put your infantry down into the shield wall in front. No, I don't want them to get shot in by arrows. And the other thing is that if there's someone in front of an archer, like right here, for example, uh, they generally won't shoot. Yeah, see, he won't shoot through my head. If I move to the side, though, he'll then shoot. So, so long as I don't have our infantry in front, we can ensure all of our archers are actually firing. So that's what I really care about, is I want to make sure that they're all firing. Alright, let's get these guys to do a shield wall, prepare them to go and hit them. Don't know what our cavalry our cavalry is going to fight their cavalry, that's not good. I mean, it's good, but not what we need right now. Our archers are still doing plenty of damage uh, for the start of a skirmish. It's pretty good. Alright, cavalry's coming in. Hopefully they can break their formation. Infantry is moving forward. The archers staying behind. We're halfway there. If they can go and break the archers' formation, that would be the best. The infantry running like crazy doesn't hurt us. But they're still moving in a shield wall. It's not good. We have some of these, like, line breakers in the light down here. Good gracious. You guys are going to hit something. Nothing but whiffs. There we go. <laughs> Headshot. Oh, good. She got a level. Alright, so they're, they're moving in. Let's get our infantry to move in. So we're going to have them swarm through our archers. And then be the main line. Oh, jeez. I don't like that they went and are attacking in that formation. 
But I guess as they stay as a ball, this will be this will be fine. I'll move in from the side here and see if I can help. If they're running, I'll let them run. Or I'll clean them out as they run, I guess. So they try and regroup. <laughs> run at them from behind. Take what I can! We got a lot of green going on right now, which is good. Oh, we've done... Oh my goodness, we're annihilating. We're 140 kills above them right now. The infantry's almost done with their job. Let's get our cavalry back here and prepare for our new charge. Let's go and salvage as much of them as we can. There's only so many. Oh my goodness, we're almost out of them, actually. All right, now we're going to move our infantry back here uh, in a shield wall. I want them to move back and get to a nice tight formation and hold for the next wave. Uh, the power bar being the middle of the mortar, uh, in the middle of the monitor, uh, upper boundary. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, the, 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 this thing up here, this bar. Honestly, you think the graph power bar would be different? I think the, the power bar does need to get, like, sorted. It's not quite accurate, I don't think. Because it doesn't factor in all the reinforcements. Like, it's like, of uh, what's currently in play. To get some shots while we can, guys. <laughs> They're like running around all over the place. Take whatever free shots we can, boys. We got some reinforcements just rolling up here. <laughs> Stand here next to that guy as he gets shot to death. That's fine. Come by me. So they're just standing in formation here for some reason. I don't know why that is. They're moving in and standing in formation. All right, our infantry has to move in. They get free, free move. They're, they're getting around our troops. Too. Oh my goodness, ow. They're getting around our uh, infantry too much, so I need our infantry to just go and do whatever they want. Uh, let's get our cavalry in here now that they're scattered and they're on the retreat. Uh, infantry, let's pull them back. Pull the infantry back. We're gonna have the cavalry get in here and do as much uh, damage as it can while these guys are trying to retreat. All right, we're at 300 kills. They're at 888 kills, or at least knockouts, if not kills. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. Uh, you know your archers can pick up arrows as well? Yes, it's super good that they can, because otherwise we'd run out of rounds real quick. I need to do the same here in a second. I only got one shot left. Let's see if I can get a good miracle shot here. Not quite a kill, but pretty good shot. Is that a bolt? Grab that bolt. Javelins. Good number of them, too. Alright, let's move our horses back. Oh my goodness, we only have eight cavalry left. It's not ideal. Okay. So we've gone through, what, they had 1,700? So we've, good gracious, we've not even gone through a fifth of them yet. This battle will continue to wage on. Hold tight, men! This is gonna be a long fight. A slog like no other. We are running out of rounds, though, so our, cal our uh, archers are gonna have to get into melee range soon. Oh my goodness, there are cavalry's here now. This is not good. I took out him with my last shot. That's all I can do. Um, tempted to swap out for something else. I don't know. I'm not adequate to ride this. Dang it. I'm not good enough. All right, our horses, they're just going to have to do the best they can. There's nothing I can do to help them at this point. Uh, we're going to reposition our archers over here and our infantry down below. I need to remove uh, to move ourselves here. It's not in the best position here. Shield back out. We're taking a beating. Infantry, I want you to continue to slowly move. Archers, I need you guys to get nice and tight now. We don't have a lot of arrows left. We need to just kind of, you know, honestly, uh, let's get our butts into a, a nice brick. Get in the brick. Form the square. We're going to get our infantry to charge. They've got a lot of archers and they're just standing there. We're losing a lot of men right now. Do you want your crossbow with the men to get ammo from them next time? Just knock out one of our own boys to take ammo? I mean, maybe. Some 
quarrels here. Blue bolts. At least the enemy used bolts, so that's good. Give myself five rounds. Oh, that's not good. Of course, that at least. Oh, a gallant, really? Nice. Alright. Alright, I think we need to regroup here. So we're gonna retreat and regroup. Which is ways to leave the battle and start another one, so you're actually full ammo. Yep, that's exactly what we're doing. It's <laughs> exactly what we're doing. So they now have slightly more than half. So we're doing okay. We'll get there. Um, Jeez, we've got no cavalry anymore. It's bad. We are in a new battlefield location, though. I can't really move us far from here. We'll move to this position. Uh, if we move far out of this location here, whenever troops spawn in... I mean, over there is a beautiful spot. Um, but if we... like, That means all of our troops are going to spawn right here in the enemy lines, which I do not want to do. So instead, we'll go ahead and get all of our archers. Luckily, this is an archer fight. So right here is not a bad spot. So we'll go ahead and we'll just jam them right here. Infantry will jam behind. Cavalry, we're going to jam way over there. Hold our positions. You guys spread out. You guys get nice and tight. We'll hold on nice and nice and tight here. Nice and tight here. Um, you're having a ton of trouble uh, with the stream. Wait, really? Uh oh, Snowmack. Wait, what? Uh, viewing the stream on your PC and tablet using the uh, PC for audio while you play a game. Thing is, there is a delay between the tablet and the PC. Kind of funny. Kind of frustrating. That is a little annoying. That's a little annoying, but. I know Twitch has been having some problems of late. I don't know specifically what it is and what's causing it, but I know that it's a thing. Other people have been running into it as well. Hey, Joe's Monkey Island. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Welcome to the nonsense that is this ridiculously large fight. <laughs> Pull up a chair, grab some popcorn, uh, your, your preferred drink of choice, and uh, watch the nonsense as we go. So let's get our uh, cavalry in here. This is not going well, actually. They're they're getting in way too close. I've just taken ten damage. I can't take much more damage. Can't take much more damage here. Or at least their cavalry are constantly distracted. I need my infantry to move in. Ooh, that was really close. <laughs> Get a good shot in here. There's an opening on any of them, really. Any shot's a good shot right now. My goodness, all these enemy archers. Cavalry are doing a pretty good job of distracting them, but for only so long. Can't keep this up forever. I, oh my goodness, I gotta be really careful about this cavalry running around me. It could be really bad. Get our archers into a, a tighter formation here since there are so many, there's so much cav. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at all that green. Now we're talking. Okay, we're back on top again. Killed 200? Jeez, what? I thought we were doing, like, decent, not amazing. We've killed four times their troops that they've killed of us. That's great. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's reform our lines. Reform our lines. We've got 17 horse archers again. That's really good. Let's get back into position here. Hold ourselves nice and tight. He's already down. All right, so they're coming in willy-nilly now. Good. Get them one at a time. Men! Come on. We can do this. It's not over till it's over. All right, good. Our surgeon's getting more crossbow skill. Good. Oh, I missed him, but someone else got him. Good shot. We have more uh, infantry coming in to help, which is good. Alright, get him into attack. 
Come on, Calvary, get in there. Let me see a bit of disruption. There we go, very nice. Very nice, look at them just swarming in. A lot of them have turned tail, which is great, because then our archers can actually hit them without their shield. Oh, come on, man. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see! <laughs> My view is inside him. That's not good. I don't want that. Let's move over here. Ready? Aim! Fire. Oh, they just keep turning back and forth. What the heck is going on with them? <laughs> okay. Ah, someone else got him first. That's fine. It's just a waste of shot. Tis all. Ah, there we go. Nice. Headshot. Right, I'm out of rounds. Do you have more rounds floating around here? We would, like any ammo that was shot at us? No, like none on the floor. Just arrows. Not many quarrels. No bolts, rather. A little risky for me to be running out here. Okay. We're gonna move back. Excuse me, boys. Rider. Lost a bunch of riders. Move. Move. Move them back. Oh wait, what am I talking about? <laughs> I turn around and these guys are charging again. All right, let's get our infantry in there now. Let's have them move in. Let's get these guys in tighter. Because again, we're running out of rounds. What are we playing at? 300 down and they've got 80 down? Good gracious. So I want my infantry to get in there, preferably actually into their um, into their archer line. If we can get them into their line of archers, we should start crushing them. We're gonna take a lot of casualties moving in. Should be able to take them out. Yeah, they keep retreating. Lots of daisies. All right, we're on a horse. Now we can actually survey a little bit better what's going on. Just a lot of troops. Watch you guys back here. Um, in fact, we'll go ahead and we'll reset this again. We need more rounds. We need more bullets. <laughs> Alright, we're at 50% now. So far, so good. So far, so good. Let's try this a third time. Um, however, at some point, we're going to have our health too low for us to actually be able to do this again. If we get shot one more time, that's it. If we get shot one more time, we cannot do that trick, and we're out. And we're going to be in real trouble. Arist, welcome. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. How are you doing today? How's it going, Llewellyn? How are you doing? Welcome. Good morning. Infantry! All right, boys. Prepare yourselves. All right, we're going to get our infantry behind, so hopefully they don't get shot as badly. We'll see what happens. We've got cavalry over here. Move them into position. Hold ourselves here. We're looking at... My goodness, we only have 163 troops, and they get to play with 289 troops? Jeez. Are they attacking? They're attacking. Cool. So we'll just wait here. Too cheesy? Uh, I mean, we'd still... I think we'd still win. Um, it's just the battles uh, in total, uh, if, you, if you time it. I imagine if we don't do this tactic... Um, the battles will probably be an extra, like, ten minutes. That's what uh, the infantry is for, is to absorb the ammo. They have, for, so they have for more troops. I mean, maybe, yeah. Come on, boys, get some shots in there. As soon as they break uh, to the other side of this ridge, uh, where my feathers are right now, or I guess rather we can do it with reticle. Once they break to the other side of here, we're going to send the uh, cavalry in. Actually, there's a ditch in there, isn't there? Let's get them in now. Let's have them start charging now. They should hit by the time they're at that ridge. They should hit by the time they're at the ridge line. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so it's their enemy cavalry we really have to worry about here. As long as the enemy cavalry doesn't do much, we should be fine. Our cavalry eventually will get them to scatter. Their infantry is slowly moving forward in a shield wall, which is always annoying. Um, but nothing we can't handle. Oh my goodness, sir. Your horse is very unhappy. Jeez, I need throwing weapons when we're up this close. Oh, I do hate that. If you give commands while you're reloading a crossbow, you auto-fire. So I just killed a guy. 
Oh my goodness, they got their backs turned. Fire, boys, fire! Fire, boys, fire! This is a little annoying that if I start giving commands while this thing's loading, it just auto-shoots. No, I'm curious as to what causes that. I don't know. I don't know how that script occurs. But hey, it is what it is. I just need to be more careful about it. Ooh, that's our guy, thank goodness. Not bad. Yeah, I think I should move the archers further back. I think you're right. They're up too close. I agree, they're a little too close. Too close for comfort, continue shooting, boys. I can grab this horse. Horse, no! Horse! Ah, it's gonna run off the map. Uh, we're gonna have to go and regroup our infantry here. Not quite yet, but we, no, 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 we definitely need to regroup our infantry. Pull them back, boys, pull them back. Good. I'm gonna grab some bolts while I'm out here. Grab a couple spare bolts. Not the barbed arrow. Not the bolt. And the bolt. The bolt. <laughs> Let me just run through the battlefield and pick everything I can. back here. Forward, forward. Get them back here quickly. Um, so they can shoot over the dude's heads. Yeah, so that way they're not running into problems of shooting straight at the friends. Yeah. They're all shooting on these two. Oh, oh my goodness, is that, that was a champion. Let's go take out those two real quick here so that we can focus on the real troop down there. The real group of boys. Our, our, our measly cavalry. Let's go take him down. Down to only. Oh, we've got zero of those guys left. Infantry, raise your shields! Come on, guys, hit that shield wall up, please. Come back over here. See if I can jump on this guy. Nope. <laughs> nope, still can't. Why can't I get on that? I don't know. Uh, if you use advance and fall back, uh, they'll fall back. They'll still shoot. Oh, and keep as so much distance as they can. Send your infantry in and make them retreat, and then do it again in the same spot. Also, if you put them in a line formation uh, really long, uh, then once they get into their shield wall, uh, your archers and cavalry doesn't change, uh, doesn't charge as much. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty good. Um, I always forget. I, I'm well, always forget. I'm I'm constantly forgetting that they've added in a couple of extra of orders that are now in here. Right, like um, we now have the fallback in it, um, option, which we didn't have before. All right, they have to charge. We're, we're dealing with a, a full line of archers. This is not good. We have only archers we're dealing with now. And some infantry. We need to get our superior infantry in there. Our archers are keeping us on, like, you know, even footing with kills, but... Long term is bad. Horse, stop. Horse, no! I took that one damage so I could... Okay. All right. Once the boys land in there and start hitting those archers, it should be easy play. Don't you dare turn around, boys! Get back in there. Okay, they're retreating. I can't believe it. Boys, keep fighting. I'm fighting, boys. Shields up on that one. I can't afford to take damage, but I still need to get in here and do something. Even if it's like free pod shots at these guys up close range, I'll still take it. Ooh, the cavalry is still dangerous here. Right, he's down? Oh my goodness, getting these gallons is nice. Fire 
or for the horse. I'm not quite as good with some of these snapshots. I gotta back up. <laughs> gotta back up. There's my infantry. We don't have much. We have mostly archers now. I need, my, I need my infantry to keep screening here. They're doing a decent job, but they're not going to hold much longer. Let me grab this horse. Get on the horse. Horse up. All right, let's go. Luckily, our troops are spawning here, which helps. Alright, it's two down. Your cavalry in there. Come on, boys, come on. We've taken out 450. Oh no. I'm down. Ooh, that's really bad. We have to continue to beat them at a ratio of two to one. It's the only way we're gonna survive this. I don't know if we can. I don't, I don't trust the auto resolve. Yeah, no, things are falling apart now. I think we might have lost this. <laughs> I think this might be a loss. I'm down. I don't think we can do it. Oh, that was so close. Using your archer, uh, using your archers as a shield wall is usually better than losing them uh, on a big, uh, on a useless hill. Yeah. At that point, I probably should like they're so low on arrows. We probably should have used them uh, aggressively. Yeah, no, it's just predominant losses versus... Yeah, it's negative kills, not positive kills. I think we lost it. Oh, let's go ahead and fast forward this bad boy and see what happens. <laughs> oh, I don't believe in you, man. Get in there. I mean, they're still holding the kill lead, but the question is for how long. Yeah, if they just keep standing on the hill there, they're going to get themselves in a lot of trouble. They're holding the kill lead, but again, it, we needed to kill twice as many as them killing us. Yeah, I got knocked out. Alright, so we are shooting him down. But that's all of our troops. We only have 41 troops left. Yeah, they're just gonna run for it. I don't blame them. That's it. They've taken us down. They have 400 troops remaining. Down we go. How's it going, Cayman? You're new here? Well, welcome. Uh, we just got demolished because I got knocked out, so we couldn't do any superior tactics. Our tactics could not do anything. That's fine. We'll go ahead and we'll just uh, have a peace with these guys immediately and leave. It's fine. They're going to take all of our food, though, which sucks. <laughs> We're out to go get more food. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll push for peace. That's fine. That's fine by me. Oh, you can't actually do upgrades and whatnot while you're captured. Interesting. That's actually good to know. Uh, let's go to Kingdoms. Let's go to Diplomacy. Let's go to Valandia. Oh, we pay near... Oh my goodness, we used to pay 7,000 and change. We pay nearly nothing. Oh my goodness, the amount of influence. <laughs> oh my goodness, we need more influence. Jeez. Uh... The silica died? Oh, no, that's no good. Ah, uh, well, what you gonna do? All right, let's get in here and let's start grabbing troops again. Unfortunately, we lost all of our troops and gaining more troops is gonna be a pain. Um, but, you know, that's okay. Now that we're out of the war, uh, let's go back home. We need to go get some more uh, javelins and like as well. Get that going. Mountain bandits don't? Okay. Fight me if you dare, mountain bandits. Fight me if you dare. <laughs> 1v6, here we go. Uh, your vassals are really up for the fight? I know, right? They really want to keep fighting. Oh, geez, they're on horses? Oh, this is going to be really awkward. I just need one horse. There we go. Give me that horse. Come here, you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good, good horse, good horse. Good horse. Alright, shields up. We're just gonna go in circles for a bit here until they tire themselves of throwing their weapons. And then we'll be able to take them out. Or, no, don't stop my horse! 
Uh, the fact that they've got spears makes life really hard. Alright, so I think they're out of throwing weapons. So that's good. So let's get to a nice dense clump of trees. Or actually, there's a bridge on this map, right? Yeah, there is. It's back to game start? Nah, we got a bunch of troops we can go pick up. It doesn't take long for us to regain our troops. The horse taking a lot of damage, but that's okay. We'll trick them here. Get off the pony. It's a daisies. Alright, load. You wanna attack me? And fire. <laughs> Jump over. Load. Oh, load. And fire. Who wants some? Oh, jeez, got a shield up in time. We'll take them down. Um, he isn't worried smithing and using javelins? Yeah, well, I mean, we also currently have, like, a couple... We've got, like, one point something... Oh, no, you don't. We have one point something million currently in our pockets. I love the ragdoll physics so much in this game. Uh, not just that they ragdoll, but how hard they ragdoll, right? Like, you... it. Like, they fall so quickly. I love it. Where? There. No, you don't, sir. I'm too close and I'll poke you. All right. Should just be one left. All right? Yep, one left. Fight me if you dare, sir. God, I love the physics in this game. <laughs> uh, so good. Did 498 damage to him in his head. That was such a good shot. Ooh, 99 crossbow skill. Here we go. The ho horse was T-posing? Did I miss that? Wait, what? I missed it. Uh, well, we just gained a whole bunch of basic baby troops and a handful of prisoners, so I'll take them. We'll take the baby troops. This doesn't hurt us in the long run, but yeah, we've got 1.41 million buccarinos. I'm not worried. It's a lot of looters, though. That could be a little obnoxious. But yeah, who gets the cat? Uh, who gets the town again? Oh, you get it again? Are you sure? Oh no, let's give it to uh, Atlas. Let's give it to him. Give it to this guy again. Gracious. We'll give that to him because he's got this castle here. And there's this one here. <laughs> each of our javelins is... Yeah, each of our javelins is 1,200... Uh, sorry, 123,000 something. I don't remember the exact number. But I know the first number is 123. Actually, it might be 123,456. 1, is it 123,456? Might be. Anyway, recruiting troops will be quick. Recruiting troops takes, like, no time at all. Especially when we end up getting these top-tier troops here. Uh, if we go to trade, how much is the javelin worth? Uh, 123,294. Eh. I wouldn't say close, but not necessarily far off. The hard part is we have to start back over with horses. <laughs> That's that's the part that sucks. The start back over with horses and food. We're significantly over our carrying capacity. That's fine. We'll be slow for a bit, but we'll pick up a lot of horses and troops here. Um, hold up. You're gonna go get uh, get that trade skill? Yeah, you know. Um. So when will you ascend to godhood and fight the entire army solo? I mean. Probably never, but um, that's because we we run our uh, we run our empire as, as a king, not as a god, of course. All right, let's go ahead and grab the troops. Grab our troops. Buy all of your horses and food. We're definitely past carrying capacity, but we're still quick. Still move at three point three, even with us being. Vastly over our carrying capacity. But we'll be picking up a bunch of horses hitting these locations here. So it'll be very quick. 
bunch of horses, but also more food. Because why would we not? We're gonna need a lot of food. So we've got a lot, a lot of food, but oh my good gracious, there's a lot of people over here. We'll get that sorted at some point. Uh, we're gonna pick up all of this food. Um, and the reason for that is because we're gonna need it once we have a huge army. We don't necessarily need it right now, but we will soon. We can't get them to join us, but you know. Alright. Go ahead and grab more troops. A little more troops. Town. We don't need to buy more food yet, but we definitely need all the horses. Ah, there we go. There's all the mules. Well, now that we have so many mules, we can actually just grab all the food, right? <laughs> Alright, I've got, like, infinite food now. 500 days of food. Done. Alright, no more food. We're now just grab troops. And then we'll just keep training our troops up as we walk around. Uh, and that'll get us right where we need to be. Uh, we'll go to Poros. We'll go jump around in the valley here. We'll circle around and we'll be good to go. Uh, Yakamozo, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome. Where's that? Uh, is that Yakamozator? Uh, I think, right? If we include lead speak. Welcome. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well today. Keep recruiting. Good. And now over here is where we get our big, big group of troops. This is where we get our top tier troops over here. As long as no one else has been recruiting in the area, we get a lot of troops over here. And we also get a lot of horses too. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Vigil recruits. Are Vigil recruits any good? I love coming to this town. <laughs> uh, Kenaros is an amazing... It's, it's an amazing village. We get so many good troops here. It's ridiculous. Same with this one here, too. Oh, I forgot to buy stuff from them. That's fine. We don't need food. We just need horses. I recruit troops. But yeah, it's the same thing. Legionaries and the like. Yes, they go to Cataphrax. Oh, nice. Very nice. Always love me getting some horsemen. Up here. And our movement speed is slowly increasing as well, so it's good. Jerome is floating around over here, too. Good. Let's go ahead and grab these boys, and then we'll be over 100 once we hit the big town. Actually, it might be over 100 here. We need to get the 300 and change, so we're almost a third of the way there. Again, it's pretty quick for us to level, uh, to get ourselves to this point. And once we get to 200 and change, we can start, like, fighting, right? Like, we don't have to... I mean, we're at peace right now, so it doesn't matter. But uh, we can start doing fighting and the like once we get to 200 troops. A whole bunch more horses here. Should be slowed down because of herd. Yeah, herd minus 1.5. That's fine. That'll get sorted later. <laughs> just, we're just going to grab that now as we get more troops. The herd number will go down. Let's keep picking them all up. Pretty good calf. Uh, best armor. Ah. Best armored calf. Oh my goodness. We need to get these guys to like us more. What do you need? In and out. What is in and out? What What is What is this quest? I don't remember this quest. What is the quest of in and out, sir? No problem. Been embarrassing the amount um, uh, when I went to town, went to drink, in and out. Normally I'd play low stakes. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah. I'll go to the tavern and deal with that. So let's go and get this quest done. Uh, the reason why I want to do this quest is make this guy like us more. The reason I want him to like us more is because I want to be able to recruit more of his troops, because his troops are... Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> There's some, some pretty top-notch troops here, so we'll go do that. Uh, there are two people named uh, Chilia. Ooh. Or Chalia. Who's Chalia? Group of troops. Uh, go to the tavern. Grab the hard blades. Uh, let's go to our party. We're going to have a bunch of them to upgrade. Into recruits. Let's stick with archers first, because archers are the most important out of the bunch for the way we fight. 
bringing in a highwayman. Welcome aboard. I do want to keep them around. I don't want to go and uh, write some off. Let's go to the tavern. We need to go and talk to... Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong town. <laughs> I'm in the wrong town. Sorry, we need to go to the... We gotta go to the other city. Whoopsie daisies. Good to go here. That's fine. That works out. I wonder who they're fighting. They're probably fighting the Kuzite if they're... Yeah, if they're... Sie yeah, yep. Looks like the Kuzite's sieging over here. Kenny's still holding their position. Looks like everyone's still more or less have the same land. They haven't made any real progress since we started our mass expansion. Which is good to see. Because you don't have to worry about them uh, gaining too much power. Uh, trade. Horses. Give me those. I only have one gifting javelin left. Definitely we'll need to get more. Uh, in terms of food, we can actually sell this wine for a lot. So sell the wine and we'll sell copious amounts of beer. And olives. Grapes. Sure. Their trade skill up. We're almost at 50. I don't remember what we get at 50. Is it any good? Uh, trade. 50. Uh, oh my goodness. Party carries 30% more weight. Marked items, um, prices relative to average price. And your shop have 20% less upkeep. Uh, we'll probably go with the first one. Already can carry 30% more. That sounds way better. I mean, we don't need the money so much. So, I mean, we've got plenty of money. Being able to carry more just means we can have more food. That'd be good. All right, Linky Min, you're out of here. Uh, you're, heading out, you're heading off to bed. All right, sleep well. Have a good one. Hope to see you again soon. Uh, athletics. What was this again? Uh, when no shield and ranged weapon is wielded, you run 10% faster. Uh, infantry troops in your formation move 5% faster to speed during battles. Or 4% increased damage while wielding, uh, while melee weapon you, wait, with any melee weapon you wield, troops in your formation do 2% more melee damage. Going faster is nice, but we already move ridiculously quickly. Let's do 4% more damage. I like that. It'll be good. Believer of 250 on this thing's nuts. Really good. Might as well just pick one of these. Security or loyalty? We'll go with loyalty. Loyalty matters more. It's always uh security's fine. It's never really a big deal. Um we'll go with the loyalty one. Go ahead and recruit this. And let's go to the tavern, grab the mercenaries, and we'll go jump in here and we'll go. Um let's go play a game with a guy here, yeah? No? Did I misunderstand the quest? What am I supposed to do? Lost his deed. He wants you to go and find the game host and win it back. Where's the game host? Is he up here? Is this the game host? No. Hello? Hello? Down below. Ah, there he is. That makes sense. <laughs> Hello, you. Greetings, traveler. Do you want to play a game? I reckon the master. Uh, I'm a master of the game. Last time, in Empire. Uh, yeah, we can give it a shot. Why not? Can I not? Oh, just take a seat. Okay. Read the whole thing. Take a seat, and we'll start. Okay. A friendly wager? You want a deed off of my employer when I wish we went back. Uh I'll wager the deed, but you need to put down a thousand dinars. This is trouble. I'll just pay that amount anyway. Oh, let's, let's give it a quick play. Why not? We got plenty of money. Alright, so I I think I remember the rules of this game, but last time we tried to play games, they all like broke on us and whatnot. Um, so our objective is to get this king piece to the edge, and if we go, um, any two sides, we take a piece off, right? So right now we're just going to try and thin the, okay, we're just going to thin the board, I guess. This could be an interesting move. So you going to do it again? All right, we'll just continue to thin the board. So he's slowly peeling us to get to the center. 
Let's see. So if we move here, we can move this guy here and then over, hopefully. So we can move here. It's going to have to block us. But I can just win. <laughs> Done. Oh my, we got 6k for that? Wow, okay, I found the easiest way to make money in this game. What? Are you serious? That's it? Hold on. Can I change the difficulty? I want hard. I want no regrets. Yeah, hard challenge. Let's try this again. Uh, I'll be the defenders. Hold on. Like, let me try that again. That was that was ridiculously simple. Like, that doesn't make any sense. So again, we just we just thin out his numbers quickly, right? Uh, only moving the ones on the side that uh, he moves from. Okay, so he's changed up his play now, which is good. Uh, in which case... I'll move him back into line. Alright, so then he's likely going to move someone over here. Okay, so that's that one. So we'll do the same thing as before. We'll knock that one out. Bring it down to two. So now we've got a nice opening here. Um, move you... Ooh... Move you over to take him out. This is the only one I'm worried about right now. As soon as we remove... Actually, no. We just move this guy here. So move him here. We've now got our lane open. So he's going to have to block us. There he is. So he's blocking us now. Uh, this is still a safe move for us to move here, though. So we can still move here. And they're so thin on this side. Actually, this side's even thinner. Um, oh, can I not capture him like that? That's interesting. All right. We'll get rid of that so he can't attack us there. Oh, okay. So they just have to... They just have to move a pawn onto our guy. I see, I see. Okay. I thought I understood the rules. Uh, change betting. Can I bet everything? I want to bet more. Let's try this again. Ready? you don't have time for another game? Oh, okay. So they... The developers have already decided that you can't just get all of your money from doing that. Maybe it was the quest that paid you 6k, not the game. I guess, yeah. That would make sense. But that was like... That was still ridiculously easy that you let us do that. Also, the game that I lost... Wasn't even for betting any money. Pfft. What a mistake on his end. It's a pretty. That's a pretty interesting game. I like it. I'm glad we also didn't get stuck in the game like last time when we tried to play with our wife. That went poorly. We're like, yes, honey, we can play a game or two. And she's like, you're gonna play this game forever. And I'm like, but I can't place my piece. Honey, know why? <laughs> Alright, so all those quests are done. So we'll be able to go ahead and recruit more troops from there. So we're going to circle ourselves back over there. Pick up that extra troop. Because it's uh, not a basic recruit. So it's definitely worth the extra time to go pick up. So if we go to recruit troops, we should now have... No, not enough. Or I guess we did him, didn't we? So we get an extra archer. That's fine. I'll take it. Wait, did the other guy have a quest? Or... No, he didn't. Okay. I want to do a couple more quests uh, in the area here, just so that people like us more. And again, the main reason for doing so is so that we can recruit better troops, uh, which is really good. Ah, Outcast has got... Uh, good old Gur the Outcast has gained a level. Good. Uh, these guys, they like us enough. It's not much we need to do here. The tavern, we can grab the armed traders. Arena, nothing. Okay. Uh, we'll move back down into the valley here, where we get really good ones. Uh, really quick. Uh, we can try and grab others. Nah, I don't think we really need to grab any any other vassals right now. We still have vassals that we're waiting on to get uh, more land. Uh, until we get them sorted with land, I don't really want to do that yet. Grab all that food, because sure. Uh, our food numbers are going to slowly start decreasing here. Just want to check something. Um, who are we checking? We're checking... The Banu Czar. They don't own anything, and good gracious, their family's huge. <laughs> That's their family is massive. Banu Habab owns one and has a small family. Jeez, they have they have a huge family. Their their family is massive. down here. Keep on recruiting. How's it going, Doomsday? How have you been? Um, have you at least been making your own weapons? Yes, we've been making our own weapons. 
Um, we'll probably go and make our own soon again because we are at 250 smithing. Once we get to 275 smithing, we can make le we have a chance to make legendary weapons. At which point, we're probably going to grind to get those. Hey, Zaldolfo, welcome. Welcome. How are you doing today? Hopefully, your day is going grand. And thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Let's go to Poros next. Um, let's see, two remaining uh, asteroid clans are not in the kingdom. Yeah. You hit how smithing is mandatory. Yeah, it's a little obnoxious that it's like, you, I mean, I like I like smithing. I like the smithing mechanic. I think it's really cool. I don't like how, like, how the money system for it works and how unlocking things takes literally forever. Forever. It sucks. It sucks. There needs to be a faster way to get what you want, right? There needs to be a much faster way to get the um, the parts that you're looking for. I'm still fine with you unlocking them through practice. That's fine. I don't. I'm not. I'm not against that mechanic. The mechanic I'm against is all the rest of it. Let's see. Can we bring? Yeah. Okay. Let's just teleport them both here for us. All right. Join the party. And join the party. Teleport these boys over here. Boys and girls. Good. Done. Next. Bam. Uh, you've been watching the CK2 plays. Nice. Uh, what's your opinion on them? Uh, do you play CK2 as well? Or uh, are you trying to like learn about the game? Deciding if you want to pick it up or not? Uh, yeah, Javelin's... It's a Javelin-based economy, and it's really obnoxious. I don't like that. Uh, I really want to get to the point where... like, I, I would like it where... it like It's streamlined. It's not superly... like the, the money costs on things aren't ridiculous. But one of the things I would really like is where... like If there was a specialty, like a focus... Um, like a smithing focus tree, more so than the one that we already have for the perks. One in which, let me go, let's go over to a town here just so I can kind of give a bit of a better example uh, of what I'm kind of, like, what I'm, like, looking towards. Um, either in the case where when smithing, if you smith, like, one thing would be nice is if you had the most basic parts for every single build. So you had, like, the most basic thing, so you have, like, the fork, nothing in here, uh, the most basic long mahogany shaft and nothing in here. Like, just the most, ba like, the, the, the slot one in every single. And in um, in cases of, like, the... We can go to Javelin, it's a good example. Uh, in cases here, slot one's a zero. Slot one's a, is a nothing. If we could just have it where you start the game being able to make everything in tier one slot one, that's the first thing I want. I want us to start there. The second thing is when you craft a javelin, you learn javelin parts, right? So this way you can actually, because remember, we couldn't actually start making javelins. At the beginning of the game, we couldn't even make a javelin. I want it to be where you can make tier, like the, the tier one slot one of each slot. And if you make the thing, you get parts exclusively in the thing. If that was if that if that was fixed along with the the money, it's perfect. It's literally perfect because I mean the the problem is the swords. It, it look at how many blades there are. Right, look at how many hilts there are. Right, if you get this stuff randomly mixed in with the uh, the maces is a bad example. Uh, mixed in with oops, sorry two handed swords, you run into the same problem because some of these hilts are the same, some of them aren't. Um, or like axes, right? Like uh, that's that's all I want changed is tighten up the the money side and make it where uh, you can make the starting piece of everything. And when you make that piece, you only learn parts of that piece at random. That's fine; it can still be random, but at least it's not as grindy to get the one hilt that you're trying to get. You know, that's all I want. I think it's pretty reasonable. I think it shouldn't be too hard to implement either. That should be pretty straightforward to in implement. Um, you just change the way the random learning system works by putting in a, uh, a qualifier in there and then just change the starting um, stuff that you can you can start learning with, which is manually inputted, so you can do that as well. You know. Uh, but yeah, that sounds like a good system. I, I think that would fix the system. It's just that and then the money, right? That's all you got to do. Um, how effective is the uh, difference between legendary and normal ones? I have no idea. That's a really good question, Doomsday. I'm not sure. 
Uh, you've been playing for a while, yeah. Actually, you started watching because uh, you dropped a lot of views into one of your uh, buddies' play. Oh, nice. Uh, Darpo and Ominous. Okay, yeah. I remember Darpo. Cool. But yeah, you've been playing for a while. It's Crusader Kings is such a good game. I'm such a big fan. Uh, you really miss the legendary items you can find in Warband. Like the that samurai armor you could find in, in Warband, the little the little hidden samurai armor. <laughs> Alright, let's jump over here, grab more. Grab more troops. We're about ready to go uh, to war. But again, we're not in a war at the moment. But we'll probably go to war with the Batanians. So we've managed to go and expand out this way. So we'll go fight the Batanians to at least take this uh, town back. We don't have to go into their mainland territory. They seem to be dealing with enough as is. And I really do want to keep them around as a nuisance. So we can continue to use them to distract the Valandians. If we can get over to like this territory here. And own this section. Right? Like right up here and around. Uh, at which point, then we'll want to switch over to the Kuzite and try and take this territory and slowly whittle all three down together so they can continue to focus on each other, allowing us to have a little more free time, a little more free movement uh, in how we attack so we don't get completely just piled on, you know? Uh, you remember we can get unique drops from Lords? Yeah, that too. That was really nice. Uh, now it doesn't really seem like you get any... Like, armor, like, armor seems like you have to buy it, and weapons seems like you have to make it. There's no in-between. You can't, like, you, you have to make your armor. Uh, sorry, you have to buy your armor and you have to make your weapons. It'd be nice if you didn't have to make your weapons. Um, because there are definitely some people that aren't going to have to go and get to, like, sm to smithing 250 like we did to be able to get a decent weapon. Um, so, you know, it's kind of what it is, unfortunately. But, yeah, there you go. All right, boys, just get in there. We've got a lot of uh, recruits. So actually, horsemen, move! my horsemen back here. <laughs> don't actually want them to run in. Soldiers! Oh, I see. I don't have a slot for. That's why that was a horsemen! mistake. Move! We'll get archers up here. I want to get a lot of our uh, recruits in here to actually get some fight. Uh, go get some experience. Some fighting under their belt. Fire! In there, boys! Slice them down! Ah, good. A lot of recruits are getting the kills. So that's what I want to see. Everyone attack! Come on, boys! Don't let them escape! We need all the experience we can get. Hopefully the cavalry can finish off the remainders. That'll be good to go. Uh, I remember you could get... Uh, yeah, unique drops. Yeah, yeah. Because um, the best damage... Um, of an optimized normal one-handed is 111 C. 111 cut and damage. Yeah, I mean, it's just... I, I would like it where, you know, you just had a little more variety or option. And I absolutely want... Um, Armor crafting, for sure. Uh, someone mentioned there's a mod for that, but uh, I would like it if it was in the base game as well. I, I feel as though it should be in the base game. I see no reason why you shouldn't be able to make uh, horse armor, people armor, shields, right? Like, I, don't, I don't see why you shouldn't be able to make all that stuff, right? Like, it, it feels like you should be able to make that stuff, right? right I'll grab these looters. 44 people upgraded. We can make them all archers. Get these guys on horses. More people on horses. More horses. And now we're going to start working on infantry. Let me get our infantry numbers up. Now that we've got a bunch of archers. Shoot here. I'm so glad that we still have Peta. Like, good gracious. If we lost her, we'd be in so much trouble. She is just so important because she's the, the main engineer that we've had for a very long time. It's just managed to survive everything. It's great. Uh, the best item power spike in the game um, is getting married. Oh, yeah, you get married and you take your uh, your spouse's equipment, right? And you just get a massive power spike from that. I didn't want to do that. That sounded a little cheaty for me. Oops, that's not right. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, 13. Sure. Let's get in here for a quick tournament. Let's just do a quick fight here. I mean, there's a huge difference in skill level between armor crafting and weapon crafting. Uh, it's much harder uh, to make okay armor uh, than an, an awesome shield. Yeah, uh, than an awesome sword. But I feel like uh, shields would be pretty easy for us to do. Uh, and so I feel like shields should be something that people could make um, and the like. And at some point, like when you get to higher levels uh, in smithing, maybe that's when it unlocks. Um, but I still think it would be good to have. Get him, honey. She's on the horse with the with the bear hat. Get back here, honey. Take that Asha the Swift. Darling, I need you to go and take out this horse. Darling, that was a really bad attempt to get the horse. Come on. Spin back around. I believe in you. Ooh. Get him. She's on it. Hang on. Come on, sweet cheeks. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Alright. Let's get in there. Got him. Take that Siga. Siga Willow Bark. Down and down. It's a good thing she's a Willow Bark. That means that she can uh, heal herself, right? She's a medic. So that's good. She's gonna have to go do a little bit of uh, first aid on herself. Oh. oh my goodness. Wow, what a shot. Well done. Hurt your guys down immediately. Oh my goodness, darling, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like smack you in the shoulder. Sorry, man. Sorry. Alright. Get in there. Alright, darling. I need you to take this guy out so it can be you and me. Alright, honey. You've been winning a lot of tournaments while I've been away. Don't think I'll be going easy on you. Doing well. Oh, she got me pretty good on that one. She's being really aggressive right now. Oh, she's right around the shield. Oh, darling, no. Oh, she got me. Look at her. Woo, she's so happy, covered in my blood. We'll watch this round. Come on. Come on, darling. You've got this. Take him out. Don't give him the chance. Show him that bloodlust that I fell in love with. Come on now. Oh, I'm disappointed. Disappointed. Ah, oh, that's a disappointment. <laughs> Neither of us won. Ah, oh, bummer. Oh, well, so it goes. Uh, recruiting troops are done. We did everything else here. We can go ahead and move on to the next town. Pick up more. Um, it'd be cool if your followers win a tournament. They actually get the, uh, the prize item. They really should. I feel as though it's kind of like I understand. Like, game mechanic-wise, why they didn't do it. But they really should. It makes sense, right? They earned the thing, right? Didn't they? Alright, so we need infantry now. On to infantry production. Grab the looters, because a body is a body is a body. We'll grab whoever we can here. Grab these looters. Grab what we can here first. So we're almost completely maxed out on troops. We just need uh, like, like 40 uh, something left. 40 and change. Xander Brigands. Oh, this is like a wide open field. That'd be really nice. Oh, nice. So kill them all! Take them down, infantry. Uh, everyone else is just going to kind of hang out back. Good gracious, we're so fast now. Let's go. Excuse me, boys. Coming through. I got a shot to make. All right. Ready, steady. Pew, right in the face. <laughs> Slashing them down. Where are you? Oh, they're gonna hit water. Perfect. Load up. Charge, 
Anyone who wants to go after him may. Oh, that was over him. Right over his shoulder. What a lucky man. A little less lucky. Right in the neck. Oh my goodness, he's still alive. He just took that shot in the shoulder. Oh, they can live. The remainders may go. Perfect. Grab all these troops. Bunch of people to upgrade. More infantry troops. Perfecto. More people on horses. That's what I'd like to see. Uh, very good. Swordsman. Upgrade to hard blades. And oh, I should have. Oh well, missed the troops. It's fine. <laughs> ah well, I missed the troops. Whatever. Grab the mercenary guard, and we'll go ahead and recruit what we got here. I mean, they're not the best troops. Um, the armed traders, but you know, they're still decent troops. I like this guy's actually patrolling force. Oh my goodness, how many force bandits are attacking this? They're gonna die. They're gonna lose that fight. Are you serious? The lousy force bandits? Are you serious? It's gonna send her boys in. Yeah, zero casualties as I thought. Like, there's no point in. Oh my goodness, there we go. Let's acquire a whole bunch of troops back. Nice. <laughs> Well, we just went and uh, rescued a whole bunch from one of our lords that did a very poor job of fighting forest bandits. Levies in here. Perfect. There's some bushwhackers. They're acquired now. A bunch of extra food, a bunch of extra garbage we can go sell off. Uh, we're now close enough that I don't think we really need to be focusing on grabbing more troops. We can grab more troops just passively at this point. Did we gain a level anything? Crossbow, there we go. Uh, so what was we going to do? Uh, more morale and when garrisoned or uh, experience per day. Yeah, range troops gain one experience every day is definitely better than more morale. We've, our morale is just capped at 100 all the time. Any point. I see no point in getting that higher. At some point, we're going to want to swap over to... Uh, from crossbows to, air, uh, to archering with standard bows and arrows. But I think we're fine for a moment. Malicious fine here. Do irrigation now. Lose militia? Nah, we'll leave militia then. Alright. Uh, in which case, our troops are pretty close to... Like, we're, we've maxed them as, you know, best we can in numbers. Uh, it's now going to come down to actually having them be, you know, good at their jobs. Which, eh, a little harder, to, to be honest. But, um... Just have to go to war and have we'll, we'll rotate them out from you know we'll forge them in the in the fires of battle it's the best way for us to go forward for it bunch of grain i'll take all that grain we've got 92 days of grain all right let's get over here and let's prepare to go and take legera uh Leg legata uh, let's go ahead and hit up the remainder of these towns here we'll go to legata we'll go pick up supplies uh, we'll sell off some stuff, and we'll begin a siege. I'm just going to continue to buy all the food we can here, because again, our entire army, when they show up, they're going to be starving, because they always are. <laughs> it's just the way they are, for reasons. Just the way they are. They, I mean, they're so devoted to us that they rush from one side of the world to the other and refuse to stop to get supplies. 50 iron ore. Wow. We don't need it, but... 50 iron. Nice. Right, let's get into town. Let's go pick up whatever of these... Prisoners want to join. How many want to join? Two looters. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and we'll finish out recruiting. We should have the remainder of our recruits here in a moment. Infantry. Perfect. Um, you find bows are just uh, flat better. Uh, are you playing the beta branch? I am not playing the beta branch. But yeah, I agree. They, they seem to be better. Uh, you suggest a backline of bow archers, then... Uh, you can move crossbows to the flank, get more kills. I think, it, like, is there a way for me to... I'd have to, like, set up additional formations, yeah? Uh, because I don't have them split. We'd have to go and split them up. Go ahead and 
cancel that. Let's go to the district first. Right, grab the better troops first. One, two, three. Got a quick arena tournament we can go do too. Let's go ahead and sell everything here first. Put them in different groups. Yeah, I probably should do that. That's not a bad idea to change up our tactics. We'll take a look at that in a minute here. Uh, I'm going to buy all of their food. Why would you buy all their food? Well, now they're going to be starving, won't they? And we'll have enough food for our entire army. <laughs> They'll have zero food, relatively, uh, when we attack them. I wonder if anyone ever hits watch tournament. Like, I know the button's there, because why not? It was spath a blade. Um, but I wonder, if, I wonder if anyone actually... Oh my goodness, your shots are awful, sir. Gotta watch out, she's actually really good. She's really good! Oh, come on now. Oh, right in the face. Blam! Nailed it. How's it going, Hermit Scribe? Thanks for the follow. Hopefully you're doing well. Okay, skip, skip, skip. Who made it through? Uh, any of our companions? Yes, our surgeon made it through. Good. But it's us against him. So we won't... So we're going to aim for green last. I want him to get into the next round. So we'll go for yellow and red first. If he can win his fight... Nope. <laughs> okay. So he won't make it. Oh, I thought that was going to be enough. There we go. Blam! Taking him down, one by one. Your boss? All right, Hermit. All right. How, how much of a boss are you? Are you like an endgame boss or like a world boss? What kind of, what kind of boss are you? 2v2, I see. You got really good armor. Oh, because he's a Batanian. Okay, I see. I see. A skirmisher. Woo! Nailed it. Alright. Dead against him. We're gonna take her down. Oh, it's gonna go for a quick jab. Now, she's trying to slice around the shield. Oh, she raised her blade. Wrong time. Uh, you would on honestly execute uh, Sega? Why? If you could ever had a chance, uh, she beat you in the final round so many times in the tournament in this game. Uh, that makes sense. I understand now. Yeah. Now you're just an early boss that drops common loot. Yeah, there's got to be at least one uncommon item that you drop, right? Or are you like, um, are you like a quest, uh, like a, like an early game quest boss? Are you Hogger by any chance? I mean, Hogger did drop uncommon items, but still, are you are you like Hogger by chance? Let's go ahead and sell the Spatha. It's not that great. Its thrusting is better than ours, but its cut damage is just not that great. Um, I'm confident there's got to be a place that I can get, like, is there better than the Hickory Crossbow? There's got to be a better crossbow than the Hickory Crossbow, right? Yeah, maybe not. All right. So, it's time to do the one thing we, we came here to do. And you know what that is. Time to create an army. Once the game finishes saving, there we go. Uh, do axes have advantages against shields like in Warband? Yes, yes they do. They do more damage. What are we looking at if we get a full army together? Jeez, it's huge. If we pull everyone, it's just too big. Uh, in which case, we're going to take anyone who's really far away and kick them out. Anyone over two days out, isn't? we're not going to recruit. <laughs> Five days. It went over two days. We will not recruit. There we go. 
fit them in here. Go ahead and leave. Let's go to our kingdom. We'll go to diplomacy. We'll go to uh, Batania. So again, we're paying them very little now. So this will save us even more money as we propose war. Wow. Wow, okay. 1,300 influence, jeez. How many recruits do you have? Wow, okay, he's got 10 Oath Sworn, 30 uh, Milliveletons, and 25 Legionnaires. He is not a pushover. Hmm. Oh, that's awkward. We're not going to be able to take him down. Oh, Paul! Thanks for the raid. Welcome! How are you doing today, Paul? How was your stream? Hopefully it was a good one. Hopefully you did well. You enjoyed the game you played. You made some progress. Wow, this extra food. Uh, did he just raid himself? Yeah, he raided by himself. Nothing wrong with that. Playing some Anno uh, 18. Nice. Gold Anno 1800. It's a good one. I've I've seen some Anno gameplay, but I've not played it myself. I've yet to actually play it myself. All right, so we gotta go find someone we can we can beat up. Yeah. I mean, now that we have these extra troops, we can just go beat up this guy. To follow with him, um, we might even be able to get uh, Yorick in here in time. There we go. Hello, sir. I'd like to discuss something. I'd like you to join. Oh, yeah, join me. All right, yeah, if you join me, we won't have to kill you. All right, perfect. I only have one gifting javelin on hand, though, so it's going to be really expensive. There you go. So is a Vero is a Vero? And it, uh, and it reckless? I mean, you know, I don't mind. Doesn't matter. I mean, the fact that he's choosing to raid us is awesome. I, like, I really appreciate that all the same. Doesn't matter how many you're coming in with. He's got a lot of money. Why do I have this? Furs? Okay, sure, here you go. Some cows. You want some cows? Some oil? The gifting javelin is like nothing. <laughs> you have to give him over a million to get him to join. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. We're just gonna go to work. <laughs> Don't think that's gonna happen. You found sound very good at persuading people. Either you agree or you kill them. Yep, that. I mean, it's it's a pretty. I feel as though it's pretty good, right? Uh, I just give you priceless uh, javelin treasure. I know, right? But he didn't want it. He didn't want it. He had a hundred and twelve archers in this fight. This guy is absolutely screwed. This guy's screwed. He's got no chance. Is he attacking us or are we attacking him? He's charging? Pfft. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be that's gonna be real quick. Can Lord still save you immediately after you um can leave you immediately after you pay them? Yes, yes they can. If they have no money, um they can leave. I ran into that. He had no money, so he just he just instantly left. Footman, move! Let's move these guys back a bit more. Soldiers! Oh. There are cavalry in there. I saw enemy cavalry coming up. Wait, if you have no money, or if, if the Lord has no money. If the Lord has no money uh, that you just recruited, they instantly leave. Alright, so they are holding position. That's what I thought. <laughs> well, it's like they shouldn't be attacking. Good gracious, our army is huge. We have 309 troops here. Oh, man, we should probably play with the the settings so we can go and play with a full, like, 1,000 army fight. Oh, my goodness. That'd be insane. 
Imagine a 1,000 army fight. Oh my goodness, that'd be ridiculous. That'd be so good. All right, we're just gonna slowly move in here. Let's see if we can get uh, a good bit of vision on the enemy. We'll move up our troops. All right, all right, cavalry. All right, cavalry, get back here. <laughs> you guys are not doing so hot. There they are. There are archers here. Infantry, infantry here. Cavalry there. Uh, you know what, cavalry? You just keep doing what you're doing. That's fine. You're just fine. All right, cool. I'm glad he did. We. I'm glad he was doing what he was doing. He, he, he did what he could. Ah, uh, troops, we gotta do something about this. Miss. Down he goes. And the horse goes. So miss. Oh, for gracious sakes. How many bolts are we gonna waste on this guy? Please fire at will, everyone. Get him! Okay. Yeah, they're gonna go try and get the cavalry over there. Yeah, we'll let them try. Alright. Look that way! Um, you know, keep them in space, and then Is there an advance? No, nah, there isn't. Let's move them to here. Get him to the river. Bring him to the river. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's a lot. Of, oh jeez. It's a lot of cavalry. Oh my goodness. Uh, every, everyone. Everyone shield wall. Shield wall. Everyone shield wall. It's a lot of cavalry. Everyone shield wall. Everyone nice and tight. Everyone pack it in. Jeez. It's a lot. Where are my footmen? Get in there, please. It's a lot of enemy cavalry. All right, you guys need to spread back out again. You're too, you're way too close. I got nervous about all the cavalry, and then suddenly we just get murdered by all the, of the archers. We'll still win this, but yeah, like, oof, that was a mistake. Panicked slightly there. Yeah, dang shields. Scoot around here. Send the archers to the left flank. Not a bad idea. Definitely move them. I don't want to bring them in harm's way of the horses, though. Our infantry should really just sort this out. We should be able to rely on the infantry to sort it out. Because we do need them to get as much experience as they can. Most of them are uh, recruits. Way a good shot there. Misses. How are we doing? Oh, poorly. Okay. <laughs> uh, like, ve very poorly. Our troops are getting just trounced on the other side here. Ow. Shot. All right, pull our troops back. We'll just keep shooting them. We'll just win by wearing them down. Elite enemy versus your recruits. True. We'll just we'll just wear them down. Yeah, get them with get them with them javelins. Fire will. We'll just whittle them down. We'll take them out by numbers. Look at this. this Something you're completely underwater here. It'd be so funny if you could actually drown in this game. Can I take this horse? Or is it too strong for me? Ah, good. An Imperial Charger, I will borrow this horse. Oh no! Well, I didn't borrow the horse for long. 
And our archers will be able to keep this being a fair fight. Our infantry are going to have to get in here. It's a mess of things. Come on, recruits! Get your butts in there! Ah, back up. They backed up. We'll back up. Alright, we're starting to turn this back around. How many troops did they have again? I can't quite remember. I think they're down to the last... Yeah, I think I think they're down to the last 138 troops. All of them are currently on the field. I think they're all currently on the field. Good gracious. Yeah, our recruits are definitely struggling with killing these things. Getting through the, uh, the armor is just ridiculous. Like, those shields are just so tough. We have 500 troops and change, so... Oh, wow, we've actually lost half of our force. <laughs> yeah, I think we're down to... All of our forces are currently on the field. I don't think there are any more reinforcements coming in. Let's finish off that guy. Yeah, let's see else. Whoa, hello. That was enough? Really? That's enough for the horse? Alright. Keep on firing, boys! Continue to fire! Do not end! Rain them down! Oh, javelin? Jeez, this thing's huge. Is it a javelin? Yeah, let's just grab this javelin, please. Can I swap out? No? No? Okay. Yeah, I'm not allowed to. Arrows? Arrows aren't useful for us. Men, don't you let up! Not until every stick has been shot. Although it seems like a lot of them have been. <laughs> so we're running out of a lot of them. Move. move around to try and flank. So infantry moves so slow. In a shield wall underwater? Oh yeah, this is going real well. Forward. Let's put them in a line formation. Hopefully they'll go a little bit faster. Moving that way. Going around. A bomb into that group and it's gone. I know, right? Where's Where are the rocks when we need them, you know? Move. So keep moving. We're just going to try and turn the enemy so that their shields are facing not towards our archers. Move. They're almost all out of the water. Up there. Keep circling around. Keep circling around. Keep circling around. Forward. A bit closer. Forward. Form our shield wall. Nice and tight. Attack. Okay. Now let's have them move in. This so way we've got we've got their backs, so our archers should be able to start just. There we go. We're gonna have a lot of casualties from our infantry. So it should be about 50-50 in kills. But we should come out on top. Yeah, we'll come out on top, but we're going to have a lot of casualties here. <laughs> I'm going to get over there and see if there's anything I can do. How's it going, Captain Coffee? You'd expect infantry to get absolutely murdered when fighting cavalry in a river. But this game apparently doesn't get... Yeah, the, because because in this game, if you're in the river, you can still swing a sword no problem. Um... It does it doesn't matter. So like for example, if you're right here, like this shield be weighing you down, you'd be so weighed down, like doing this would be so hard. Getting like good swings in. Being on a horse with a spear, you would annihilate everyone, right? Right? That's so funny. <laughs> oh well, you know, game physics. They can only do so much. They're they're only gonna put so much into the into the game for that. Do we lose anyone important? I don't think so. <gasps> Yorg, no! Yorg! Oh, Yorg, no. We lost Yorg. We lost Yorg. Everyone, we lost Yorg. Yorg's down. Yorg down, everyone. Yorg down. Oh, no. That sucks. Ah, oh, Yorg, I knew him well. Right? Right? On the bright side, we have a lot of upgrades. <laughs> we have a lot of upgrades. 
Not a lot of cavalry survived, though, unfortunately. No good. Oh. Wait, we're over our limit? I guess it's just because a lot of people are unconscious. Uh, in which case, we'll just dump all these looters. Just so we at least keep everything else. Uh, horses and other junk. Perfect. Um, working this in place through high water, especially running ones, is an absolute nightmare. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Like, it, it, infantry going through there would just, like, get annihilated. All right, so we'll have more troops coming in. We currently have 166 unconscious boys. Let's get in position. Here comes everyone that we requested to to come and join. We should have slightly over a thousand. Might have to wait until everyone is well rested. All right, we have 50 days of food. Now we're talking. This trebuchet is built. Battering ram. One. And two. 153 unconscious, so we still have a lot of time to go and uh, keep preparing. They've got 500 troops here. They've got 15 days of food, so we're not going to be able to outlast them. It's going to get problematic for us. So instead, what we'll need to do is we're just going to have to go knock down their walls. That'll be the way to go. Uh, how long have I been playing this run? Ooh, that's a good question. I've been playing this run for 105 hours. <laughs> this is the only run I've done, so it makes it nice and easy. I can just look at uh, Steam's logs. You've only gotten to like around uh, 250, 300 troops. Yeah, I mean, the main thing is uh, you need to get to Clan 5 to really go crazy. And then got bored. Yeah, that is the biggest downside of Mountain Blade games, is that unless you can keep yourself motivated to conquest the entire world, you're going to get bored. Because it's the same routine. There's not much that's added, right? As you're running through. Pull myself some more tea here. Um... Once you get to the point where you have like a big army and you can fight and you have some land, um, it can it can be it can feel very repetitive at that point. Oh, interesting! They actually declare war on you. Weird. Oh my good. Oh geez. Okay, this is gonna be a big fight. Get ready, everyone. This is gonna be a real monster of a fight here. Uh, so we need to go and upgrade all of our troops as quickly as we can. <laughs> They're going to come and attack us. We're not going to get a chance to attack the town before they do. I'm still out. 114 troops. Yeah, here they come. Um, so what do we have here? So there's like, what? 100, 200, 300, 500, 600, 700, 8, 9, 10, 11. So they're, they're rivaling us in size. With that person, they'll easily surpass us. So they're going to have slightly more troops than us here. I would like to talk about your loyalty. Okay, you won't do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, we still have slightly more troops. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's get in here. Uh, your first and most exciting goal is always conquering your first city. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Grabbing your first city is amazing. A lot of infantry. I would have I would have preferred having 128 archers and 68 infantry, but it is what it is. Bigger can't be choosers. We've got a handful of our of these top tier troops coming in from our allies. That's good. And we'll back up to the to this position here. Uh, our good old rock. We've we've definitely oh, defended here infantry. many a time. So let's go ahead and back all the way up. Forward. Get them against the wall. Cavalry, cavalry here and here. We have a lot of cavalry though, which is very good for us. That's that's absolutely going to come into uh, come in handy for sure. Okay, so they should be attacking. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to meet them here, and then we're going to chase them when they run. We're going to move ourselves up slightly up to where those trees are right there. Um, and then we'll take advantage of that. That way our reinforcements are going to be behind us instead of in front of us because we spawn right there. So we're going to want to make sure we get that sorted. Um, how's the gameplay compared to uh, Bannerlord? Oh, sorry, compared to Warband? Uh, Bannerlord's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. There's a couple of things that I would like to be changed. Again, the biggest thing is the AI. 
um, is I think my biggest consistent complaint um, is that the AI is just ridiculous when it comes to a lot of things, but mostly when it comes to sieges. Horsemen, move forward. So I'd really like that to be sorted. Uh, fire when ready, boys. Fire when ready. I'm actually going to scoop them forward more so those guys over there actually have an opportunity to shoot. And get, they're all able to fire. Okay, so let's move them in close. I don't want them necessarily focusing on the enemy cavalry. Alright, so at least give some direction to where they're going to be running to. Okay, that is a lot of enemy cavalry. We have to move our infantry up. If we don't have our infantry in front ahead of time, this cavalry is going to just so absolute chaos. We're going to get them up in front here. Now prepare yourselves, men! One heck of a fight. Try and get whatever damage I can in here ahead of time. We're going to leave them here in this formation. I don't want them to charge. I want them to just be a wall. Just be a wall, boys. Okay, now they can go. So I can get out there. Alright, perfect. So we went and we trounced through their infantry. Oh, for good gracious sakes. It's just too it's, it's just too much havoc and mayhem. I, I can't get any I can't get a clear shot. Alright, our boys are doing some amazing work. A lot of horses are currently retreating off the field of battle. Take the an oath swarm was retreating, really. Alright, let's go ahead and move up. Alright, everyone charge, we're gonna continue to move forward. I'm gonna grab this horse and we're gonna re uh reassociate where our location is. Let's go and replan this out. Keep on pushing, boys, keep on pushing. Don't you stop, don't you stop. What? That puny tree stops the horse? Okay. What? Stop pushing, boys. Don't you stop pushing. Alright. So from here, this rock is a bad spot for us to actually uh, land from, but we can go ahead and uh, line here. Alright. Cavalry can continue to do what they want, but I want our infantry to consolidate here. Nice and tight. How's it going, Charlie? How are you doing today? Welcome to a large battle. Uh, one which we are easily destroying right now. Alright, infantry can now go and envelop them. Cells right here, so nice and stopped. Our archers don't have a great vantage point from here. We have to keep pushing forward further. A little bit further and we've got it. Although, <laughs> look at our infantry just knock them aside. Infantry, hold your position. Move our archers up. Move them up. How's our cavalry doing? Not well. There's only one left. We've gotten. Uh, we still have the 19, or well, 18 horse archers now, but the rest are still struggling. I don't want to move much further forward because of our spawn location. I don't want our troops to have to run too far to reinforce. Not yet, at least. Not until we take out more of their troops. They had 1,100 and changed troops. We've taken out uh, 260, 270 at this point. Grab this guy. I need to start focusing on taking out cavalry if I can. Hard part is a lot of them have spears. Which is nerve-wracking, to say the least, when fighting these guys. Infantry back in there. Have them just run them down. If we moved forward, how could we reposition? We have to move really far forward. But here wouldn't be a bad spot. Oh, my horse! Oh, me! No, you don't volunteer. Infantry, keep charging, infantry! Infantry, keep charging! Save me! Save me, boys! Whoa, one damage. 
Save me, boys! Come down! Oh my good gracious. Get me on that horse. Okay. Good. Alright, everybody's coming in uh, too thin over here right now. It's a bunch of oath sworn there. Uh, I need my. Oh my goodness, my horse. <laughs> I need my infantry to go and consolidate again, please. Consolidate, man. Our archers will be able to keep uh, the horses busy, hopefully. Alright, our boys are getting nice and tight again. Good. Nice and tight, nice and tight. Hold your positions. Jesus, it's turning into absolute chaos. Alright, infantry, charge again. Charge again, boys, charge again. Skirmishers out. Warriors. What are we looking at? They're starting to catch up on kills. Oh! No, no, that's not good. That's, uh... That's really bad. Alright. Oh, no. They're clustering on the rock. I hate it when they do this. We're still winning in kills. That's what matters. We had more starting troops in them. So, as long as we take out more than they do... They're starting to slowly catch up, though. Because we're clustered on that rock, we're going to get in trouble. We have to move away from that rock. Makes it so it's an easy picking for archers. We're still holding 90, 90 ahead. We're still 90 ahead. Come on, boys. Boys, you've got this. Don't give up now. We're still 70 kills ahead. We still have to kill another 400 troops. 500 troops, rather. Come on. Check at the end. Oh, yeah, there's going to be some massive casualties. I think we're going to lose a handful of uh, vassals, unfortunately. Oh, my goodness. They're really catching up. They're really, really catching up. The fact that we're just uh, stuck around this rock is killing us. Because what happens is our troops turn around and they just get shot in the back. So they just get free shots. So it's a real issue being on this rock. The rock is what's absolutely massacring us. We're only 40 ahead now. We had 100 more than them, so we still should be okay. But this is going to be really rough. Oh, no. Yeah, they're going to start surpassing us soon here. They've surpassed us in kills. We have to keep how much they surpass us in kills to a minimal. They've got they've got cavalry. They still have a lot of cavalry, don't they? You're not dead yet. You're not dead yet. You're not dead. You're not dead. Hey, a lot of our vassals are still alive. So this is good. But none of them are conscious. Their troops are doing whatever they wish. We're now behind. We're tied still ish. <laughs> oh, and we still have another like 300 troops to go through. Oh my goodness. Come on, men. Men! Pull yourself together! Get in the line! Do something! Come oh, on, boys. Don't let it end like this. We can do it. We're not gonna be able to siege after this, that's for sure. If we can keep in even kills. I'm fine. I'm happy with even kills. I'm happy with even kills. Alright, we're starting to turn it around. It seems like our sergeants and our heavy horsemen are actually doing something here. I'm seeing a lot of heavy cavalry popping up. So we have one heavy cavalry that's doing a lot of work. Now if we come back down here, uh, heavy cavalry, two of them left, six of them, six kills off of them. They're doing very well. Come on, you better win or else I'm gonna haunt you as a ghost. Come on, man. So I think this is our last remaining numbers here. We have 170 troops, they have 150 troops. I think that's it. I think that's all we've got. Oh no. Oh no, come on. Come on. How's it going, ninjas? Ninjanski, how are you doing? Welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're doing better than my troops are. Although we're on the winning team again. We're, we're, we're 10 troops up on the kills. So now that we're down to smaller numbers, our troops are finally starting to blob together, so we're going to start making some progress here. Yes, take them. Take them. Keep swinging. Don't you stop swinging. Oh, you need better turn around, sir. Yeah, I saw that coming. <laughs> Alright, I, I think we have this, but oh my goodness, this was so close. Check out Discord. Alright, I'll take a look at Discord after the stream. I'm not going to do it right now. 
gracious. Oh my goodness, barely won this. Can't believe it. In the chef's kitchen? <gasps> Delka, do you have cookies? Do you have cookies that you've that you've posted in the chef's kitchen section in Discord? Oh. Oh. His troops used to be uh be used to boss down again. Yeah, now they're they're probably pretty used to it at this point. Yep, the boss is down. You can neither confirm nor deny. Oh, really? Hey, Ninja Skill. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that a bunch. Or Ninchanski. Sorry, it's their eyes. Thanks for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome. Come on, get in there, boys. Just clear them out. Clear them all out. Oh. Filling up the crossbow. Let's get a shot in there. Let's see that shot. I want to see that shot. Let's go. Come on, big man. You got this. You know you got this. No? Where are you going? <laughs> Guess he's going for that guy over there. Going for the horseman. Oh, I'm going to miss the shot. I missed the shot. Doesn't look like he got him now. Oh, this is a different guy. There we go, we got him. How many men are, we have 69 men still alive. Nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice. Um, mind you asking what kinds of setting and difficulty you're playing on? Uh, you're good starting playing the game yesterday and you're loving it? Ah, oh, this game's so good. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty you can possibly set it to. Uh, Permadeath is on. Um, I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure they're all actually still conscious. We checked them all uh, earlier in the fight. Um, so I'm playing on the hardest difficulty possible. Hardest difficulty. Twitch keeps freezing on you? Ugh, gross. <laughs> Grab all those troops as well. What kind of upgrades can we get here? Some guys on horses. Infantry. Crossbows. Not as many troops as I'd like to be able to upgrade, unfortunately. I was really hoping for a larger quantity of upgradable troops. Can I bring anyone into the fold? No. We probably have vastly too many troops now. <laughs> oh my goodness, we can only carry 22. We'll see who sits, who sticks around. We'll just recruit anyone, it's fine. Using the basic settings, feeling kind of easy. I like the challenge. But be aware, it is, it is actually, it's really brutal. Playing on realistic damage, it's, it's, it's... It's really brutal, especially at the beginning. So just just be aware, please. It's, it can be intense. All right, we have 234 men still con. Uh, good gracious, still conscious. So I guess we'll just continue the siege. This 100 and change shouldn't attack us. We should just stick around while we wait for our 700 and change to regain consciousness. We've got a bunch of prisoners here, so we want to go and recruit them as soon as we get any to recruit. Uh, let's go ahead and let's drop these recruits, like the recruit tier troops. Now that we've gotten some. Just because I'd like we're gonna have a lot of these guys run away anyway, so we might as well hope the ones that run away are the ones that are I guess that's really the only recruit, huh? Okay. We're just gonna hope any of the ones that actually run away are, you know. The lowest of low tier. We'll go from there. Well, this is in rain. Ah, oh, yeah, let's go ahead and change that. Let's pull up to the reserves. We can wait. Troops are re uh, rebuilding. We've got 44 days of food remaining, so no problems there. We'll go ahead and regain our cohesion. Keep on going. Avoiding the dramatic ring. Oh, I forgot the dramatic ring. Oh, my goodness, you're right, Snowmack. Sorry. I didn't want to do it during the fight because it was so loud. All right, let's see here, Snowmack. What we got? Uh... Mr. Zaldor, would you say a successful commander should stay conscious until the end of the battle to best command his troops? Zaldor's response. What? Sorry? I, I was unconscious. <laughs> um, rather, actually, I found... Uh-oh. Am I conscious? Please? Perhaps you can stay your hand. I don't know if I'm conscious or not. Did anyone see if I was conscious? Uh-oh. Oh, can I convince you to not to, to join us and not attack us? That would be amazing. That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Can we can we bribe him? Do we have enough stuff? Do we have enough money on hand? 
Don't know. He doesn't have much money. Oh, yes, we can. Uh, here, have these harnesses, these boots. Mittens. I mean, jeez, I don't even know. There's so much garbage in here. Here, take all of my garbage. Oh, a Highland Shoulder Strap. It's a new one for me. Why not? Just take take all this garbage off of me. I'm going to be selling it anyway, so... If it ends up being equivalent to some cash... That would be fine by me. <laughs> it's like, uh, what will you give me to join your, your faction? I'm just like, here, have everything I've got on me. Just because, you know, I don't want it. I will keep my ponies, though. Alright, so we're almost there. <laughs> Let's just keep giving them some... Keep giving them junk. There it is. Offer accepted. Nice. <laughs> 473 pairs of tattered pre-used shoes. I accept. And with that, they're not attacking us anymore. Poof. Done. How's it going, Chubby Panda? How you doing today? Sometimes they even want to join you, and uh, you can just, yeah, you can get their money. It's true. It's hysterical. I gave him a, uh, one person I did give, like, one gold, and he was like, sold. I don't think I had enough health. Looking back at it. These guys can fight us if anyone else shows up. <sighs> Ooh. That's not good. Those guys will absolutely be able to fight us. Get some more archers. No one wants to join. Where are my archers in here? The archers to the top. The roots to the bottom. It's going to be a tough fight. We're going to be outnumbered by 100 and change. I'm not going to have a lot of health. I'm going to have to stay back. Wait, they're... T what? <laughs> They're, huh, okay. Um, hold on. Let me test your loyalty. Oh, okay. And a fight it is. We have 80 troops, or 78 troops more than them. What are they doing? How about convince them uh, against who's engaged them? Right? <laughs> but I mean, they didn't even wait for this guy. Why? Okay. Weird. Okay. Um... And truly, foot <laughs> and thusly, Footlocker was born. Does anyone need a pair of shoes? Don't worry, I've got a, I've got you covered. All right, troops, we're gonna move up. We're gonna move up here. We're gonna land uh, or stand on here. We're not gonna go any closer than this spot. This spot's good enough. Uh, it's not as good as I'd like, but it's good enough. Footman, move. Let's move them right here as the center. Spread apart. Oh my goodness, we got a lot of riders. Um, geez, I can't see. <laughs> riders go over there. I can't see. Back up. Perfect. This formation. They attacked us, so they should be coming in first. They've got 37 cavalry and 36 horse archers. Oh, jeez. Get our cavalry in there immediately. <laughs> get it, get in, get in there. That's not good. That's a lot of horses. It is a lot of horses. I need our horses to go and hopefully distract their horses. See if we can get some good shots in here and take someone out. Ow! Come on now. No. Jeez. Infantry! Forward! Infantry! Uh, archers, please. Face that way. Please, please spin, boys. Please spin, boys. Infantry! 
Line formation, move up, please. Line formation, move up, please. Gotta move faster. Gotta move faster. Please move faster. They're coming in hot. Okay, shield wall now. Getting tight, getting tight, getting tight. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Good. Hold the line. Alright. Blacksman down. Oh no! I can't take the damage. No, charge. Charge. I want you to. Oh, good gracious. My buttons got all ranged on me. Oh man, I'm starting to panic because I'm taking so much damage. Alright, infantry can take them out. As long as they stay alive, we'll be okay. I need to grab this horse. The reinforcement's good. I just need to take this horse. And I just need to run. Run run so far away. Oof! Alright, look at all that green. We're doing okay. We're just gonna back off this way. It's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna go hang out. Let's go check out this cliff. What's up this cliff? Oh cool, look at this cliff. Good luck, boys. That straight arrow gets me from here. <laughs> Alright, let's go check this out again. Let's see here. Oh, don't hit the trees. These are bad for me. Okay, how are we doing? We're taking out half the troops. Our one can just charge. Just Helter Skelter take them down. In any way. Ah, missed. You see fit. Don't turn around on me. <laughs> Enemies, don't you turn around. Just let me go and slash at you. Get this guy. Get this guy. Oh. Come on now. Just keep focusing on the cavalry. They've got a lot of boys that are currently running for their lives. That's good. What? Where are you? Looks like he's riddled with arrows. <laughs> he's just covered in arrows. He's quite the pincushion. Mare. I need a faster horse. Ah. Made it. That's okay. Wow, 75 of them are retreating. 76? We'll probably get 80-something retreating. <laughs> yeah, porcupine. Hold on, boys. We did it. And I barely managed to live. <laughs> Very nice. This, this siege is just... I mean, honestly, at this point, I feel like we need to stop this siege. We're not getting anywhere. We still alive. Alive, alive, alive. Everyone's still alive. Yes. All, right. All of our people are still alive. Nice. But yeah, I think it might be a good idea for us to leave. And we can pull it off? I don't know. I don't know. We're most assuredly struggling here. Leader. And now we still have too many troops, it's fine. Everything we got. <laughs> We've got 185 unconscious men. Oh my goodness. Uh, have you ever robbed the same man 12 times? No, I have not. Um, uh, how's the troop recruitment in the game? Troop recruitment is pretty good. Uh, do quests. Absolutely do quests when you're early, uh, early in game. Do a bunch of quests in one little area. Um, the big advantage of doing a whole bunch of quests in one area is that then you'll be able to recruit more troops per time you swing by that area. Um, so that when, um... I can take this each. Uh, so then when you... Oh, jeez, but there's a 200... Oh, no. I don't have enough health. I can't fight. We're going to have to auto-resolve this. Oh, no. No, I don't want to auto-resolve. No. Yeah, I thought someone wanted to join. No? I had a little thing over it. Okay. Well. 
Um, how's about you join? Okay. And then the troops. Um, but yeah, because that way, uh, do quests so that you can uh, recruit more people, which is great. Uh, they have absolutely killed us. Their cavalry is better. Yeah, we've lost. I can't, I can't retreat. <laughs> I can't retreat anymore. It doesn't matter. We have to go to the end. It is a defeat. Because cavalry counts as more. Hey, too much cake. Thanks for the thanks for the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome. Oh my goodness. A lot of people are unconscious too. Uh, strictly because they have cavalry, it counts as uh, being better. Even though when proper tactics are deployed. What? I can't. I can't push for peace because he's like, no, 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 no. We're at war. So sad. <laughs> I need more influence. I need more influence. Oh no, the looters are just picking them all up. Oh, they're just picking them all up. They're just taking prisoner. Oh wow, okay, yeah, we really, yeah. No, 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 we really had to leave. Oh my goodness. You should be unconscious. How's it going, Old Man More Dave? How you doing? But you're here, wide awake. Oh my goodness, we sh we should have left. We should have left. That was like, this is 1,600 troops here. Should have left. Absolutely should have. We had like 600 unconscious boys. Maybe 700. I don't know. It was like six or 700. We really should have. Uh, that was bad. That was bad. Yeah, it's a big old pile of troops, but we're uh, we're stuck in captivity. We have to go and recruit all over again. We need a lot more influence. We like I can't start wars and end them willy nilly anymore because I pushed to keep the Asurai War going forever. So that burned through because we used to have like almost six thousand influence. I think we just burned through it during that, and now uh, some of our vassals are really really powerful in in terms of influence, so they're allowed to just you know dole it out. It's just a little obnoxious. We still earn a lot of money, so it doesn't really matter. But I just think you haven't played this since launch. Uh, making you want to dig into it again. A, a lot of things have really changed uh, in terms of like it actually holds up pretty well now, <laughs> which is nice. Um, but the uh... they just took that. I can't believe they just took that. That's why we should have gone to peace. But no, I'm not allowed to go to peace. Uh, this is literally the worst castle ever. I can't keep it. I can never hold it. It's really obnoxious. It is what it is, but... Uh, we'll, we'll end up nabbing it later. Jeez, uh, can I go? I've been here for five days. I've got a million buccarinos. Let me, let me go. Come on. Uh, but yeah, a lot of things have been uh, tightened up. The smithing has still not, and the AI has still not, but everything else has been tightened up a little bit better from what I've been told the game was like uh, when it first released. So less bugs, less crashes. Still crashes, though. Still. But less. Less is good. I'll take less. Oh my goodness, it's been six days. Let me go. Can I have an Uber five times speed, please? Let me go. It's been seven days. It's been a week. My hair's getting long. Our beard's untrimmed. We smell like a sewer rat. And we're tired of eating gruel. Main hero is in prison. Huh. It's really interesting that they call your character the main hero, but all of but there's no other heroes in the game. Okay, just a, just a hundred and twenty one thousand two hundred and five, about the price of a javelin. I accept this offer. <laughs> right, we gotta we gotta avoid getting captured again here. We gotta get back to home. Don't bring them this way. 75 troops. They're just gonna have to skate. Oh, get to the army! Oh, get to the army! Oh my goodness, yes. Yes, Joron, please. Please, yes, go get. Oh no, you're going to the.
During those seven days, they sieged one, two, three locations. They took three of our territories in seven days. Our vassals are worthless. <laughs> our vassals don't do anything. Come on, vassals. You're supposed to at least, like, defend us a little bit. All right, we'll scoot by here, get back to the capital. They'll go maybe sort stuff out. Who knows? We gotta get some troops. Good gracious. Or at least they're going and mopping up the those that are running around here. We have a couple of armies that are running, so that's nice. Um, but good gracious. Not ideal, that's for sure. Uh, keep, garrison. Let's pull some boys out. Pull a couple boys out. Pull, it, pull out the uh, some of these not fully trained troops here. By some, I mean... All of them. All right. So these were all of our backup troops that we had floating in here. Let's grab those. <laughs> so we don't have to go run in circles again. Nab them. That's fine. Again, we still have like three... I think we have like 900 troops defending this territory, so we're fine. Um, just 125k. You're getting a bit spoiled, aren't you? Yeah, just, yeah, just a little spoiled, you know, as, as you do. Uh, let me take a look at my inventory here real quick. Do we still have our javelin? We don't. We have crooked javelins. Let's go sell stuff out. Cheating? Nah, no cheating. No cheating allowed here. No siree. Um, you actually earn, like, most of that money is from uh, fighting lords and defeating lords. Lords are very lucrative. Very lucrative indeed. Hey, Friday. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome. Grab all the food. Perfect. And off we go. Um, one little guy with a banner running around. I know, right? <laughs> Just like, guys, wait for me. Oh, my goodness. I Can you ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. What's the question? Uh, in the meantime, Snowmex got a dramatic reading. Interviewer. Mr. Zaltor. Now that we've you in captivity, would you say you need to rethink your approach to being in command? Uh, Zelda, more gruel, please. I've been unconscious all week. <laughs> I do like nothing but unconscious all the time. Brutal. All right, so our 202 troops, we can go ahead and immediately get back into the field. So let's jump back into the field here. Let's go join them, see if we can push this along. How's it going, Tholi? How are you doing? Welcome. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some. Oop. We're gonna do some forced recruitment here. Don't. Uh, yeah. we'll do some forced recruitment here. We'll go jump to the different towns and do that. Anything? Uh, they did. Uh, they did you. Wait, what? They did you know? Or did you know? There's an army uh, coming from. Reach locations, so they went and tried that instead. Ah, okay, so they try farther away, but they couldn't. All right, hostile action, force recruit. Yes, force recruit. Instantly recruit a couple of troops, including one actual decent archer. Uh, we need some more infantry because I want more infantry. We have a lot of archers already. Um, upgrade these archers slightly more. Perfect. Done. Oh, not wait here for some of that. Leave. <laughs> no, no, no. Leave. Uh, let's get over here. How are we doing? If not, I mean, the thing is, I don't have the influence to force them into doing what I need them to do. Oh, are you going to get involved? I hope so. So I can get in here and... Oh, no, I can't. Sora got knocked down too quickly. Sora's been captured. Whoa, what just happened there? What? What? Ha huh? They're like... Okay. He's in an army, so he won't. Uh, we're down 100 troops, but we might be okay. We've got slightly better troops than last time. You jumped in. I, You saw I was telling myself to come up here, and we didn't turn around. I don't know why that was. Uh, all right, well, we might be able to take him. I was hoping the extra 500 would come and join, but nope. Uh, running your own faction hard. 
when a majority of your vassals are lemmings. Yeah, they just seem to not know what to do. Oh, that's okay. We should be able to... Oh, my God. We have 130... Ah, oh, jeez. I need more archers. Infantry this is move. not a good spread. Archers forward. Archer move. Archer forward. Two cavalry. Good gracious. This is gonna be brutal. Stand apart. This will be brutal. Archers move. This will be a brutal fight. But it's alright. Just hang on tight. We'll take him down. Form a shield wall. Okay. Uh, we'll just bounce in and out, in and out. That's fine. What are we looking at for cavalry? 30. Jeez, they have 62, ca 64 cavalry. The Batanians are killing me with cavalry. Their cavalry is just, they have so much. They don't have archers, but they have so much cavalry. It's, it's murder. It just sucks so much. I don't have enough cavalry to combat their cavalry. And their cavalry it comprises like, uh, like, their, their, cal their cavalry is comprised of so many different tiers and composes like a third of their total troops. It's brutal. And we have the, the tip top tier archers as well, which doesn't help us either. Ooh, you thought Batania uh, didn't have a lot of cavalry? Isn't the cavalry like nobles? Uh, no, no, they, they've got a lot of cavalry. Let's get our two cavalry in there and hopefully that'll distract them. <laughs> However, that'll work. So that's their archers here. Oh, this is actually not even a Batanian one. Okay. The uh, horses are moving up. I need you guys to move in. The archers are the most important things for us to take out here. Taking the archers is going to give us a big advantage, and then after that, it's the cavalry is the next thing we have to worry about. Because our archers can take out the cavalry. See, like we've got no problems with taking out the cavalry with our archers if the cavalry stays back. But if our if their archers take out our oh no, don't knock me out oh, for good gracious sake, sir. <laughs> the inferior archer just walked right in front of me. What do you want me to do about that? <laughs> you literally walked right in front of me. Oh, guys, don't get distracted by the horses. All right, I'm hurt too much. We have to stay in the fight. We can't actually exit and jump back in. And I'm gonna go unconscious very, very shortly here. I'm not gonna live through this. There's too much chaos. There's no order. The order is gone. The cavalry here just is absolutely crushing our ranks. We're gonna get captured again at this rate. Oh, look at all that red. Yeah, we're down. That's it. There's no way. We can't come back from this. But it doesn't mean we can't take out as many troops as possible before we go down. Everyone do whatever you can. Oh, no you don't. Give me that horse. Alright, time to make a miracle. Time to make a miracle happen, let's go. No, you don't. Oh, nope, dead. <laughs> All right, yeah. Nothing we can do about that. And we can't uh, we can't propose peace, so we're just gonna slowly lose all of our territory to these guys. Wow, having having all of these lords want to keep fighting sucks. <laughs> Come on, let us give up, lords, please. If we don't have peace, we're just gonna keep losing territory. We've already lost three spots of land. They still won't let me, and I need 660 influence to do it. They won't let me say, they won't let me give up. They won't let me give up. We have to keep on fighting. Uh, which means that we're stuck, um, captured, and not only that, we've lost three pieces of territory. We may lose more. We'll see. Uh, though these armies might actually start sieging. It looks like he's sieging, but the thing is they don't siege long enough. They're like, we're going to go to war. We're going to siege this thing. They create their siege army. They get all set up. And then... They leave the siege. <laughs> because reasons. Um, so this is not good. Oh, my goodness. Sure, whatever. I'll pay it. Oh, nope. Be careful over here. There's a lot of people. If we can skirt around them. Barely. 
So all of our reserve troops that we had in the capital are gone. We're gonna have to recruit them the old fashioned way now. <laughs> Ah, uh, darn. Oh, no, I can't go up and convince him because I don't have anything to give him. Um, if if we go and convince him, cool. But I have no equipment to give him to convince him uh, to actually join us. So instead, he'll be like, ah, oh, you've convinced me. We still need to fight. Um, so until I actually get some more troops here, we're in trouble. We can go and fight there if we wanted. Uh, trade, let's go sort some stuff out there. Uh, and this way you keep going? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll turn it around for sure. I just need to be in a stronger position. Like, I, I haven't been, we've, what I'm gonna do in the future is we're just going to stockpile more influence. I'm not gonna use it for a bit. We're gonna create an army once we have a whole host of food. And then we're just going to knock them down like dominoes again and again and again. Um, and that's, that's what we'll do. Let me grab some food at least. I mean, again, we have like infinite money essentially, so it doesn't really matter. We're like, <laughs> we lose we lose money, but then we gain a bunch. So where? Uh, we'll go over here and let's grab more troops. We need to go do a large, uh, a large run. Uh, hopefully, our vassals actually do something useful, but who knows? We'll see. Um, it's sort of your problem. Uh, once you lose your main building, uh, built up army. With all your trained troops, your empire falls like a house of cards. It definitely starts to feel like that, especially since I can't control us leaving the war. If I could have controlled us leaving the war, we would have left the war the moment I was captured here, prior to them taking these three territories. Uh, we would have then been only captured once, picked up all of our troops here, gone and been able to train them up, get ourselves back up to 320, uh, 335 troops, uh, actually garner uh, an army together and try again. But we haven't had the opportunity to do so since then. So it's the the fact that I now need hundreds to thousands of influence to actually command anything to happen. Um, this is it's a real problem for me. I'm struggling, uh, not being able to control when we are in and out of a war. Because in uh, Mountain Blade Warband, you can still choose when you want to go do a truce. In Bannerlord, you can't. You have to have influence. It costs something. Uh, to do so. So that's tough. But we'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. Alright, so Mike, what you got for me? Uh, Kingdom R&D. My lord, we have figured out the best strategy for you to no longer fall unconscious in battle. Zodder, quick, tell me. I'm tired of getting of getting so much sleep. R&D. Stay at home and send someone else. I mean, yeah, but I feel as though they're not going to do as good of a job. <laughs> I don't trust them to do as well of a job as they need to. For our empire to properly defend itself and also grow. All right, let's get over here. These are going to be where we're going to get most of our troops. Uh, we'll circle around a little bit longer. We'll get ourselves up to 100 troops and we'll move back towards the actual battlefields. Oh my goodness. This is where we get our good troops. Because we've done a lot of quests in this area here. What do you have for a quest, by the way? Deliver something to a place that we own to where we're going to go in our circle? Absolutely. I will do that. No problems. I'll take the herd there. I would love to pick up more of your top tier troops. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, like doing a couple of quests for like a small section uh, that you plan to conquer in the future is so good. Look at this. We've got veteran infantry here. It's so good. It's so good. My lord, can I uh, provide comfort in these troubling times? Gives a hug. Yeah, I think I think we could use a hug. Things things are going very poorly here. <laughs> uh, uh, don't forget, uh, Blue Viper in Twitch and anyone else who's curious in Twitch, what you can do is you can type slash me space whatever you want to type, and then it's uh, it'll change the text to your uh, your name color and. It'll do your name and then whatever you said. So it's like, you know. So you can do like. Like that. You can do like that. So it, it says Zalmar size. <laughs> Feels like this is too much power. It might be. Oh, we tracked down our surgeon. Good. We. we yeah, give me, give me my surgeon. I need him. 
<laughs> Give me the surgeon, I need him. So now we're gonna start struggling to recruit because a lot of our vassals are recruiting uh, to keep their numbers up. So we're gonna struggle with that a bit. In order to defend your uh, empire, don't you have to be conscious? Yeah, unfortunately, that's something we're really struggling with right now. At least we're not struggling with the whole uh, ladders problem at the moment, but we'll get there, we'll get there. This is, not going to, uh, this is not going to get old for a while. Oh yeah, no, this is... No. <laughs> Some mercenaries here. All right, so we got 100 and change troops, so we'll start um, scooting towards the front lines. Uh, and we're gonna st uh, I'm gonna start looking at trying to do um, lord picking. We're gonna try and uh, we're gonna try and poach lords. We're gonna try and grab lords, um, convince them to join us. Let's actually go ahead and get some a uh, couple of javelins built, super duper quick here. Um, and then we'll try and either convince them or uh, we'll try and take them out one by one by one if we can. Let's grab our supplies out of our stash. Uh, let's go to the smithy. Our health is actually full, amazingly. Um, supplies are good. Oh, wait, no, they're not. We need uh, we need more iron. More iron. Energy's at 50 and change. Javelin, large javelin, javelin, large javelin. We got our gifting javelins here. Three gifting javelins. That should be enough. All right, let's get over here. Uh, we're gonna go and start force recruiting here, there, and everywhere, uh, and we'll try and do what we can. These are the forest people. Can we convince them to join us? Oh, not my demands. I would like you to join me. Fair enough. Welcome aboard, boys. <laughs> Extra hundred and change troops roaming should help. I can't fight them if they join forces. I can fight them if they're individual. This is what I'm talking about. We're going to try and poach them. Or if you want to join us in this fight. Okay, perfect. So we scared him off, and we can go ahead and focus on this one. Let me get into town real quick. Uh, oh, I can't force recruit. Darn. What do you have? Bunch of recruits? Bunch of volunteers. Perfect. My volunteers can fight your volunteers, and we can both gain experience. And by that, I mean your guys will be dead. Um, before we attack her, let's discuss loyalty. No, that is your husband. Okay, that makes sense. See if we can try and convince them to change their loyalties. What do your loyalties truly lie? Hmm? So they should be on the defense, yeah? No, they're on the offense. What? Got four cavalry. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be really bad. Attack! This is gonna be bad. We're just gonna move in. <laughs> we have more troops in them, but we don't have more sophisticated troops in them. Ooh, that was a bad miss. Let's get everyone uh, clustered together here. Infantry! Get our archers uh, there, and the infantry can just charge. Oh my goodness! Oh, I thought it, I thought I took 95 damage. <laughs> I only took 50 and change. Okay, Whew. I thought I took 95 damage. I was like, you gotta be kidding me! These wood runners. in here. That's our boys. Get the archers! Get the archers! Ah, jeez, it's almost all my health. Oh, come on you. There we go. Oh, I think I have one health left. Oh my goodness, so so close. <laughs> Everyone get him. Take whoever's left. I think there's just a person on a horse. We'll let him go. Some sword skill. Oh my goodness. 
Somehow we managed. Somehow we managed. Um, nah, you can go free. That's fine. Oh, yes. 26 troops. Uh, granted, 18 of them are looters, but some of them are actually decent troops, so I'll take them. And 42 prisoners. I can take them all. Perfect. We'll start recruiting off of them as quickly as we can. Uh, we'll get 45 archers, and then the rest are going to be infantry. I always want to start with archers because they're the most important out of the team for us, for sure. Definitely need those guys as quick as we can. There's peasants swapped over. Perfect. Um, where are those archers? Imperial archers. We're going to put them at the top of the stair. Um, and we'll get our surgeon, who's still conscious. Good. Put them at the top as well. Perfect. Yeah, 1% health left. Good gracious. All right. Bam. So we're going to go ahead and get our health up higher, and we're going to go and poach another one. And we're going to try and just knock down as many of their vassals as we can. Um, and in doing so, it should allow our vassals to kind of have a bit more of an advantage here. Also, I actually can't do anything. I can raid it, but I don't really need to raid it. Don't wait for some time to leave. Uh, all right. You have the next one. I need to wait until I have more health, though. There's not much I can do on that. Hopefully, she just follows until we get the health that we need. We need to be at 20% to be able to fight. Ooh, Zell just got taken. All right, so he's sieging. Oh, we might have to go join him, because I don't know if he has enough food. I don't have a lot, but I've got some I can add. Oh, are they actually fighting right now? Uh, send troops. End the battle. Nice! Nicely done! We got it! Oh my goodness, they did it! He did it! I plundered 15 gold. Woo! Oh my goodness, a fame champion? Yeah, please. Alright, good. They're not... <laughs> our vassals aren't worthless. They have some value. Some. They're getting there. They have some value when they're on their own. I mean, when they're with us in a big group, they're very valuable, but... Oh, well, it's always a struggle. Recruit. Um, let's go ahead and recruit these. And let's go buy some food here. Looks like they had some. So horses, buy all your horses. Food, buy all your food. Oh, I didn't drop off my stash. Oops. That's awkward. That's fine. We'll, ch we'll chase her back and we'll drop off our stash. We just got 4.2. Oh, we're actually really slow now. Oh, that's a big army. All right, we'll get in here. Help out. How's it going, Tucky Timbo? How are you doing today? Welcome. All right, man. Some of you have learned a few new things. A few new tricks? Wow, same map, okay. <laughs> a few new tricks are up your sleeves now, men. It's time for us to show you, uh, show them what you got. Okay, are they coming to us? Slowly. All right, let's get our cavalry in there quickly. Let's get the archers on me and the infantry on me. Let's move up to a better position. I think I'm going to put them right on top where, our, like, right there. Is where we'll probably go put our archers in the end. Move you guys back. Okay. Cavalry, take them. Archers here. Infantry here. Infantry. Nice and tight formation. Archers, nice and loose. Here we go. Pay ourselves. Oh, so they seem to be uh, the, the the exact battlefield before. They should know what they're doing. All right, like our, our troops should know what they're supposed to be doing. All right, let's just get them in here. Goodness, the arrows. Look at the arrows. Pew, 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 pew. In there, boys! Oh! That was bad timing. <laughs> ah, well. We've got him. We've, oh, that's a lot of red. We've got him, but that was a lot of red. <laughs> what on earth are you doing? Just go get him. It's like one horseman left or something, right? Pfft. 
Okay. She's just like just freaking out about a horseman. Come on now. Come on now. Nice. Cross this good. Good. Didn't take anyone down himself, but you know. I didn't take anyone down either. Oof. Glad it could help. Troops. Gain another 35 troops. Oh my goodness. And some good ones too. Don't mind if I do. More prisoners? Don't mind if I do. Upgrade the troops we've got. Alright, so now we're starting to slowly build them up. I'm going to get some more archers. Seems like we had plenty of infantry at the time. Um, so we're slowly getting there now. Couple troops too many here. Um, do we have any... Archers can go. Recruits can go. Volunteers can go. Oh, I was actually going to see the archers come back. There we go. Bam. Are we unconscious again? Nope, we're conscious this time. We made it through. <laughs> Alright, let's go and continue to try and poach these guys off where we can. Actually, wait, we want to go drop off our stash. Just in case we get captured. Also, we can do a quick recruit while we're there. Alright, who gets this? And it costs me some influence to change it up, so I'm gonna let him just have it. I, I just need a stockpile influence right now. I just, I really need a stockpile influence. Badly. Right, let's get over here. Let's get back to the capital here. So that's good. So now we've got, we've gained this. So that's back. There's just two castles left for us to then regain what we had lost. Oh, I didn't turn that in. I went there to recruit things, but I didn't turn it in. Oh, that's... Well, that's bad. They dislike me more now. It's going to be harder to get good troops there. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. That happens. Um, or were we fighting and we got distracted? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's just I forgot to drop it off while we were there. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. There we go. Bam! All right. Feeling good. Uh, what else? Who wants to be... Wants to join in. Ooh, a high barn warrior. Welcome aboard. An Imperial militia archer. Nice. Anders Town, how are we doing here, honey? Doing well. Not quite a bit. Good. Continuing to keep the militia up. Uh, quests failed. Yeah, that's fine. Um, in terms of this, how are we doing with our parties? Are they all three running? Ooh, no, we lost someone. Wait, did we did we lose Gur? Is Gur not part of what? What happened to Gur? There's Gur. Gur is in Saga. All right, he's, he's just not here. We can we can get that fixed real quick here. Town, Gur, and back to Corain. We can go back here and bring you into the party. Gur. Why'd that not teleport Gur to us? Should've. Guess not. Weird. Okay. Hmm. We'll have to go track him down then. We need to track him down and give him a new army to be able to roam around with. That'll be important. Um, where's this army? Over here? How strong? A hundred and change? Not amazing, but starting. How's your army? About 800 strong. It's pretty good. Alright, so if we can just defend this area and then take these back, that'd be great. That's being besieged. Okay. Alright, we're going to go ahead and end the stream here today. Uh, we, we got some good progress and we lost progress. In the end, at the end of the stream, we did gain at least one territory. Nice. You need 56 cookies in total? Very nice. A little jealous. I'm going to have to go... I'm starting to think about maybe trying to get cookies really good um yeah so we made a little bit of progress uh unfortunately not as much as i'd like uh we had a, quite a bit of setback from that but we can go nab this coming up soon hey rogue rogue thanks for the uh, thanks for the follow i appreciate that welcome uh, but yeah so we're gonna end the stream here we're gonna go find someone to raid um and then we'll be back again tomorrow for more mountain blade bannerlord i'm really looking forward to seeing what we can get done uh if we can grab all of this territory here uh, we'll just then just push into their mainland um, if they won't give us if our vassals won't let us.
have peace, we'll be able to slowly push in and take over. The biggest thing we need to do is just focus more on our personal army and sacrifice our vassals. I can't be running to their aid every time they run into trouble. And I think that's the biggest issue. Because I need to be more picky and choosy on what we do uh, for that. See, who can we raid today? 